gentlemen that is right new year's eve in japan we have ryzen 45 now if you take their landmark events away this they probably could have lined it up for ryzen 50 on new year's eve hey they can do that next year they can do that next year oh my goodness the broadcast has begun i bought the pay-per-view the first four fights and the opening ceremony will be available to you guys on YouTube if you don't want to buy the pay-per-view if you cannot find a place to watch this. Um, I'm just making sure that we got volume here. We got Damian Brown, Joe Ferraro here. Let's freaking go, man. Let's freaking go. Only one title on the line here today because, uh, well, Juan Archuleta didn't make weight. He was sick. He was 5.6 pounds overweight um from what i've heard you know asakura took the fight they're doing it at a catch weight and he will be able to win the title if he wins um oh, what's up matt oh my goodness the live chat is buzzing the live chat is buzzing guys i ain't feeling too hot but i've been saving some centauri i've been saving some japanese whiskey for this event so we're pouring out one here. Again, the first four bouts on this card are available for free on YouTube along with the opening ceremonies. I already got my pay-per-view on Triller TV, Fight.TV. So happy New Year's to everybody in Japan. Happy New Year's Eve day to everybody here in North America. Not as good as the... Uh, what do I usually drink? Uh, the Hibiki. But... Uh, Pretty tasty. It's pretty tasty. Yo, Shane, what's going on, buddy? Come by. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Yeah, uh, he will. But if JP wins, it will be a no contest, apparently. Yes. So remember that happened with Kleber against uh, Suzuki. Kleber submitted him, but it became a no contest. Oh, Jays, this one's very hard to find, um, but it's on YouTube. The first four fights are on YouTube. Uh, hey, do you, do you got later in the fights, uh, trying to lock some bets here, uh, clips, what's going on, buddy? Um, so I'll, I'll quickly go through my predictions here. If you, uh, with you guys, let me just get the, the fight order up here. Um, all right. So I have, uh, in the first bout, I got Yushi Sakura. Uh, number two, I have Rujin Nasakawa, who's 17 years of age, ladies and gentlemen, uh, number three, I have Tetsuki Shinotsuka. Number four, I have Suguru Ni. That's my first underdog. Um, Rukia Anpo, that's my second underdog. Joe Arai in number six. That one's an easy, minus 340. Uh, Tanabe, minus 800. However, if you want to get crazy, sprinkle a little half unit on Anzai. I know he's old. I know he's probably going to get submitted in like under five minutes, but he did fight in the UFC. He did fight in Bellator. So he is Tanabe's biggest competition and he's like plus 950 on some betting odds number eight i have kota mura number nine i have shinobu ota minus 1500 how are you uh number 10 i have yuki motoya uh john dodson i have at number 11 uh number 12 i have sudario and i think honestly the ufc might come calling for him after he's nothing special but the ufc heavyweight division is horrendous and hey, if they give him some big money the, the heavyweight division in ryzen there, there's no money to be made there uh, like in the Pride and Dream days. Uh, number 13, I'm going against my 50-year-old Canadian counterpart. <laughs> I'm going with Seika Izawa. Uh, number 14, I'm going with my third underdog, Ren Shugiyama. I'm going with Yaman on this one. Uh, 15, I'm going to Kleber Kweke Erps. He's going to get an easy submission against Saito. Saito's a shadow of what he used to be. Uh, number 16, especially with the weight issues i'm going with kaya sakura 
uh, plus 100. Juan Archuleta, I, I mean, I, I got him at plus 100. I don't know what he is now. He might even be the favorite right now. Um, and then 17, I got uh, Kyogi Horiguchi at minus 285. Um, if, if Shinryu wins, I, I'll be pumped because that will be one of the best new Japanese prospects in MMA. Uh, but I think this, I think he's going to get in jail terms humbled and this will be a good learning experience for him. So those are all my picks. Those are all my picks. Um, go like my prediction video. I just gave you the, the crash course version right there. All right, let's get back to the live chat here. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, testing this out. You will be back. Okay. Uh, I just typed rise into YouTube search. Ryzen never fails to disappoint. Again, the first four fights are free on YouTube, buddy. Why is Ryzen so early? I don't know if it's early. It's 11 p.m. Gang, gang, what's up, Daniel? Or denial? Jeez. See what your shit does to me? Wish you could start it eight hours later. Yeah. I mean, yes, but... Oh, look at... Look at... Dude, Saitama is one of the most beautiful arenas ever. And there he is, the man, the myth, the legend, the greatest CEO in combat sports, ladies and gentlemen. No, I'm just kidding. That is Dana White. That is 100% Dana White. It is, Shane. It is. Enpo versus Buka was cool. Glad to see him back. Yes, he's a good kickboxer. Can't live bet these. Pour me some... Orbital Cloud IPA Sour by Common Bond Brewers from Montgomery. Dude, I got to make my way down there. Uh, da, 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 da. Yo, Hammer. Uh, glad to see you on the last call with Mike. Well-deserved. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, and the Clutch. Appreciate you, dude. Mike's a good guy. Mike's a good guy. Beer names have turned into usernames on creative level. Dude, denial. I can't wait, again, to, to take you around... Uh, Minneapolis and St. Paul to some of some of the ones that you've probably gone to, but some of my favorites. Juan, the non-champ and can't be champ. Yo, the best Ryzen, the only Ryzen, but the best Ryzen podcast out there. We are Ryzen podcast, guys. If you're interested in this league, I can't believe that you motherfuckers are in the Midwest too. Who would have thunk that a Canadian from the West Coast moves to Minneapolis and you guys are freaking just a few hours north of me? Um, in the Dakotas, it's absolutely insane. So, shout out to the We Are Rising podcast. They just interviewed the man, the myth, the legend who's addressing the audience right now. Like I said, best CEO in MMA history. I wish I could actually be serious and saying he's my favorite, <laughs> but let's be serious. People in the states say UFC over MMA. It's good to see you, man. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Hope to see you in the chat uh, more throughout this evening i shared uh the your interview in my discord chat and i know activate a was checking it out as well two reapers dun 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 what's up hank the tank good to see you uh yes so they're doing the first four fights for free on youtube and you guys will also be able to see the ceremony apparently books took one fight out of the books because if he wins it there'll be no contest so, uh so people took oh that makes sense that makes sense yep Saitama is a thing of beauty. I'll go head to head to uh, for your first pick. So for my first pick, Shane, I am going with not the young Hiromoto, but I'm going with Yushisaka. And how excited are we to see what his entrance will be? He always puts on the craziest like walkouts. I got knee. I got knee. And I got him at plus 110. Uh, Sakura picture looks like AI art. <laughs> and is Tatsuki a good lay pick? Tatsuki uh, Shinotsuka, I got him at minus 300. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know if they're in Fargo or not, but North Dakota, right? Good guys, man. Th their preview for this card was was one of my favorite episodes. Jay Wolf is an absolute beauty. Yeah, yeah. Dodson's fighting uh, number eleven. Ooh, gotta love the Japanese whiskey guys again. Shout out to Suntory. Yeah, I'm drinking the cheap stuff. In Canada, this shit's almost a hundred bucks. Here, you can get it for thirty eight. God bless America. 
I like Ryzen because of grounded knees and knees, kicks, and stomps, man. Yes, great podcast at We Are Ryzen Podcast. That's epic Midwest stand up for the MMA world and the superior rule set. I'm not going to lie, guys. In like an hour or two, this is going to turn into the ASMR City Life podcast. But I cannot believe the crowd that we have early here. The Japs make best everything. The Japanese make the best everything. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Yeah, and we are going to collaborate in the future. Um, I had some issues with my freaking Twitter DMs. I got them all at once today from the last two days. So I saw that you did send me a, a message. Um, I didn't even open it yet. I just saw like the first five words. And, I, and, and yes, the answer is yes. And I'm already putting together a list. I should actually open the message. But again, these guys are unbelievable, man. Um, if you're if you're a nerd, if you're a lover of Ryzen, and you swoon over it like I do, you will love this podcast. Hey, can I make an announcement about the co event? Please, please, here, Reaper Jones. Please, sir. What's up? I've got Araya and Izawa as lockpicks. Let's go. Let's go. I would definitely fight in Ryzen if I was an MMA fighter and had the chance. Dude, a lot of fighters, you know, if, if, they, if they don't make the UFC or they don't have success in the UFC, I feel like everyone wants to at least fight in Japan. At least once. Um, oh, like they're just announcing uh, all the judges and everyone involved right now, doctors, and, and then we're going to get to it. So they're going to start pretty quick here. Probably in, the, probably in the next five to 10 minutes is when, or probably right now is when the first uh, fighter is going to make his walkout. Um, and then we'll have an intermission after, well, not even intermission. Then we'll have the opening ceremonies and then, you know, there'll probably be a little bit of buffer time. They'll talk about what's coming up. Um, but yeah, two more intermissions. It's going to be a long card, guys. 17 freaking fights, three breaks. But uh, Lene Hart, that's what I missed about the last... Uh... <laughs> I love this guy. That's what I missed about the, the last uh, landmark event, man. And there she is. She agreed to come on the show, too. We just had uh, some scheduling issues last year. So 2024, I cannot wait to interview the legend that is Lene Hart. Going to sub, we arise and Avisha considers or cosigns. I'm all in for. Yeah, dude, they're awesome. They're awesome. It's it's been 12 minutes, Hank. Uh, I don't I don't think so. I don't know. Uh, Kumba, uh, Kumbanwa Bros and Hoes. What's up, Jared Seagull? There you go. <laughs> then they'll announce the name of every person who bought a ticket. Hank already hating, man. Hank already glass half empty on my favorite show of the year. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. First fighters are about to make their walkout. 13 minutes. That's not bad. That's not bad. God, you have to appreciate the cold opens for all of these fights, ladies and gentlemen. It's straight out of a freaking Japanese TV show. Oh, I, I like this is my favorite part. One of my one of many amazing things about Ryzen, but one of my favorite parts is even the first fight on the prelims, free on YouTube, and you get a you you get a like a show within a show. I, I absolutely love this league. Uh I lived in Japan for three years and I absolutely loved it. Dude, I cannot like Working in Japan covering fights would be the most amazing thing in the world. I've yet to do like a big trip, but it's something uh, it's something I want to do before I'm 40 in the next decade. Yo, what's up, buddy? Good to see you. <laughs> Jared. Reaper Jones, what do you what do you need to announce? Uh, Ryzen has a YouTube channel and it's up and running as I type and they should be showing some early fights. Yes, the first four fights. The first four fights. Oh, man. <laughs> I literally just re read through them. Uh, Japanese people tend to have... Oh, yeah, jeez. 
Uh, the ending of the football game got me uh, restless. Three failed two-point conversions. Classic refill. Hank the Tank here one more time. One more time. And then just pause and rewind the tape, okay? But, like, they're about to make their entrances, buddy. They're about to make their entrances. Um, Sakura, number one. Nasukawa, number two. Shino Tosuka, number three. Ni, number four. Anpo, number five. Arai, number six. Tanabi, number seven. Muria, number eight. Ota, number nine. Motoya, 10. Dodson, 11. Sudario, 12. Uh, Izawa, 13. Uh, Yaman, 14. Uh, Kleber, 15. Asakura, 16. And Horiguchi, number 17. Sorry, I couldn't read them slower, dude, but the chat's buzzing. Uh, YouTube, buddy. It's on YouTube. Yo, the MMA upside. What's up, buddy? I was stationed in Okinawa in 1994 to 1997. Love the culture, food, etc. Yes, I remember you telling us that, JD. That's amazing. Archelo still had a chance to make weight? Oh. Do tell. Do tell. Tell some more. Tell some more. And Repo, I, I will bring you on the show live a little bit later when we both need a little, like, a little conversation to keep us awake. No problem. No problem. Jared speaks fluid Japanese. Isn't Jared one of the dinglers? Or both? I made sure to check with your picks before I made mine. Out of boy, Hank. And again, mine. Like, if anything, that we are rising podcast boys have uh, have more of a pulse on it. But I took note of some of the things they said, especially the Nate Diaz rumor. I don't know if they were trolling, but I took it seriously. Ah, Jared's a myth. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Okay, Yushi Sakura making his walk out now. <laughs> it's just crazy, man. Again, prelims. The myth, the legend. He has about one hour to make the correct weight so he can fight for the championship belt. That's what? So like, basically until the show starts. He has until the show starts to make weight. People saying Connor might fight Nate at 300. Cool. Cool. 10 years too late. Six years too late. <laughs> they literally fought like almost 10 years ago. I mean, I'll, I'd watch that on the prelims. And here we go. Yushi making his, his crazy ass walkout. Mm, of course you did. Of course you did. I still think it will be Chandler. I think it should be Chandler, dude. Because at, at least that, like, and if Connor wins, that puts him right back into, like, the mix, right? A fight against Diaz isn't going to do anything for him at this point. I mean, and, like, will it even sell? You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I, I would rather see Connor test himself back against Chandler. I think that's perfect for him. So this guy's the antagonist, obviously. <laughs> let's go, let's go. No problem. I, I do not mind sharing them because, uh, I, I mean, I, I took time listening to the We Are Rising podcast. I went through the card. I went through the odds. I listened to uh, Pick'em MMAs uh, predictions as well. So yeah, tick a fucking <laughs> shit clock's ticking, Rick. Dude, that's crazy. Thank you so much um, for reporting on that. The Photoshop on Sakura's profile is clear. No worries, dude. Oh, uh, Kadena. He will get humbled dancing around. That's his thing, Jay. That's his thing. Yo, Diego's here as well. What's up, brother? 
I'm definitely looking forward to the Dodson fight, and I'm looking forward to Ann Post fight as well. Um, Joe Arai, and I'm excited for the main event of the evening. Chandler will bully him. Diaz is done. Here comes Jay with his warm takes. Dude, that's so awesome, man. Hey, JL, we'll say this, man. We'll say this. JL's a real G for staying up with me every single Ryzen card, man. Same with Reaper Jones. <laughs> uh, just for people who didn't have the pay-per-view, you watch it on YouTube Ryzen channel for the first four fights plus the opening ceremony. So don't miss out. All right, guys, I have Yushi Sakura for this one. Um, he's 3-1 and one in MMA, so he has experience. I mean, his entrances were, were wicked, as you saw there. Um, Hiromoto, he's Ren Hiromoto's little brother. He's only fought kickboxing, and he lost his first amateur fight. So I'm going with Sakura. Round one. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. First fight on this card. Not not a high level fight by any means. But hopefully we see them utilize the superior rule set here. Hiromoto, calm, cool, collected here. Entering with a hook to try to take it to the ground is a Sakura. So far, good takedown defense for the young kickboxer. <laughs> Hank the Tank, I... Let's just, let's just say they might they might still be involved. Oh, and a takedown by Hiromoto right back up to his feet is Yushi. Center of the ring. It's Blackshirt's debutant. Um, yeah, so that's Ren Hiromoto's little brother. He's making his pro MMA debut. He's a kickboxer. Uh, I think so, yeah. I've never had a pinky since 2003. What happened to your pinky? Oh, Superman punch attempt there by Yushi. Three minutes and 35 seconds on the clock. God, you remember the 10-minute the first rounds in Pride? Oh, nice right hook by Yushi. God, I love those Horizon gloves. Inside low kick attempt by... Hiromoto. Hiromoto throws a left and a right. Doesn't land. A little bit taller than Yushi here, but again, kickboxer versus a, well, a guy who has some MMA experience. Center of the ring. Stepping in to throw an overhand was Yushi swinging a miss. Uh, I took the Yakuza Oath to get free pride events. Didn't didn't we all? I'm pretty sure my dad did too, and that's how he got uh, he got that good HD. And here, Moto on his feet here, looking for the body lock is Yushi. Yushi getting that right hook in. Two minutes and twenty three seconds on the clock. I can say that he's not the worst Korean regional fighter, but Ryzen really wants Tension's younger brother to come up in MMA. So I, I, I don't think he's like a complete layup for him. He's a very capable striker. But if Nasakura decides to take him down or employ dirty boxing or grappling, then I don't think the Korean fighter is gonna gonna be that good. Nice outside knees. Uh, I, I We haven't seen him yet. We haven't seen him yet. One minute and 36 seconds on the clock, guys. Oh, and a, a takedown there by Hiromoto. And again, guys, these, these fights aren't judged with the 10-point must system. Superior rule set, baby. It's a great recreation of Rob versus Aldo. 
the kickboxer with the takedown, dude. And he's young, too. He's 20. I have Nasakura winning, um, but I think minus 700 was a slap in the face to the Korean guy. Or like he was like plus 650 or something like that. Because uh, Ryujin is the youngest fighter Ryzen will have ever signed at 17 years of age. 44 seconds on the clock here, man. Honestly, look, a guy making his pro debut and he's taken down the 3-1 MMA guy. Landing some right hands from the bottom as well. I dude, I'm way more impressed with Joe than I than I than I expected to be. I thought he was gonna do everything he could to keep this on the feet and just box the guy, but no, he's he's showing um he's showing Ryzen that no, like I'm I'm serious about this MMA stuff. That's awesome. 15 seconds on the clock. Going with the blonde. Dude, Matt and JD connecting here. That's sick, man. And thank you so much for joining. Uh, is it uh, Daddy? Daddy? <laughs> Daddy? Daddy? And that is it for the first round. Honestly, I'm I'm impressed with the Joe Hiromoto man. Oh, that step back right. He dropped him. He said, man, Yushi just is crazy with his running in there. Matt has bird on his head with that haircut. <laughs> and there's Ren Hiromoto. He's fighting later on the card as well. His first MMA fight. Uh, mixed rules bout, though. Or custom rules bout. Dude, I'm digging these dreads, man. I'm digging these dreads. <laughs> there's a picture of me somewhere on the internet i had dreads for one day in high school and then i realized oh no this is fucked my hair was that curly when i was younger western mass climber changing the profile picture on me 10-9 muscles makes me so mad volkanovsky would have beat islam exactly oh. that all right round two guys let's get it all <laughs> Right when my roommates are going to bed, the rise and show starts. They they must hate me. Ground control superiority by Joe Hiramoto. Yeah, the guy making his pro MMA debut. Shane had dreads for a year as well. Shane, you pulled them off though. Dipping them in lake water to keep them fresh. I got my friend Chelsea to back home my shit for like three hours while watching weeds. And then I was like, nope, and cut them all off. Yo, we knew you'd show. We knew you'd show. What's up, buddy? We were playing your song to start off the show. Two minutes and 14 seconds on the clock. Joe Hiromoto. Oh, eats a big right hand by Yushi. Yushi with a nice counter right. Joe Hiromoto with a nice right on Yushi. Inside low kick by Hiromoto. Will kickboxer make the full transition to Corey Sanhagen? Zach, it's on YouTube for free, buddy. Three minutes and 36 seconds. And good job by Joe Hiromoto. Taking away Yushi's room here. Cornering him. Inside leg kick again by Hiromoto. Come on, Yushi, let's go. Hell yeah, man. I've been looking forward to this for like seven freaking months, man. I'm so excited. Yeah, well, you know why? It's because he was yapping away versus actually grappling. It was cringe hearing him after. the Yeah, the guy pulled guard jujitsu, which it's not exciting to watch at all. You have to attack if you want to beat him. Yeah, it was it was a boring match all around, but the fact that like he was complaining the whole time versus actually engaging, it's like, look, man, put put your money where your mouth is and and do something. <laughs> Two minutes and thirty-six seconds on the clock. Oh, got you. <laughs> 
Ooh, and a nice left hand there by Hiromoto. He hurt Yushi. Yushi's wobbled here. Yeah, Yushi's bullshitting. Get a takedown. Oh, uh, what's up, Coldy? Uh, Hiromoto's actually winning, dude. He's employing takedowns. Stuffing Yushi's and landing the bigger shots. True, uh, T Gat. True that. Alger fight was irritating as fuck. Step back right attempt by Yushi. Man, Yushi's moving his, flinging his hair back as, oh, a knee by Hiromoto. Dude, Hiromoto's looking good. He's wobbled, you guys. Oh, sorry about that, Zach. I didn't know. I bought the pay-per-view, so I'm, I'm, I'm not watching on YouTube, but I'm, I'm just telling everybody who comes in to go to YouTube because it's free. I am the English commentary, Zach. <laughs> All good, dude. One minute, 19 seconds. Uh, Pay-per-view was only uh, 19 bucks in the States. 19 bucks for 17 fights? Pfft, sign me up. YouTube stream better than fight? You know what? I have no issue watching it in Japanese either. Maybe I should be watching it on YouTube. We are rising podcast. I've applied for these guys' job twice. Now I'm just going to like learn a little bit of Japanese and just send my resume right to the top. <laughs> None of this trailer shit. <laughs> no problem, Zach. Oh, and... I mean, I don't want to give him too much credit with the takedown, but he got the body lock and dragged him to the ground. Dragged him to the ground, did Joe Hiromoto. Yushi, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Oh my God, full mount? Are you shitting me? 21 seconds. I mean, she's saved by the freaking bell there by Yushi. And again, Joe Hiromoto just doesn't have like the grappling experience here, right? Because he could have easily gone for the back take, get, you know, full step over, get that left hook in. He just, he just doesn't have the grappling experience, but he's yet he's manhandling Yushi here. And that is it <laughs> for the second round. Jeez, did not expect this, did not expect this. Hey, and that's cool to have his older brother, Ren Hiromoto. He's known that his little brother's doing a good job here. Uh, oh, Mikuchi is winner. It's over. Yushi got no Riz. What's up, Joe Hogan? Yoshi looks uncomfortable as fuck. Just keeps running into shots. <laughs> there was round two. Ryan's the most unpredictable company in the sport. I've only gotten one pick right in the last year of predicting. It's crazy, man. And honestly, that's one of the things I like about it. It keeps you on your toes. Blonde is looking fresher, stronger, more aggressive, but the other dude is still in it. Joe's showing some promise here in the prelims. Dude is big brothering him. Big shots by Hiromoto. All right, round two. Around three. Oh, 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 big shots by Hiromoto. I think I'm a little bit behind you guys on the on the fight uh, stream here. Already on his ass is, is Yushi. Oh my goodness. I saw the chat before it happened, like literally like three seconds before it happened. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he doesn't want to let his brother down. And, and this is just where, like, Joe Hiromoto, like, you know, how many times is he practicing entering the guard from this position? Not many, right? So he's got to watch out. But uh, let's go with some stomps, baby. Let's go with some fucking stomps. None of these are dirty. None of these are dirty. This is the superior rule set, JL. Fuck, I should just switch to you two until, uh, until the pay-per-view starts. Good job by the ref for standing him up. Dude, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> you prefer it being behind. After this round, I'll just switch over to YouTube. I kind of want to hear the Japanese guys any um, anyways. Oh, man. I love that Centauri. 
And back on his feet is Yushi, center of the ring. The ring looking like the UFC ring these days with them sponsors. But hey, anything to keep Ryzen alive, baby. Three minutes and 19 seconds. Do you see Godzilla minus one yet? No, I haven't. Three minutes and five seconds on the clock. By the way, JL was like the only other person I know to be able to find a broadcast of this not on Fight TV. So join our membership to get access to our Discord. <laughs> and JL will hook a brother up. I didn't put my bets in on time. Hopefully I'll get uh, sh smoked for me. Well, we're getting smoked in this first one, dude. The underdog's about to fucking beat Yushi here. Oh, spinning back fist, spinning back fist. And you, she took that clean. It reminded me of Top Gun Maverick. Okay, I haven't even seen Top Gun Maverick yet, but I heard it's really good. Bro. Inside low kick by Yushi, and Yushi's looking for the takedown, and he, oh, he doesn't complete it. And Joe Hiromoto now looking for a takedown. Hey, I would, it would be an honor to go to Japan with you guys, and you guys be my tour guide. <laughs> To her guides. And Joe Hermoto does get the takedown right into side control here. I'm I'm not even mad that I'm gonna lose this pick. Nice pass there. Setting the crucifix up. Left knee trapping the right arm of Yushi. And again, if he spent more time just learning how to grapple, again, this guy's a kickboxer. Oh, a nice knee to the face. Fuck all of these rules. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. One minute, and 30 seconds. Oh, look at that. Red Reaper's got a spot. One minute, 23 seconds. Because I was going to say, like, with a little bit more grappling, he instead of just blasting knees here, which A plus, buddy. A fucking plus. I love this. I love this rule set. He would have already got the hooks in on the back and would be going for the rear naked choke. But instead, because Ryzen is the fucking best league in the world. Oh, right knee to the dome. He's like, screw back and school. Screw rear naked choke. We're going for them grounded knees. I love Japanese MMA, dude. That shit beautiful than the this motherfucker. This is what we live for. Because <laughs> my roommates are going to bed. 45 seconds on the clock. Man, what an awesome performance by Joe Hiromoto. Beautiful pass into half guard. How's it going, Mikey P? Minto used to have a hotel in downtown Tokyo. And oh, sweet. No, a good defense by Yushi. He's grabbing like the behind his knee as uh, as Hiromoto was going for an <laughs> arm triangle choke. And that is it for the third round. Let's fucking go, dude. Let's go. He's going to win that. Joe Hiromoto is going to fucking win this fight. I can't believe it. I am so proud of the, the young man. Unbelievable. He's going to win this fight. Arm triangle from the kickboxer and he set up some knees on the ground. Did he tap or was that the end of the fight? Kings versus Oilers in overtime. Who you got? Uh, ooh, uh, I don't know, dude. Probably the Oilers. I don't know. I do not know who's in the Kings lineup or anything. Whew. What's up, JK? Yushi fucked up. Yeah, I picked him to win too. He got fucked up in that one. Dude, I'm so proud of this guy. His lack of muscle didn't get uh, him it though. Just the end of the fight. <laughs> they got McDavid, so let's go, baby. 
<laughs> I was wrong on my first pick, but I don't even care. I'm so happy for the kid. I am so happy for the kid. Starting as a pro. Man, breaking the three-fight win streak of Yushi Sakura. Damn, the two guys fighting next are 17, but the Japanese guy is a pretty good kickboxer, it looks like. Yeah, the other guy is a regional uh, Korean kickboxer. Not a complete can, but let's be honest. Um, Nasukawa, that's Tenshin's younger brother. Uh, Ryujin Nasukawa, that's Tenshin's younger brother. And what was, what the, I heard this actually on the We Are Ryzen podcast two, three weeks ago. Um, the, the president of Ryzen... Saki Kibara's son was at a kickboxing event and this kid like got the mic and was like, I want to fight in Ryzen. I want to fight in MMA. And he was like, New Year's? And he was like, let's do it. So this kid fought two, three weeks ago. One down, 16 to go, three intermissions and an opening ceremony. Yeah, man, taking a nappy nap. Did everyone betting on this fight put their bets in way earlier? Yeah, I did like 48 hours. I actually have a few on this one. Um, and I did them like 48 hours early. Um, JMMA master race checking in. What's up, Kane? <laughs> All right, we have the cold open for the next one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. The greatest promotion in the world, ladies and gentlemen. You, she was 95% on topology. I know. What's up, Sir Can? It's good to see you, buddy. I know, dude. I got it wrong, too. I got it wrong. But you know what? I don't give a fuck. Joe Hiramoto deserved that, dude. He deserved that win. Knees on the ground, man. What an absolute beauty. Yeah, Tension's younger brother coming up, coming up next, guys. And so he was fighting in Rise Kickboxing. Duh, 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 duh. <laughs> I see you should be becoming a true mayor. <laughs> yeah, zero and one on predictions. Uh, Yushi just fights on New Year's. What's up with that? It's just be literally because of his walkouts. I'm not disappointed. I hope the young guy that won has a good career. Yeah, me too, man. And his older brother's fighting on this card. Dude, I, I'm so stoked. And Anpo was plus money, dude. He was plus 100 uh, yesterday. Shane, I also picked Nasakawa to win. Shane, have you watched any of Tenshin's fights? So, guys, uh, Ryujin Nasakawa is the youngest fighter that Ryzen has ever signed to their promotion. Battle of the Chuck Norris's. Hell yeah, activate A. All right, here we go. I imagine the Korean's going to walk out first. Yeah, Hugh, this is what's crazy, man. They're 17 years of age. OSHA just realized the good guy won the last fight. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got the boys from Korea huddling up here before they make their walkout. Um, yeah, so I have I have Ryujin Nasukawa on this one. Shoot, I didn't get him at 970. I got him at minus 700. Um, yeah, he's making his pro debut, but so is his opponent. And his opponent's just... <laughs> Look at this fucking bull cut, motherfucker, dude. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is crazy. Um, he's going up against a uh, freaking Jacob from Trailer Park Boys here. Um... Both of these guys, I guess, I guess are the youngest fighters in Rise in history. Uh, uh, Nasukawa, though, is just a way better kickboxer. Has fought way better competition on his scene, especially fighting in Rise versus, again, the Korean <laughs> regional kickboxing scene as a freaking high school student. Um, what's crazy is Nasukawa fought two weeks ago. I don't know the last time that Jun Min Shin fought, but uh, a Rise fighter, I, 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 the call out was legendary. I don't think they gave him a layup. Like they gave him another 17 year old guy who's also fighting in the sport, but I think he's going to get this one. Sniff my bread. Are you going to, uh, are you going to chuck on the fight? <laughs> I can't put it on screen, buddy, but it's on YouTube for you to watch. This guy looks 15. 
Saw the Korean is a little bit taller at Wayne's. I'm going for Jungmin Sin on this one. Going with the underdog. Imagine the UFC with with this entrance. Yeah, it's just it's just different, right? This the whole feels of a Japanese show is just different. Um, I do remember a time, Sir Ken. I do remember a time in my in my life where the UFC, you know, had like Tito Ortiz. I think it was like UFC 30 or 35, or Tito Ortiz walked out to like pyrotechnics. This shit was like a movie. UFC feels better. See, I prefer this because this is what I grew up on, right? I, I fell in love with MMA watching watching Pride. A and the original UFC, but that was just a whole a whole other can of worms. Uh, night shift ends now. Home and watch and rising with the city life. Love it, buddy. Thank you so much for joining <laughs> You know I was saving my Japanese whiskey, the Suntory Verizon New Year show. Um, smash that like button if you haven't already, guys, and don't forget to vote in the poll question. What is your what what is the best Japanese New Year show? Did Dream Ryzen Pride or Inoki Bombaye put on the best New Year show? Let me know in the live chat. Or let me know in the live chat and let me know in the poll question. And Tension is in the audience here. He's taking a deep breath, looks nervous for his brother. Two 17-year-olds debuting in MMA on this rising card. YouTube, it's perfectly legal in Japan, okay? Don't friggin' age restrict me for this shit, I, I'm not even showing the damn stuff. We got uh, Don Cherry staying warm here. I mean... We're geared up. We're geared up. I don't. I don't have enough snacks. I do have pop rocks, which I was going to test in this mic later. <laughs> it was in a stocking stuffer of mine. All right, being announced in the cage now. This guy's too skinny for his damn shorts, bro. Jung Min Shin from Korea. Fifty-four kilograms. What is that? Mm -mm -mm. 118 pounds. Oh, it just showed on screen. Yeah, 118 pounds. Getting some chili for this. Oh my goodness. That sounds like the freaking best snack to watch this. And I say that as a buy... A boy that walks around at 145. Yeah, I'm I'm around one, 135 and 145. The goal is to get like 155, and fucking jacked. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it on. <laughs> Yay! You know, maybe someday the city life wins it, dude. No, I don't think I'll ever be able to win it with all the slander of uh, not slander, sorry. <laughs> All the kind words I've said about uh, <laughs> the PFL. One ninety five. <laughs> Big overhand right by Nasakawa, and John Minshin throwing up a triangle here. Four minutes and seventeen seconds on the clock. Are some big shots by Nasakawa? And Jong Min Shun showing that this isn't a kickboxing match. This is an MMA fight. And I'm going to go for this arm bar here. Highest was 213. Jacked. Nice. Five for tennis. Yeah, I'm, I'm about 5'7. 5'8. Uh, arm bar. Arm bar here by Jong Min Shun. The stomp. And Nasakawa employing the stomp here, employing the kicks. But slowly cinching this up. That that left arm though, that, that's what's in the way there, right? So far, Jong Ming Shin, you know, does have the better position here, putting up the the triangle position for the arm bar, but 
one of Nasakawa's arms is his left arm is in there and then that and it's not allowing him to cinch it up. So he's switching now for the straight arm bar. Oh, this is tight. Jong Min Shin. Oh, he's trying to spin out of his Nasakura. Good scramble there by Nasakura. That was just cinched there for a moment. Oh, and the stomps. The freaking stomps. Nasakura stomping on the face of Jong Min Shin. Two minutes and 42 seconds on the clock. Oh, the arm is not supposed to bend like that. And he gets out of it. And he gets out of it. And Nasakura with the stomp again. Up kick by Jong Ming Shin. These 17 year olds are fucking going crazy. How Region Nasakura got out of that is crazy, man. Two minutes and 17 seconds on the clock. Wow, those stomps were savage. And nice left up kick by Zhang Mingxin. Ref was ready to step in there. It's been too long. <laughs> Going for the knee in the ground. Stomp that head. Oh, you can't hold on to the ropes there and back up to their feet. John got the armbar, crazy defense, pure determination not to lose that. Slipped out of it. Can we please get a finish? Neskura, 91%. I most definitely would have given up. There was one There was one point in there where I was just like, man, nice takedown by Zhang Ming Chen. I'm going to give credit to this Korean kid. He prepared for an MMA fight, not a striking fight. One minute and 10 seconds on the clock in the full guard of Nasakawa. Carpet bag time. 55 seconds on the clock. This is the only promotion that would allow two 17-year-olds to fight with the knee rule and stomps, dude. Now potentially trying to set up an arm triangle here. <laughs> Final 30 seconds. Man, what a start to this fight. Oh, a nice left elbow. A nice good job posturing up there by Jong Min Shin. 10 seconds on the clock. And that's it for the first round. Did not expect the Korean to employ uh, some submission attempts there. I literally thought that they were just going to go at it on the feet. Smart, smart move, man. Smart game plan. And Nasakawa knows a little busted up there. But Nasakawa had that big right hand to start. But as soon as Nasakawa chased him to the ground... That's when you just started attacking and attacking and attacking that armbar. Nasca with some nice stomps, though. Good kicks. Oh, savage stomps. Dude, these replays are nuts. Um, I will say that Jung Min Shin is up so far, but again, the fight is not judged round per round. Jong by malnutrition. <laughs> These kids are high school seniors and could whoop my ass. Stomps are sick. I, lo I love this shit. All right, round two. Let's get it all. All right, here we go. Both fighters meet center of the cage. Sorry, ring. Outside low kick by Nasakawa. Another outside low kick by Nasakawa. Nasakawa with a straight left. And again, small gloves, right? Especially in Rise, you're used to those big gloves. Inside low kick by Nasakawa. 
Step in left uppercut attempt by Nasakawa. Outside low kick, Nasakawa. Nasakawa tried to grab that. Oh, high kick attempt by Zhou Ming Shin. Inside left uppercut by Nasakawa, followed by the low kick. And this is where he shines, man. Nasakawa wins better hair color. <laughs> Oh, another inside low kick. That one hurt. That one hurt Jongmin Shin. Oh, knees to the head. Knees to the head. Oh, another knee to the head. Another knee to the head. Big knees by Nasakawa. Two minutes and 42 seconds. Oh, Nasakawa. Continuing to throw knees here. And Zhao Ming Shin, yeah, the, the broadcast said it. He's not scrambling here. He's just taking these knees to the head. What's up, Derek? Uh, playing his head like the bongos with his knees. Finish him. Well, I was wrong on the first one. Hopefully, uh, we'll win on this second one here. Uh, Nasikawa takes the back mount. Korea's done. Oh, big shots here, back mount, three minutes on the clock. Oh, up kick by Jong Min Shin. This is why Ryzen is the best fight league in the world. Because they actually get to fight. Beautiful right hand on the entry, and that hurt Jong Min Shin. And Nazakawa here looking to finish the fight. Nazakawa looking to finish the fight. And it is all over. It is all over. Cash that money. Cash that money. <laughs> cool, Let's go. After being challenged early in the first round after being forced to play the MMA game for a bit. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Back on a win. First check mark of the night, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. What is up, Vulcan? Uh, wish you a nice stream. I'll come back strong when UFC is back again. One day we'll find you a place where you can scream your commentary to full potential. It will be <laughs> appreciated, buddy. Thank you so much. Vulcan, this card is going to be incredible, dude. Yep, we were, we're rooting for uh, Tatsuki next. And that's all she wrote. <laughs> Looks fixed. I don't know. Make it up for Rouse. Riley Height is nasty. Best player in the WHL. And he succeeded with the victory. Shin looked good in some parts uh, for a kickboxer. Nice submission attempts. No, absolutely. I need sleep after this fight since it's almost 7 a.m. Uh, good night, bro. Cheers, buddy. Now my roommates. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, their room's right above mine, so I'm just I'm just trying to be respectful. Let's go! Just bought it. <laughs> MMA locksmith? There's not, dude. Or else I'd give it to you. I promise. It, right now, it's free on YouTube for another two more fights. Two more fights in the opening ceremonies on YouTube for free. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go. Good night, or should I say good morning? <laughs> His hair makes him look like Wolverine. The kid looks too well. <laughs> Maybe a porcupine. MMA has to be the most emo sport. <laughs> hey, have a great night, Vulcan, and thank you so much for renewing your membership. Appreciate you. Or combat sports in general. Uh, the Red Reaper put it out there as well. There you go. Oh, there, there you go. You guys, if you guys want to become exclusive members of the channel, we have a uh, we have a thread on our Discord, and you get a lifetime access to our Discord if you become a member of the channel. And uh, yeah, looks like our looks like we have a link there in the membership. So there you go. Yes, he did, buddy. Yes, he did. I want to go to Singapore someday. My my buddy did a did a school exchange there just so he could surf. So he actually flunked uh, his semester, and his hair was bleached by the sun and, and water. Uh, 
All right, we have our only kickboxing fight. But uh, open finger kickboxing, which is basically kickboxing in the MMA gloves. Seen a similar thing in one championship. Uh, Shane, you're going with the same guy as me. Pride and Ryzen head to head on the toll. Vo, I'm uh, it's free on YouTube. It's free on YouTube. <laughs> Pride and Ryzen are actually the same. So, well, kind of. Yes and like yes and no, but I'm talking about the shows in particular because like for me, nothing beats the Pride shows, right? E even even today, the Pride FC shows are still better than like the Ryzen shows. <laughs> love the cold opens, guys. Absolutely love the cold opens. Oh, on YouTube, just look up uh, Ryzen 45, brother. 1 a.m. Yeah, it's midnight central time. Let's go, Joe. It's great to see you, buddy. Pride is caveman Ryzen. I'm going uh, Tatsuki for this. And uh, Daichi. Uh, Tomizawa is making his walkout right now. Yeah, two more fights in the opening ceremony. You guys can... Uh, Watch with us here. All right. Daichi making his walkout right now. <laughs> uh, Daichi. Uh, Tomizawa. Two pro MMA fights. I thought he was making his pro debut, but. Uh, or are these kickboxing fights? Kickboxing, my apologies, my apologies. Anyways, this is kick this is a kickboxing fight with uh with the MMA gloves here. None of the kickboxing or custom rules fights are gonna be in the rising kickboxing gloves. All of them are with the small gloves. Anyways, I did I did a little bit of a breakdown on this one. Um I I like Tatsuki because he's a crush veteran. Um, this is you know, the breaking dumb and K1 rivalry going up against each other. Uh, this should be a fun fight, actually. It, it should be there should be fireworks here, right? They, they should just throw down in the center of the ring. Um, I just think Shinotsuka, Tatsuki Shinotsuka has more experience and he's got some nasty, nasty just step back rights as well. Um, yes, he did, he did. I chose their wild rampage. Always says it on his YouTube channel. Yeah, if you have Fight Pass, you can actually go and watch every single one. And most of them are on YouTube. And buddy's walking out with a fucking balaclava or a ski mask and a bag of money. What does he have in this bag? He just completed a heist and he has his crush belt with him. Oh my goodness. He has 11 and 3 record in kickboxing. He's bringing his crush belt. He's got a ski mask. He he opened up a bag of cash. Now this is a walkout, ladies and gentlemen. And this motherfucker is who we picked to win this fight. I actually feel fresh for Ryzen for once, definitely. Glad I had a long uh, nap. 6 a.m. at the moment. Nice. 10 p.m. here in North Van. What's up, City Life Gang? Yeah, Pacific time is awesome for Ryzen. going to be a late one for us. Is Tommy's, Tommy Zawa coming to fight or steal your girl? <laughs> oh, I would love it. I would love it. Uh, I do think, well, you'd have to do like, light lighter weight classes right because ryzen just doesn't have the doesn't have good fighters you know higher up they they have good light uh light fighters pretty much like lightweight down <laughs> this card is twinked out welcome to japan yo dylan what's up buddy cheers man How we doing, Dylan? 
What is this, payday? Great entrance. We betting on Chuck Norris? <laughs> I got Rude Boy winning, man. 11 and 3 in Crush. Crush is a, a solid uh, K1, under the K1 banner for kickboxing. Dreads Corner Man again. Oh, I think it must be the Cup, cup Man. I like the ring for nostalgia, but but for mixed martial arts, the cage makes a lot more sense. But but I like watching it in a ring more because again, I I fell in love with MMA watching Pride. But this is a kickboxing match, guys. This is a kickboxing match, and Daichi Tomizawa a two and zero record. Despite the the small gloves, this is not um, MMA. And Shinotsuka, just way more experience and a belt and crush. <laughs> I think he's just that pale, that pale. This guy's his junior Yakuza tattoo starter cake going on. The MA Junk is putting all nighter for this one. Let's go. Card of stack cheers. This guy's definitely a criminal. <laughs> Oh, shit, we got beef. Open gloves kickboxing bout the second I've seen since K1 Rebirth 1. All right, round one. Let's get it on. Bo, you buy the pay-per-view. That's what you do, brother. You buy the pay-per-view. All right? All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Round one. Sorry, I didn't update the ticker on the bottom of the screen. I will do that in just a sec. 132 pounds. Three three-minute rounds, ladies and gentlemen, in this kickboxing in Ryzen gloves. Body kick by Tomizawa. Right hand by Shinosuka. Oh, and a straight left by Tatsuki Shinosuka. He gets the knockdown, and he's getting the crowd going. Left hook. And he's good. They're back at it. Two minutes and 10 seconds on the clock. Trying to land that left hook. Oh, and a nice left by Tommy Zawa on Tatsuki. High kick by Tommy Zawa. Oh, and a clash of heads. Vo, I've already told you, buddy. This one is not an easy one to find. You can watch it on YouTube for free for the first for the next two fights, or you can buy the pay per view, buddy. If you want to become an exclusive member of the channel, we have a Discord. That's one of the perks. And in the Discord, someone might have a link for you. I bought the pay per view. We're going to be focusing on that, buddy. Big headbutt too. Yep. Yeah. And again, vote. You can't watch it for free on YouTube the whole card, but you can watch the next two fights, sir. We're not going to keep explaining it to you, man. We've explained it like three times already. <laughs> Anyone? Now he has a cry for help. Man, people don't know how to use the internet in 2023. It's crazy. One minute and 29 seconds on the clock. And Daichi is back. A left and a right. And trying to go for the leg kick. And a nice left hand by Tatsuki. Might have been a little bit of a trip there by... Tomizawa. Gotta love when the fighters get the crowd hyped. No problem, buddy. He keeps flailing around, falling down. Swing and a miss with that left. They clinch. Good job, ref, separating them. <laughs> 35 seconds on the clock. Tatsuki was forcing Tomizawa up against the ropes there, dodging furious shots as he walks forward, but he eats one. Tatsuki's got to keep his hands up. Catching the kick was Tatsuki, but he got tagged with the left again. 
Left by Tatsuki. Kick by Tatsuki. Cornering his opponent. Knee to the body by Tatsuki. Final seconds of the first round. Inside leg kick by Tomizawa. Straight left by Tatsuki. He's got that range down already. Straight left again. He's just eating too many shots because... Well, he just refuses to keep his hands up. And that's it for the first round. And yeah. He got hit. With a lot, but uh, Tatsuki Rude Boy, Shinosuka, easy win for that first round. Ish, if you want a good laugh, check out uh, Yatuga Kubo versus Sato Costume Rules fight. Uh, no way Ampo loses. Okay. <laughs> nice footwork by Diaz. With the weight cut. Oh, with the cut of the weight of traditional gloves, you'll probably see more speed in these strikes. <laughs> Stockton slap. Oh, it looks like uh, Tommy Zhao is bleeding a little bit. Anyways, round two coming up. Unfortunately, Ryzen uh, ring card girl kits definitely in the D tier. <laughs> Two minutes and 55 seconds on the clock. Oh, and a nice left by Tommy Zawa. Good combo there. They clinch, separate on their own accord. Straight right by Tommy Zawa. Tatsuki just looking for that one big shot again. Oh, and a left by Tommy Zawa. <laughs> they break. Tommy Zawa just pushed Tatsuki. Tatsuki just got to keep his hands up, man. Nice push kick by Tommy Zawa. Straight left by Tatsuki. You can tell he hits harder, too. Tokyo, motherfucker. Two minutes on the clock. Outside low kick by Daichi Tomizawa. Two minutes left in this second. Ooh, a nice left to the body. And then a clinch there by Tatsuki. Tatsuki needs to get more volume going. Tomizawa swinging and missing. <laughs> they trash talking. One minute 34 seconds. Oh, nice left hook by Tomizawa. Daichi Tomizawa just doesn't have that power. Left to the body by Tatsuki. Oh, Tatsuki eats a one and two. Oh, and a nice knee by Tomizawa. We've only seen it one more time. We're seeing Ryzen and K1 kickboxing. It's awesome. One minute on the clock. Sniff my bread is pissed. Hey, he got he got clipped on those knees, dude. Tommy in his ass, man. He got to do something different. Yeah, see, I was saying that too. The broadcasters are talking about it. Tatsuki's keeping his hands down. And he's getting hit with unnecessary shots here. Like, if he doesn't drop Tomizawa or land a huge blow. Oh, big left hook and left the body as well. But like, Tomizawa might win this round. I know that left jab is landing and he's doing more damage, but this is 10-point must kickboxing rules. Nice left hook by Tatsuki. Right by Tatsuki. Oh, straight left again. But then he eats two there. That's the thing. There's a right by Tatsuki. Oh, and he flips him the bird on his way back to the bench. I was thinking about the Pride vs. Ryzen thing we were talking about, and you're right. Pride was way better when they weren't behind the UFC. Uh, they were peers and had close, if not more, talented fighters. Oh, yeah. Good round, man. Good round. I got it one apiece going into the third. Stop moving his feet. Go back to stick, stick and move. 
Japanese Nick Diaz uh, strikes again. He flipped him off at the end of the round. Nice left hands. Yeah, the English commentators ain't hyping up anything very monotone. Oh yeah, they're they're not the greatest. Hey, that's why I've applied. That's why I've applied to work there. One one eating a lot of unnecessary shots. The fighters are actually watching the fights after their wins respect and before. Ren hasn't even fought yet. Uh, now, bro, I just don't like listening to Asian commentary. Yano, so thought I'd try to help out someone trying to find it and distract. Keep the hard work. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. Hey, I, 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 I empathize. I empathize, dude. I empathize. <laughs> Thank you for the kind words there, brother. I didn't take it personally. I would have been pissed. I would be pissed too. <laughs> Yeah, Diaz got this. All right, round three. Let's go. And again, thank you so much for the for the comment there. Oh, a knee there on the break by uh, Tatsuki. Two minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. And let's see if Tatsuki tightens up his stance here. Because that's just the thing. That, that left jab is, is landing, but he's getting... Hit with unnecessary shots. Muffin shots in comparison to his, but still. <laughs> play, play goes perfect with this pay-per-view. Ryzen 45 on mute. Hey, I appreciate it, dude. Tell that to their hiring committee because I'd love to work for them. And there's some good head movement by Tatsuki. He lands that. That left jab is landing all day, every day. Oh, there it is again, man. There's a right in the clinch. The Kiai is not going to help you, Tomizawa. Oh, a nice right. And a nice right again by Tomizawa. Diaz is avoiding everything like Holloway style. It's about time. He's getting tagged with stuff in the first. Slobby shots on the guy losing, yeah. Just doesn't have the power. Like, that straight left jab is... is Way more powerful. And again, I, I'll give credit to... Well, I, I won't be too hard on Tatsuki here. Oh, shot to the back of the head by Tomizawa. He's probably used to having his hands a little bit lower with those big gloves, right? I don't I don't think he's ever fought with small gloves in, in kickboxing rules. But this is a good test for Ryzen, and I'm enjoying this. I really like kickboxing in, in small gloves. Good head movement. Oh, and they each land a nice shot in the clinch. They're just swinging here. Nice knee. And the ref just letting them go. Dude, this ref doesn't give a fuck, man. He's just like, just go. Just go. 43 seconds. Nice left from Tomizawa. Dude, Tazuki's hurt, man. Tomizawa lands some big shots. Tomizawa with the war cry. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god Tatsuki tagged him and dropped him Tomizawa almost won that fight he got dropped the last second and that's what lost him the fight 10 seconds left oh right by Tatsuki let's go let's go let's go Oh, he's, he's defeated, man. He's so pissed. That's crazy. Look at the passion from this fighter. He knew he was winning. He knew he was winning. He's so sad right now because he got dropped and it's and he, he blew it. Damn, man. Wow. What a fight, dude. What a fight. Oh, beautiful right. <laughs> oh my god. God, I love this league so much. This guy's actually Nick Diaz. Dachi is so pissed. Tattoo boy takes it for sure. The blonde guy, not very good. Terrible distance manager. This was his uh fourth fight. This was his fourth kickboxing fight. He's so pissed. Damn, dude. <laughs> Bro, are you swinging at air? 
It's over. All I saw was Hank the Tanks. Oh, and I was like, oh, something big's coming. I was like, ah. Uh, Red Corner running on fumes. Good scrap, man. Good scrap. Well, yeah, just because the other guy only landed like four jabs, dude. I thought it was 1-1 one, because one, it's 10-point must for kickboxing, right? So I thought 1-1 one, one going into the third and he was out, out striking him. But after that knockdown, it was easy. Oh, actually, you know what? I totally... Uh, I don't know if it's an automatic 10-9 with the knockdown. So so you're right, Matt. I, I could be wrong. Because in the first round, uh, the first round, you're, you're totally right. Tatsuki did get the knockdown. So it might have been a 10-8. No, no, you're you're right. Especially you're right. I, I totally forgot that um, the knockdown is would probably make the round a ten eight. So, so you're right. You're right. Yeah, it's it's ten point must for kickboxing. Damn, dude. Uh, he, he in hindsight, no, but but he was getting uh. He was getting, not beat up, but he was getting hit quite a bit. Risen. I don't know uh, why it's pronounced the way it's pronounced. If it was Japanese, Romaji, it would pronounce Rizin. Shane, some of them pronounce it Risen, some of them pronounce it Risen. Still the round, probably won the fight. I got 29-28 for the Stockton fighter. A hundred and fifty thousand people watching live on YouTube. I hope they all flock over to this stream when uh, when the free stream is over. Damn. Well, last free fight, Shane. You gotta buy this one, man. You gotta stay up with us for this one. Here we go. You gotta buy this one, Shane. Um, but yeah, that's so awesome. Two knockdowns in the first. No, I thought one of them was a one of them was a trip though, was it not? I don't think he got the count for for one of them. I could be wrong. <laughs> this is how I learned to judge watching fights together. Stockton, baby. I think this is the last. Shane, you should just fucking buy this one, man. If there's any fight to spend money on, Shane, it's this card. Me too. I hope they all hang out after the prelims. Uh, who won? Oh, so uh, Tatsuki Shinotsuka won that one. Back had a work call. Hope it all went good. Hope it all went good. Saito is my dog tonight. Former champ up against former champ. I think Clever Kweke Erbs is just way too slick with his jujitsu, and he went to train striking at ATT for this camp. This one's harder to find than usual, Matt. All right, let's get to the next one here. Dun, dun, dun. There's so many. All right. So, you know, a, a decent veteran who's coming in as the favorite up against the king of Pancrase, the two time king of Pancrase. But Suguni making his walk out right now. He's an absolute G, not in a G. Broke his high school buddy's orbital bone, then kicked him in the face on the same day that those freaking guys in the PFL hugged each other for three rounds because they were too scared to actually fight. Because we're friends. Fuck the PFL, dude. 16 and 12 as a pro. He's on a four-fight win streak. King of Pancrase. He won the Pancrase championship. Second time he's won that championship. 
Um, looked good in his last Ryzen fight. And he's my first underdog on this card. He's my first underdog on this card. I think Satoshi uh, Yamasu is fine. Two and two in his last four. He's the favorite. He's a decent veteran. Uh, good grappler as well. Two and two in Ryzen, 10 and five in deep. And, and that's my thing. Knee, not the best wrestling, Okay. He can stuff a takedown or two. He can grapple up against the ropes, but but that's not his game. His game is striking. So that is why I believe he is uh, the under, the slight underdog for this one coming in at plus 110. It's just because Yamasu's a little bit more well-rounded, but we got the former deep champion in Satoshi Yamasu up against the king of Pancras, Suguru Ni, the two-time king of Pancras, Suguru Ni. Like I said, he soccer kicked his buddy in the face after breaking his orbital bone in his last one. Um, his but his last two fights were just awesome fights. Just go back and watch his fights if you're interested. Um, yeah, Yamasu, I like his wrestling, I like his grappling, but knee is just too much of a savage. Well rounded, enough to be able to avoid being wrestled to a boring decision. But if Yamasu does win this fight, I do think it will be a boring decision. But I'm going with knee. Mm -mm -mm. Um, Shane, do it. We hanging out. So you got your pick, right? Yep. Uh, no doubt, but Blondie was giving him the what for and making it a fight until the third. I think Saito will wrestle and Kleber is too happy to play off his back. Just going to result in control time. Fair, fair. But I think Kleber's just too. I think Kleber is just a, on a, on a leather level jujitsu wise. Like I don't even, I don't know if he'll be able to defend. But hey, not the worst underdog, and it pays well. I love you, Avjo. American fighters going undefeated tonight. Cameron, I made a whole prediction video on this channel. Just go to videos and, and check it out. It's all timestamped. America, fuck yeah. <laughs> Love that song. Shout to Matt and Trey. <laughs> Shane's got Yamasu. Seguru is more superior in the grappling department. He'll win via submission in round three. Also, 2-2 two, two on this card. Good day, Isha and chat. Great fight so far. Let's go, Metallica. <laughs> the camera quality is so much better on this card. Doesn't look foggy anymore. Yeah, this ain't no Azerbaijan landmark card. And the refs got the PFL rev, ref cam. But even without the knockdown, Tattoo would have won it. Yo, what's up, 4 ounce to Freedom? <laughs> Go subscribe to the channel, guys. All right, round one. Let's get it all. Shoot, I didn't even get the ticker ready. Again, this is my first underdog pick. Despite Satoshi, the Dominator, being the more well-rounded fighter, being the better grappler, Seguru needs an absolute savage. And when you sick, when you soccer kick your friend after. Breaking his orbital bone. I'm picking you to win your next fight. King of Pancrease, baby. The only fault about Ryzen is its commentary not being flown into the event. I know, dude. That's why, honestly, I just got to start watching in Japanese. Rush hour. My man. My man, Jay. He's also streaming the fight, so go to his live chat. Give him a thumbs up. Give him a like. And tell him Isha sent you. What's up, Jay? I'll stop by in a little bit here, buddy. And during the intermissions, and we'll chat it up. And thank you so much for the kind text that you sent me yesterday, man. Appreciate it. Dangerous promotion. The best promotion. Ooh, outside low kick by Yamasu. And Yamasu, keeping this on the feet. Uh, the size difference is evident here. My goodness. 
entertainment wise, a hundred percent agree. Chandler would dominate this, but still, hey, bring on, bring on some Bellator champs. Oh, a nice left and a right by knee, and oh, they're throwing in the pocket here. Nice right hand by Yamasu. And knees looking like Michael Chandler there in the striking department. Outside low kick by Yamasu. Dude, that was awesome. Yeah, dude, that was awesome. Uh, what's up, Valentine? It's free on YouTube right now. Chestnut checkers. Dude, good striking affair so far. One minute, 31 seconds on the clock. It's definitely just a different brand, right? And the, I mean, the UFC has the better fighters, right? It's the NFL, the, the, uh, the NHL, the MLB of MMA. Ryzen is, is special because it's a savage league. Jails are just a UFC guy. One minute and 55 seconds on the clock. Yeah, it's only $20. Fair enough indeed. One minute and 36 seconds. Jail thinks that every league has to be the UFC. Where else are they going to fight Jail? They fight in deep and rising, baby. Sometimes pancreas. <laughs> One minute and 15 seconds. Knee, try to enter with that overhand right. Constantly on the back for constantly moving is Satoshi. Dude, Bellator has the exact same problem as Ryzen. Way better guys at the top. Like, like, don't get me wrong as far as their depth, but like their Bellators, like just because you fought in Bellator, it doesn't it doesn't mean much, right? Because you, you have guys with that type of record in Bellator fighting one-on-one -on -one guys too. Seguru's pressuring Satoshi. It's the cameraman to UFC got a vibe. Absolutely. This is MMA. This is MMA. All right. Garbage take. Absolute trash take. Yeah, PFL is a garbage league jail. Absolute trash. It's actually a disgrace to mix martial arts. Oh, and they're swinging here in the pocket, man, right before the end of the round. Yeah. PFL looks at mixed martial arts and goes whips out their dicks pisses all over it takes a fat shit and then uses that to martial arts to wipe its ass the pfl is an absolute disgrace pacifist fighters league more technical fight um bellator definitely like way way better than Ryzen, they have way, way more depth um, as far as like the talent in Ryzen or the talent in Bellator. But yeah, no, the PFL is absolute disgrace to mixed martial arts, dude. And it's sad to see. It's sad to see. Looking good for his record. No, I never will. I never will, dude. Unfortunately. Let's <laughs> see, Fighting Wing. So the Drew takes the first round. Yeah, it's it's a disgrace, actually. It's a disgrace. No mainstream person is watching the PFL, dude. Round two. It's trash. It's a disgrace. And they hate mixed martial arts. Uh, this is awesome entertainment. Guys, go ham. 
<laughs> Absolute disgrace, jail. Uh, look close with them. Reactions to the leg kicks might edge it. It's had its moments, but OAM of callers made me depressed. Oh, a knee with some big shots in the pocket here. Two minutes, four, four minutes on the clock. What's up? Uh, I tried giving PFL a chance last year, this year, and even the challenge series is shit product all around. Smart cage. Oh, out cold, out cold. Sakuruni, Sakuruni. The underdog caches, the underdog caches. But this league sucks. This league sucks, right, Dale? This league is this league is the worst because it's not entertaining. It's not entertaining. Let's go. Fuck the PFL. Beautiful counter to that kick, and he was out, ladies and gentlemen. So Guru Ni is on an absolute run right now. King of Pancras, huge knockout in Ryzen, and a huge knockout coming back from winning the Pancras tournament again. Let's freaking go. Fuck the PFL, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And one more for good measure. Oh, huge overhand right. Good job by the ref who got in there as quickly as he could, but he took one too many there. Beautiful, beautiful stuff there. Overhand right, cash nice. They took it off the book, so I ride with you. Hit. His opponent decided not to wrestle. So the guru bombs Satoshi with the right hand of doom. Chael calls any promotion that doesn't pay him not entertaining. <laughs> Michael Chandler performance. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Nice pick. We tied the beer bet. Let's go. Let's maybe don't say anything too early next time. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, that's what's going to happen when Leon... Uh, that's going to happen to Leon when Bilal touches him with that big overhand right. What's a smart cage? Knee got the KO, ladies and gentlemen. The smart cage is a joke, brother. Rather watch paint dry than watch the PFL for more than 50 minutes. Wow. all with the JoJo shoulder pop. Boom. Two more for good measure. The comments are saying the ref should have let him fight. Dude, those comments are... Are they actually saying that, Jail? That's crazy. That's crazy. Fighters always cry in Horizon because they bring dishonor to their family, dude. Damn, Sonny's crying. Like DC after the KO. That KO was a beauty and made me some cash. Let's go, dude. It made me some motherfucking money too. <laughs> my first underdog hit. I hope my but I told my buddy to bet on this too. I was sending him my picks. I sent him my whole notes and everything. Cash that motherfucker. Let's go. God, I love Ryzen. They are saying the drunk brawler one. Absolutely, that's his style. Drunken monkey, drunky, drunken brawler, whatever you want to call it. That is the style, and it prevailed. Opening ceremony time, man. Opening ceremony time. Because <laughs> my roommates are sleeping. And their bedroom is right above me. And I am one big scream away from getting a text. Someday I'll be able to afford my own place. He was asleep before he hit the ground. 
People in this chat are way more civil or civilized than Western live stream comments. <laughs> Japanese MMA never disappoints. Ampo, let's go. Yeah, we need an Ampo win, guys. We need an Ampo win. Oh, God, I love this league. All right, opening ceremonies next, guys. So this is the first. We have <laughs> three freaking intermissions on this card. So this is the first one. There'll be an opening ceremony. And then I believe we have five fights, and there's another one. All right, here we go. Cold open for the entire card is starting here, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to watch this together. I'm going to turn down the volume just a little bit here. Let's freaking go, man. So this is the cold open for the whole card coming up here. My favorite aspect of MMA has to be the intermissions. What is this JL or Hank the Tank? Toyo Tires is my jam. I'm trying to talk up fights are so good. You okay, Metallica, don't miss this. I I wouldn't miss this intermission. This this is why you buy the pay-per-views, man. <laughs> let's hope so. Let's hope so. Uh, I I mean it's there. It's uh I don't I don't like being disrespectful to my roommates, dude. Uh who wins against Ota? Oh, Ota's gonna win. <laughs> I I love Ryzen's uh Ryzen's videos, man. Yo, average fight fan, it's good to see you, brother. Here for a little Ryzen, baby. I know, I wish, dude, I wish. Put it this way, if I wasn't literally under their bedroom, I wouldn't care too much because, like, they would just hear me from afar, but, like, they can hear everything. <laughs> I should set up an office somewhere else, but. I can't live without my proper 12. But he's chowing some ramen right now. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> they definitely have like that celebratory music going in the background. <laughs> I love this shit, guys. Isha's mud is getting a beauty rest. Smash that like button, guys. The only thing better than ramen is fried ramen. I've never had fried ramen yet, but I'm a big ramen guy. Oh, this isn't even close, JL. If you think this is over the top, sign off now, brother. JL just loves to shit on everything I like, dude. That's his that's his shtick. It's never gonna change. I used to let it bother me. Now nah, I don't give a fuck. JL is, you know, when those people have those hats. I love haters. JL's the guy they refer to. But we're boys now. Feliz Navidad. No, I said I. I said I understand it now. We're boys now, but I know why you're here. You're here. You're 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 here to shit on Japanese MMA and and my takes on Japanese MMA all night, and that's okay. That's why I came back just as combative. Fuck the PFL, bro. Mm -mm -mm. Just boil the noodles, let them cook, then put them in a skillet with some butter and oil and only half the spice pack, and you're in business. If I don't get a Super Bowl halftime show in the opening ceremony, I'm quitting. 
Not clue what you were saying, but it's better than UFC cold opens. Yes, I said it. <laughs> but again, I'm glad, like, despite not liking uh, the regionals and, and, you know, anything other than the PFL and, uh, and the UFC, I give credit where credit is due. JL has stayed up as late as Gravedigger Jones and myself on countless occasions to watch Ryzen. So he is an MVP in that regard. Um, this is going to be good. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super sticker, buddy. <laughs> MMA also doing a live stream for this, much like our friend Jay, Rush Hour Fight Club. I was hoping Ron at MMA would be doing a fight companion for this. Um, but anyways, Rush Hour MMA is doing, Rush Hour Fight Club is doing a fight companion. Um, Pick MMA is also doing a fight companion. Thank you so much for the super sticker, buddy. I'm just hitting up YouTube right now so I can see what you sent. But uh, opening ceremony is beginning right now. They got the, I was hoping the Pride theme song like they did a few years ago or last year. Hey, you. Thank you so much for the super sticker, man. I appreciate you. You too, man. You too, guys. Go go hit up Pick'em and May. Drop a like on his stream as well. I know. Imagine if this was came out of the speakers. Someone said that in the last stream. Again, Pick'em and May. Thank you so much for the donation, dude. Or... MVP, yeah, dude. J JL and I, we go we go back and forth in the live chat. Um, we're both stubborn about our takes, but uh, a lot more harmonious than we used to be. <laughs> um, but but like I said, I I will always give JL credit for like staying up as late as he can with with me for these Ryzen streams, even though he doesn't like Ryzen as much as me. All stand for the promotion anthem. See, I'm giving you praise, my man. All stand for the promotion anthem. These opening ceremonies are the best. The Japanese know how to put on a show. They're putting down the drapes. <laughs> well, that's just the thing, Hank the Tank. It's not one night. I do this every weekend, right? Um, the care what what movie is it again? <laughs> Shinzo Anzai I'm interested to see him tonight he could be the biggest upset on the card and I can't believe Igor Tanabe I mean he used to be a heavyweight man now he's a welterweight He's from Chicago, right? Uh, hopefully my nephew stays awake to watch the co-main in Maine. I hope so too, man. My dad used to wake me up when I was a kid and we used to watch the, the Pride shows together. Good rapport among roommates is priority number one. Without it, all is lost. Yeah. <laughs> and they own the house too that I rent. Well, I rent a room. Well, I rent actually a suite, but still. The comments are gogging over the the blonde guy. Ashizawa, dude, let's go. Yeah, I, I think he's gonna win too. He's he's uh an absolute crazy talented jujitsu ace. Like Marty from Nebraska. His walkout glasses, yay or nay? Oh yeah, Vince Morales, former UFC guy. He's making his... Uh, I don't know if he's debut in Ryzen, but he's fighting on this card. Born in the murder city. That's why he chooses not to finish them. 
I think she's just a catch weight. John Dodson, baby, let's go. So cool seeing him here. Yeah. Oki Kubo. That you know what's crazy? Oki Kubo was the the ultimate fighter runner up in his season, the championship season, and John Dodson was the winner of his ultimate fighter season. So we got two tough guys going at it. Oh, Miku Ueda is getting starched by Sadario, man. Let's go, Sudario. Vince Morales is going to get beat sadly for him. Miyu Yamamoto, 49 years of age. She, she was actually born, or she's a... Uh, Canadian, is she not? I don't know if she was born in Ontario. But she lived in Toronto for a while. Her last fight. Her last fight. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, he's my pick. I hope he wins. The ultimate saint. Ueda looked horrible against a 50-year-old, 54-year-old fighter. Yeah, he sucks, man. <laughs> Ren is another pick of mine. I hope he wins. I like her 90s look. She does look great for 49. That is true. Imagine looking like shit against a senior citizen. Holy crap. They got a smoke machine going in the center of the of the ring here. I think he's going to I think he's going to get it done. <laughs> right? I don't think he's uh yeah, I don't think he's he's weak, but he's definitely over the hump. What's up, Adam? Good to see you, buddy. <laughs> Dude, Shinryu is good, man. He's good. He's the deep champion and Cage Fury FC champion right now. And he's big, man. For 135-er? Or is that 125? Fuck, man. He's big. But Hori Gucci, man. 7-1 and one in the UFC, and he's only lost to Demetrius Johnson. You think Kleber's going to lose again? He went to ATT to, to train striking for this one. Not that that's going to help him. Oh, I was hoping they'd play the Pride theme song like they did last year. Yeah, the Bellator guy. Juan Archuleta missed weight. <laughs> he is the rising champ and he he uh he got in good graces with the the Japanese fans and then missed weight by 5.6 pounds. Apparently, he's still fighting. I haven't heard otherwise, but I haven't been on Twitter since the event started. Is he still fighting or did they cancel it? I'm going on Twitter right now. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. All right, so they're just they're still doing the light show and playing some music right now. I'm on the Rise in Twitter account. Anyways, I haven't seen I haven't seen anything that says it's canceled yet. Oh, here it is. So Juan Archuleta is still trying to make weight. So like uh Oh my goodness, that's fucking crazy, man. That's I fucking love Japan, but that shit's crazy, man. Okay, so so this is what's going on, guys. This is what's going on. Juan Archuleta must weigh in at 150 pounds one hour before the fight. So Juan wasn't in the opening ceremonies because motherfuckers trying to make weight back backstage, guys. God, I love Japan, dude. Japan's fucking nuts. I love this shit. Oh my god, this just gives this just makes me swoon, man. It, it puts me back twenty years ago. It puts me back twenty years ago as a kid watching this and and like trying to figure out what the hell is going on. All right, custom rules about coming up next. Goat promotion. Goat promotion. You're too young to understand, JL. You're too young to understand. That's that's a typical thing for someone to say who didn't who wasn't alive when pride was buzzing. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Or like three years old. <laughs> Um, I think he's just can't catch up at this point in his career. Striking just not going to look much better. That's the rise in 45 main card is underway. Damn Juan. Juan Cena. Makoto Takashi isn't the cage fear champ anymore, by the way. He vacated when he was supposed to go against Kyoji for the inaugural Bell, Bellator flyweight champ title, which is now just the rise title. Yes, sir. I, sh- I should have said that. He He's not the current champion, but he won the deep champion and he won the cage fear FC champion, which is awesome to see them like, actually win a belt in North America too. Just through the DC curtain trick, he'll make weight for sure. Juan running out of the... Like, like Tito Ortiz style. They'll lie about it and push it through. He's going to be dead at fight time. Cutting so close. Damn. Old enough to party? Kai KO. My God, that man. <laughs> I was watching old Pride events when YouTube doesn't suck ass. Um, it's If you have Fight Pass, they're, they're almost all on Fight Pass. Oh. Good walkout song. Smiling Sniper is a cool name. Rampage has always said how much he loved fighting in Japan. The fan appreciation is different. Even Juan Archuleta said on Rampage's podcast how much um, he loved fighting in Japan as well. Then he goes and just misses weight. No, he was sick apparently. Hank. I guarantee you they're going to cut it the second the fight starts. But imagine not missing weight on pay-per-views as a champ, but doing it in a foreign country where discipline and respect are super important. Is there an idiot who would pay 6,000 yen to watch it illegally from the stream? (laughs) Cheers, buddy. Uh, why is he a favorite? Just the age gap. Uh, he also age gap, and he hits harder, and he, he's just a very talented kickboxer. So l- let's let's go through this one, guys. Yikes! They even know what's up. They are smart. I got a bag on Ample plus one ten. Yeah, I got him at plus one hundred. Um, so two kickboxers, and yes, Anpo's making his debut, but this is special rules. So in this one, you 
Uh, there's only two rounds, five minutes for the two rounds. It is being judged as a whole. Um, I don't think they're going to allow grounded knees or soccer kicks in this one either, but I'm not sure. So these guys were 2K1 kickboxers who never met in K1, funny enough. Um, this is, you know, Anpo, a younger kickboxer versus a veteran. And he just, at this point, can recover quicker, hits harder, longer, has the reach, has the height. Um, despite it being his debut in MMA, two rounds, no grounded knees, no no kick, soccer kicks, and I doubt Kubo is going to wrestle him. Uh, and post tough as nails too. This one just should be a good scrap. Um, so yeah, I'm going with the underdog. Kubo's got a, a singer to accompany him. Ample loses by KO. In MMA, yeah, but it's like some custom rules, like I said. He needs to be humbled walking out with this woman singing. That's not Anpo, though. Um, that's Kubo. I was enjoying it in denial, too, but any second now, it's all memory and Cidilla Project is going to have to be on his announcing game. Sinning, sinning, singing, sinning. Uh, she's got a performer sing, and he's walking down the ramp. And she's going ham right now. <laughs> she almost fell, yeah. Singing! Uh, oh, so Kubo's actually 2-2 two and two in MMA. Topology didn't have that correct. All right. So there's a few custom rules fights on this card. Um, and this is the first. Only two rounds in this one. Yeah, she almost fell, dude. He's showing his back. This won't end well. <laughs> Hank and Jay. <laughs> Is she a friend? Because that voice ain't it. <laughs> yeah, two five-minute rounds. Yeah, dude, Anpo is just so much bigger. Battle of youth against experience. Absolutely. One more look at it here. All right, Yuta Kubo being announced in the cage. Damn it. Ring. Ring. Yellow Shorts needs to get humbled. He's too cocky. And Ryzen cuts the feed. <laughs> told you, Hank. I told you. All right, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. First custom rules fight. Yeah, that's what I said. Shane, you, this one you got you got to pay for this one, man. I'll pay for the next one when I come back home. All right, round one. Let's get it all. Going for Empo. Hopefully, Empo can win. Both of them light on the feet to start this. Oh, the singer's Kubo's wife. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, that's amazing. All right, I love that. Shout out to Kubo. Kubo on the entry, and a nice right hand by Anpo. Yeah, how crazy it is, crazy is it that these guys never fought in K1 at all? Culture should be for the cha should be for champions only. Can Ampo with more MMA experience? Kubo making his MMA debut with the North American rule sets, I think. Ooh, high kick by Ampo. Couple big shots by Ampo and Kubo looking for the takedown. 
Three minutes and 42 seconds on the clock. And a takedown by Kubo. Anpo looking to reverse him here. This is not where Anpo wants to be. Kubo here has has the path to mount. You got to pay for the pay-per-view, guys. He's a star in Japan, kind of. <laughs> What's up, Manash? Good to see you, buddy. Three minutes and eight seconds on the clock. Anpo holding the shoulders of Kubo right now, pulling him forward. Kubo pretty much in full mount here if he pops up. The one thing about Japan is the refs do stand them up quickly, way quicker than in uh, than in North America. Anpo just needs to posture up here, guys. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Again, Anpo's in full, or sorry, Kubo's in full mount. Anpo looking to scramble here. US, yes. <laughs> Holding gets arms tired. Two minutes on the clock. And Kubo here, trying to just push his head to the ground. Oh, and some nice left elbows by Kubo. There, Kubo with a right and a left, and some shots from the bottom by Anpo. Kubo with a few good shots here in the top position. Just looking to just land those clean shots. Beggars can't be choosers when you're in full mount, dude. Kubo's wife in the corner saying, don't waste your time. Finish it. One minute and eight seconds on the clock. Come on, Ampo. <laughs> it's a muffin hammer fist here by Kubo. So what happens when two kickboxers get on the ground? Forty-five seconds in this first round. Now turning is Kubo. Kubo giving up his back, and or sorry, Anpo giving up his back. Kubo's got the hooks, and Kubo's looking for the choke. God damn it, Anpo! No oh, fuck sakes. <laughs> I can't believe it, dude. He got it. He got it. Anpo gave up his back, and Yuta Kubo with the rear naked choke. He had his wife in the corner, and unlike Mike Perry, she gave him some good advice. That's happening in your kickboxing. You do not respect MMA. Looks like he's bullying him. And Bill Flatton is back doing nothing to get up. Lack of experience, 100%. Damn, my second underdog doesn't hit. Activate A and I. Oof, that was rough to watch. That was rough to watch. Look at that, JL, doing God's work. There you go. For anybody who needs a place to watch this, you can become a member of our channel and JL will hook you up. Thank you, JL. You're you're an absolute beauty. Damn, man. I really was hoping this would stay on the feet, but a good game plan by Kubo. Take him to the ground. Secure mount. He's not going to know what to do. And he secured the choke. Good finish by Kubo now. Two and or three and two in mixed martial arts. Damn, I was wrong on that one, guys. I was wrong on that one. So three and two in my pick so far, but we got a lot of fights left to go. Put it this way. I don't think I'm going to lose in my next one because Joe Arai should, this one should be easy. Uh, 
You've forsaken me from Discord? How so? It looks like experience wins the bout. YouTube, I, I should I should have done my homework before saying I was going to buy everyone a membership or Hank in particular too because YouTube, they had so many bugs with the rollout. I can't even do it right now. Good card so far. Terrible prediction. <laughs> Good fight to start with the main card. And Poe lost. Master takes it from us. <laughs> Good win, man. Good win by Kubo. Got it done in the first round. This didn't even need to go to the second round. And Poe lost. And he said, uh, you know, I wanted to put on a good fight and put on a show after the opening ceremony. He's too cocky and victory grin is pissing him off. He's just happy to have his beautiful wife with him. I also love that uh, instead of being interviewed, they just hand you the mic and rise and you get to address the audience. USA plays at 5 a.m. Fuck that Sweden time is lame. Sean I'm going to be up till 7 a.m. watching this card. Because, Sean, we have how many more fights left, guys? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. We have 12 more fights on the card, baby. She wants the camera on her. I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, It was pretty good. It was pretty good. The, the main event sucked, but there, there were some good bouts. Oh, God. Tony Ferguson is there, and he just tripped over the power cord. I voted on the poll. Pride had the best New Year's Eve events, but Ryzen carries the tradition. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Mira versus Tanaka. Who wins, bro? I have Kotamura, personally. I got Kotamura on that one. I'll stay for another four hours. Got work in the afternoon. Respect, brother. Respect. All right, guys. We have our next fight starting now. Yeah, it'll be up till 8 a.m. Oh, yeah, we're back. We're back. <laughs> Tony Ferguson there tripping on cords. Dude, 17 fight card. Yeah, I'm not sleeping because I gotta wait. I gotta watch the World Juniors tomorrow. I have to watch the Minnesota Wild game. I have to do a Soda Pod podcast. I have to do a stream for the Soda Pod. I have to do a member stream. It's gonna be a long day tomorrow. Tony time. The best New Year's Eve Ryzen event was Ryzen 20. I go back and watch that event all the time, dude. I, I actually haven't watched that one, so I'm gonna make a note. I've rewatched so many of the the Pride ones and the Noki Bombaye, but I've never watched the Ryzen 20 one. My nephew's face when he said 7 a.m. <laughs> uh, fried chicken cook. I love fried chicken, but money's money. Might have be Joy arrived from Shudo fame. Ride, I'm riding and dying with Tony, dude. All right, let's highlight these next two guys. And again, a big shout to everyone who's joining us live here on the channel. Um, being quiet here because my roommates are sleeping. Love the freaking cold opens. What am I doing here? Again, the only reason Conda's getting fights, man, is because he at least like he puts he puts on exciting fights. He'll go for those big, crazy slam date takedowns. He'll put himself in shitty situations. He'll end up losing the fight, but they're entertaining fights.
Who doesn't like fried chicken, right? God, I could go for some Chick-fil-A right now. All right, making their walkouts now are Heroya Kondo and Joy Arai. Eight and 12 as a pro. Emotional damage. On a three-fight losing streak, plus 255 at 25 years of age. He's the underdog. Lost to Nakamura. Lost to Yuki Ito. Split decision, though, in that one. And lost a decision in deep. His opponent, Joe Arai, he's legit. He's legit. 16, 9, and 2. Way better fighter, man. 11 KOTKOs, one submission, four decisions. Uh, the King of Shuto, 12, 6, and 1. Uh, and 2 and 2 in Kingdom. And actually, some good wins in his last fights, too. 6 and 0, 9 and 3, 13 and 7. Eh, a little bit of a layup there. 19 and 8, 14 and 3. Not a bad resume. And you know what's crazy is look at this. Look at him overcoming freaking adversity to get his record back over 500. And look at the freaking win streak he's on right now. Two, four, six, eight, eleven fight win streak right now. Unbelievable. Again, Hero Arconda. We'll get a couple good slams from him. We'll get a couple good slams from him, but 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 that's about it. <laughs> A deep veteran who, when he takes a step up in competition, always loses. But that split decision loss uh, to Yuki Ito, honestly, that was one of his best fights. Again, Jay, you're acting like this, this league has the depth that the UFC has, brother. It doesn't have the depth that some of these uh, that some of these leagues have, and and like I said, the only reason the that, that he keeps fighting is because yeah, at least he puts on uh fun performances and, and it comes down also to um to to uh, like the japanese fight culture right where they don't necessarily care if you win as far as like fans right they just want you to put on exciting fights um it's very much unlike north america and, and i'm not defending it like yeah it's you see guys like this on main cards here because, A, they aren't the UFC. They're not pretending to be the UFC. They're not trying to be the UFC. But uh, when you don't have the depth as, you know, if you don't if you don't have the depth of the NFL of MMA, you're going to see, you're going to see guys like this. But we, Jail, you've, you don't remember, but you've seen this guy fight three times because we've done three fight companions with him on the card. Uh, Rising as journeyman, journeyman on the main card. The prelims are over, beep bop, or beep boop. Michael Jackson. Uh, Jorge would fit in right smoothly. Surprised he's allowed to wear that UFC Venom top to walk out. That's a good point. All right, pretty new to fighting. Is one guy 20 pounds heavier than the other guy? Um, <laughs> no, I think this is just an old profile. They're fighting at 57 kilograms. So what is that? 135, 125, 125. Michael Jackson fanboy coming out. Love freaking Michael Jackson. The king of pop. Hey, hey. Shamona. You've been hit by, you've been struck by. Oh, oh. Terrible cover though. You think this ends in a KO? I think Joe Arai knocks him out, yeah. Or TKO. Beat it. Beat it. No, this is a watch party, buddy. I can't show the fight. That's illegal. It says so in the description of the video, too. I think Dodson wins, man. I think Dodson wins. I think our boy Minisaku, I think he's just three fight losing streak. He's hinting at retirement. And Dodson is 39 years young right now, man. Uh, Kota's fighting in two more fights, buddy. 
Dude doesn't like alien and <laughs> All right, Herora be being announced in the cage. Yeah, you got to buy the pay per view, buddy. You got to buy the pay per view. I bought the pay per view. It's only twenty bucks. All right. Or if you become a member of this channel, you can join our Discord and, and JL will hook you up with one. <laughs> Shotry ankle picks him. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it all. Four minutes and 55 seconds on the clock if you want to sync up with me. Joy Arai dyed his hair blonde. He's going full Charlie Olives up in this mouth. He's got the never give up on his ass. That's why someone commented that in the live chat. Again, Joe Arai, 11 fight win streak. Herora on a three fight losing streak. Four minutes and 25 seconds on the clock. And again, a talented shooter fighter is Joe Arai. Taking away Herora's angles here, pressuring him into the corner. Yeah, beep boop. This one's tough. It's always tough to find a rise in one. Looking for the takedown is Herora. Good stuff by Arai. Yes, but you can become you have to become an exclusive member. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, Santana, if you become an exclusive member and join our Discord, lifetime access to our Discord. We'll hook you up, brother. But I bought the pay-per-view. Ooh, a nice right hand by Joe Arai. I got you, Hank. I got you. Blue shirt is trying to be a little too fancy. He's got decent head movement. JL, stop it. It's 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 snowing for the first time here. Oh, a nice knee in the clinch there. By Herora. It's snowing for the first time. And if the power goes out, I will literally fucking cry, man. Movement. Oh, I heard that pop. That was a big shot. Head movement. <laughs> Uh, Jules saying, I cannot see it on crack of my laptop. I can see it on my phone. Don't know for how long, though. Good night, y'all. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Thank you so much for the kind words, Jules. Okay, you got to become an exclusive member, like I said, buddy. Two minutes and 26 seconds on the clock. Oh, a nice right and left by Joe Arai. Big hooks there. Oh, yeah, he's a great guy. One minute, 58 seconds. Guys, become a member. Join our Discord. Oh, a left hook by Joe Arai. Joe Arai with the big hooks. Left hand by Herora. Outside low kick by Joe Arai. One minute and 40 seconds on the clock. Left jab by Herora. Another nice jab by Herora. He ducks and turns to the right. Yo, no idea what you're saying, but happy new year. Just saw that I'm in a Canadian stream. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One minute on the clock. Good head moon by Arai. Arai with the left uppercut. 
right elbow by Rar, right hand by Rar. He's pressuring Haror into the corner. Haror gets out of it, but ate some big shots there. Threatened with the takedown was Harora and that quick stuff by Rai. Are you not listening to what I'm saying, brother? Join as a member, join our Discord, and we have a whole thread in our Discord that gives you guys places to watch. If you don't, then buy the pay-per-view. I don't know what else to tell you because I bought the pay-per-view. I'm not going to address you any longer. Oh, nice right by Joe Arai here. Looking for the takedown. That left single leg. Nice left elbow by Conda. And that is it for the first round. No, I wish I could speak Japanese. My friend Shane speaks a little bit. He studied it in college. Um, I'd like to see Gamrot and Rising with this rule set. He'd be unstoppable. He fought uh, Kleber Kweke Erps in KSW. <laughs> Joe's doing good on his feet in the first round. Ab he absolutely is. Solid guy coming over from Shudo. All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. Here, and I'll make sure I'm going to post the Discord link on the community tab for new members. So you guys can, if you become a member, you can find it. Lifetime access to the Discord, too, guys. I don't promote that enough. All right, round two. And looking for the takedown right away is Roar. Nice right knee by Joe Arai. All right, I just posted it, guys. I just posted it. Continuing to try to blast those takedowns is Aurora, but Beautifully stuffed by Joe Orai. Nice right hand to the body by Joe Orai. All right, I just posted it on the community tab, guys. For new members. Three minutes and 53 seconds on the clock. Now we're watching uh, Herora and Joe Arai. Blue Shorts is running so much. New jerky game. Takes shot every time someone asks for a free, free link. Dude, I'd be dead in five minutes. <laughs> Herora trying to pressure Joe Rye into the corner on the break land at a good right hand. Three minutes and 15 seconds on the clock. Oh, nice body shot by Herora. Three minutes on the clock. Do, you know, do I know Kazota Yoka from boxing? He fights in a few hours. Do, 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 do I have him here? I did a full breakdown for this card. Oh, yes, in the boxing card. Yes, I do know who you're talking about. Yes, but we're going to be streaming Rise until the end. But yes, actually, there is a very good boxing card um, starting in, yeah, in a few hours. I did look at that card, dude. I probably won't watch it until like sometime tomorrow. Oh, big right hand by Joe Rye. But yes, I do know who you're talking about. I'd fiddle with Gamrot's tits in this real set. Dude, nobody thinks they're Bilal. Bilal thinks he's Bilal, the most dangerous man on earth. High kick by Herora. Right down by Herora. Oh. 
So, are you kidding me? And Roma Kondo, the underdog, he did it. He just knocked out Joe Arai. <laughs> He just knocked down, he just knocked out Joe Orai and ended his 11 fight win streak. Oh my God. I can't believe this happened. I was so confident in my Joe Orai pick. And this is why they keep giving heroic contracts. Because they're like, who? The, we don't know what the fuck we're going to see. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Dude, Herora's got a fucking chin, man. Good display of respect between these guys. Wow. Eleven KOs. Oh, no, he cracked it with the shin. That It was the Fucking shin to the head. It was the holy fuck, dude. Holy fuck. It was the shin to the head and then the right hand. Oh my god. Wow. Look at my 75% win streak. Um, exclusive members of the channel, even if you're just an exclusive member for one month. Two month, it doesn't matter. You get lifetime access to our Discord. I, I posted the link in our community tab for, for exclusive members. It's MMA. Anything can happen. Man, this place is fucking packed. I can't believe it. First win in Ryzen. <laughs> Hank, I love Ryzen, man. Joe got him on the ropes. Heroer got him via TKO and breaks the streak. The, Hank, he he landed a shin kick to the head. I don't know how that's no talent, brother. Dude. Wow. <laughs> Early stoppage. <laughs> wow. I literally told you what to do. Become an exclusive member. Get the Discord link. Get free links for the rest of your life. But you refuse. So I don't know what to do. Or you can buy the pay-per-view. But I'm telling you, a membership's cheaper. No one is good. I disagree, Hank the Tank. I wholeheartedly disagree, actually. <laughs> then go to sleep, man. I, I would rather that than than you shit on one of the best promotions out there, in my opinion, as far as entertainment. By TKO. <laughs> I'm so sad. I can't believe it. Jaw to the ground, dude. <laughs> we love you, Hank, but <laughs> if you're not enjoying yourself, I mean, you know, why put yourself through that misery, right? Peace. Uh, four thirty-five. I'm in Chile. I'm in Chile for nothing. I bullied Hank. I'm not bullying Hank. Uh, the bearded guy is going to smoke this blondie. Hank doesn't like Ryzen. Splitter of Tides. Thanks for joining, buddy. All right, guys, we got Tanabe coming up here next. Mm -mm -mm. No, dude, Hank doesn't like pride either. All right. We need to get back in the win column, guys. We need to get back in the win column as far as predictions go. I'm still sad Ampo lost. I know. It sucks because I do love having Hank here, but he doesn't like this league, unfortunately.
a finish isn't good enough for Hank the Tank. Why does this feel like anime or is anime like this? <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's Japan, dude. He was doing so good. I bought the pay-per-view, guys. On the feet. Brazilian, is he another prayer? No, he's a jujitsu guy. He's a jujitsu guy. Jujitsu ace. Used to be a heavyweight. Now, now at welterweight. Uh, Shinsho Anzai is back after recovering from that devastating knee by none other than Michael Venom Page cracking his skull like an egg. Yeah, th this is this is the biggest challenge for Igor Tanabe. Now, I know he's coming off injury. I know he was not a good UFC signee. But uh, the 9-5 and five, Shinsho Anzai, huge underdog on a two-fight losing streak, 2-3 and three in his last five. Uh, five KOTKO, zero submissions, four decisions, 2-2 two two in the UFC, 0-1 in Bellator. Um, got a loss in Combate Global, got actually knocked out in the second round. Lost to Michael Venom Page. And got a win against a 21 and 10. Lost to Jake Matthews. Got knocked out in the first round. Got two wins in the UFC, but against a four and one guy, a 12 and three, Luke Jumeau. Um, ba -ba -ba. Before he got his UFC uh, opportunity, he did go on a pretty good win streak in Pancreas, but I mean, look at the some look at the competition he was facing. Now, I will give him props going up against a twelve and seventeen guy at one and one. I mean, you're going up against a guy with a bunch of experience, eight and four, and you're four and one. But he took those big step up step ups in competition and wasn't able to wasn't able to rise to the occasion. But he does have experience fighting solid guys in the UFC, Bellator. And in Pancrase, where Igor Tanabe, 4 and 0 as a pro, massive, massive favorite. But again, used to fight at heavyweight, which is absolutely insane. No, or I guess he used to compete in jujitsu as a heavyweight. Um, now down to welterweight in mixed martial arts, 2 and 0 in Ryzen. Um, beat Melvin Manhoof in Anoki, bombed by a via heel hook in the first round. Um, and his resume just speaks for itself when it comes to grappling. He ain't going to strike with Anzai. Anzai's probably going to try to get in deep in the pocket against him. And if Anzai does try, because Anzai can grapple, he can wrestle. I mean, if he tries, he, he's going to get nabbed up with some sort of submission. Um, this is the one for you guys to make some money, though, because who knows? Who knows if he can just evade Tanabe and land a sick counter and catch him. I mean, we just saw freaking Joe Arai lose. But, uh, no, I think Tanabe's going to win this one. Tanabe's my pick, but I hope some I hope some of you degenerates, I hope Hank the Tank, somewhere if he's listening, uh, plays, plays some money on Anzai and he wins. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. Now I pick is Igor is going to face an MMA vet. Hopefully he wins this one. Like the walkout music, but he's too old. Unzai runs into the gilly, I predict. He dives for a double leg way too, obviously. Uh, what's up? Thank you so much for joining, brother. Blah beats him. Let me just say that. Blah beats everybody. What is this? BJJ guy gets sparked. Brazilian looks cocky. I always go for the Brazilian. Let's go, Igor Tanabe. <laughs> I miss Hank the Tank already, guys. Mm -mm. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 11 more fights on the card. Let's go. 
All right, Tanabe's in the cage. Damn it, I keep saying it. Tanabe's in the ring. <laughs> Unzai's in the ring. Let's freaking go. Match number seven. Respect to Unzai. If I fought mixed martial arts, I wouldn't, I wouldn't shave my chest either. Shinzo Anzai, they say, has a record of 11 and 3. I don't know if that's correct there, Ryzen, but okay, okay. Igor Tanabe 4 0. Oh. Tanabe's only 23, man. That's crazy. He's so skinny now. He used to be a freaking heavyweight. His nickname was the Fat Ninja. He's not the Fat Ninja anymore. Guys, don't forget to smash that like button if you haven't already. Happy New Year to everyone in Japan. 11 and 3 according to Ryzen. All right, guys. Round one. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. They don't touch gloves. Ends up with the left to the body. <laughs> Outside low kick by Tanabe. And Anzai going for the takedown. Tanabe already looking to get his back. Wasting no time is Tanabe going for the back of Anzai. 30 seconds in. Tanabe with the right hook in. Utilizing that corner to press himself against it. Got the right hook in, got the left hook in, and here we go. Already the back take. Four minutes and 11 seconds. Body triangle is secured. He's got those lanky ass legs secured there, controlling him in the corner. Unzai needs to fight the hands. Not quite under the chin yet. That body triangle is locked though, and huge limbs. He was cranking the neck. It's not quite under, but he's squeezing, man. He's out. He's out. Unz, I went to sleep. Unz, I went to sleep. That's five in a row, baby. That's five in a row. Um, I bought the pay-per-view. I bought the pay-per-view. What a squeeze, yeah, because that was that like creeped under the chin afterwards. Not impressive. Well, I mean, compared to the other guys he's uh he's fought, this guy was an actual former UFC guy, JL. So how can you say that wasn't impressive? This this was this was on paper. Well, not even on paper. This was his best opponent he's faced thus far. So yeah, you're totally right. Ryzen does have to give him a better guy next time. But at a at four and zero, they gave him an ex Bellator and ex UFC guy who just came off Combate Global as well. I mean, this was a perfect matchup for him, and now he's shown that okay, let's give him someone, let's give him someone even better next time. Absolutely, give him someone who defends takedowns, and let's see how good he is. Well, JL, who initiated the takedown though? That's the thing, buddy. So like. I'm not disagreeing. Like I don't want him to crush cans either, but he, this guy is the one who initiated the takedown. Four and three, and Igor is now five and zero. Oh. Why does this promotion let him fight after MVP cracked his skull? Well, he fought in Combate Global too. This kid's a generational talent, dude. He's he's slick in jujitsu, man. 
and he's a massive welterweight. But yeah, no, I totally, totally agree. He need I, I want to see him up against better competitions now. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Okay, uh, I'll send you the link here. Let's help out our boy. Look at that. Look at that. JL, you said you had a you had a link in Discord. Thank you so much for becoming a member. His you just it was good. Look at Sage. Well, I mean, look who Sage fought, though, man. Look who Sage fought, right? Sage fought an absolute killer. Oh, JL doing God's work in our in our uh, Discord. Thank you, buddy. Okay, so to our new subscriber, if you go to our community tab, you will see a link to our Discord. Join the Discord, and uh, and we have a gift for you, my man. Thank you so much. So Tanabe saying, uh, I want I want to fight bigger fights. I want to make more money. I want to support my family. And he says he's learned the trick to make weight. Dude, and, th and this kid's only, uh, he's only 23 years old. Yeah, but, but JL, like, why why are you poo-pooing on him when he had a good win and he's only 23 years of age? And again, we're, we're agreeing, JL, in, in the sense that, like, yes, he needs a, a, a guy better competition, but Ryzen literally gave him another step up in competition in this guy, and he proved to be able to beat him easily, so. Let's go. And I totally agree. Once he once he faces a guy who can actually strike and actually defend the jujitsu, then he's gonna he's gonna um, uh, he's gonna have some issues for sure. Tough love. Okay, okay. I can't tell sometimes, dude. But uh, definitely want to root for him. If I didn't care, I wouldn't say anything. Okay, okay. Noted, noted. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. He's better than Pony Clark. <laughs> that I don't know if I agree with. Uh oh, activate A playing with playing with fire here. Um ba -ba. I'm just trying to help out our new uh, member here, but I don't see him in Discord yet. All right, hopefully that helps. Again, um, Vlokiv, click the link I sent in the live chat for you, buddy, and then join our Discord. <laughs> Blow, I'll never get subbed by this guy. He's a big world. He used to fight at heavyweight, or he used to roll at heavyweight. Tomorrow, 20, uh, tomorrow is 2024, new, new year, new us. 24 will be Bilal's here. He looks like a supervillain in the dark, motionless, while the opponent is shaking. Mm. All right, so this one's another special. Uh, this one's another special rules or uh, custom rules bout. I can't believe Azizawa beat. Freaking Tanaka, man, in that last kickboxing fight. That was crazy. <laughs> no, it's all good, Hank. We were saying we missed you. We were saying we missed you. Uh, see when one comes back. Sounds good, buddy. Thank you so much for, for joining. Happy holidays. Uh, happy birthday. Merry Christmas. And uh, enjoy the rest of your holidays. I can see daylight outside. I hate watching fights daytime. 
We have to cool off. We all get mad sometimes. It's true. It's true. Uh, Blah will sadly get ragdolled. Never mind. If the chat wants me, I'll stay. You you are always welcome here. Uh, Hank the tank. All right, Kota Mura against Koji Tanaka. I'm coming back. Bilal will ragdoll and become the greatest champion. Just watch. Watch Bilal go on to like break GSP's record. And freaking JL's just standing there like, what, bitches? Let's go. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, did our friend come in the Discord yet? Oh, he's here. He's here. Uh, I'm just hooking up our boy Squeeze. Okay. Yeah, well, you, you got to deal with the pop-ups, man. That that's the, that's the nature of the game. Um, that's why I buy the pay-per-view. <laughs> Clement, you know, hyped up African Prince, and now they're acting as if they are supporting him. Uh, Yo, join, go set up a side from loading browsers again. We too many pop up ads. Nice, nice. 10 unbeaten streak about to turn into a 20 fight unbeaten one. Hank the Tank and Sunshine, Casey and the Sunshine Ban said it best. Please don't go. Let's go, buddy. <laughs> Thank you for supporting us. And again, you only have to be a member for one month. You have lifetime access to our Discord. So, welcome to the community, brother. I'm afraid Leon will smash your boy. Hey, always, brother. Japanese Brazilians are interesting group of people. Yeah. Uh, Kleber Quique Erps, Lioto Machida, Igor Tanabe. I'm missing one. I'm missing one. I'm going for Kotomira. Team Leon, baby. I'm Team Leon, too. Joe Arai did not see that one coming. Dude, I know, dude. I know. I didn't see that coming. AP, thank you so much for joining. Leon beats Bilal looking at their first scrap. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm so happy to see Bilal get his belt, but that's neither here nor there. Soon we will continue this so-called debate. All right, guys, I am going with, I got a good win on this one. Here's my prediction so far. Sorry I'm whispering, guys, but my roommates are sleeping, so I'm trying to respect them here. Here are my picks so far. Not bad, not bad. The Joe Arai one really fucked me. Don't care what happens with my picks. I accept the rising chaos. That's what you got to do. You got you to gotta accept the chaos in Japan. Leon season, bitches. <laughs> oh, I know you will. But I will show all you doubters. All right, making his walk out right now is Kotamura. And duh, I hope Leon Bilal is a double KO and Shavka gets to fight for the vacant title. <laughs> Just the NFL, you have to embrace chaos. All right, guys, I have Kotamura winning this one. He is the favorite at minus 205. Um, again, this is another custom rules fight. So this is two five-minute rounds, no head strikes or grounded soccer kicks in this one. Um, Cozy has a very, very good chin, but, I mean, he just lost to Azizawa, dude. So <laughs> enough said. I am going with the young kickboxer. Again, he has some MMA experience. 
does quote Tamura. Uh, Koji Tanaka is no stranger to Ryzen, but again, he, he lost in his kickboxing fight, his last kickboxing fight in Ryzen. So go with the guy who has a little bit more MMA experience. If he does try to drag this to the ground, again, he's more comfortable there. We might see what we did in the Tatsuki fight and him get absolutely, sorry, in the uh, Enpo fight and him get absolutely ragdolled on the ground. Uh, two fight win streak in Ryzen 2, mind you, against lesser opponents. But again, he has the MMA experience. No soccer kicks, no stomps, no knees to grounded opponents in this one. So it could be a scrap on the feet, but I, but I think Murrow will employ some of that MMA experience he has in this one to take the win. But a plus 175 of Koji Tanaka is not a bad underdog, given how good of a kickboxer he is. But I'm going with Mura. Mira locking it in. On the ground. No head strikes on the ground. Blonde has always been a Japanese thing. People hyping Shavgat so much that they basically calling him champ. I don't think Leon versus him will be one-sided. Leon might even win. Yeah, I mean, Shavgat was uh, was tested in the first round against uh, Jeff Neal, dude, we, we because of how dominant his victory was, that standing freaking rear naked choke, we, we forget how good of a scrap it was in the first round. Come to buy submission, he's probably he probably will he probably will grapple. Yeah, that that's what I'm thinking too. All right, at 34 years old, Kuzi. Koji Tanaka making his MMA debut, but only two rounds, five minutes each round, and no superior MMA rule set. Shavgat will cut through Leon like goat butter. People think uh, Shavgat's a lot bigger than Leon too, though, and Leon's actually a massive welterweight. Uh, I'd probably be picking Shavgat to win that one, but yeah, I'm definitely in Activate A's camp there. Bilal's offensive wrestling is rubbish? I don't know. I think his offensive wrestling's is right. All right. So this one, they're fighting at 143 pounds. Round one. Let's get it all. In Koji, he hits hard, but there's definitely a, a size discrepancy in this one. Blasphemy. Four minutes and 42 seconds on the clock. Uh, uh, if you become an exclusive member of the channel, it's in our, it, you can uh, find it on our community tab. Four minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. I've got to give JL some commission here. Four minutes and ten seconds. Tanaka had kick KO. <laughs> What's up, Tommy? Good to see you, buddy. Blasphemy. We thought I was talking about Bilal's offensive wrestling. Oh, heavens no. I was talking about Shavkot's. I don't think Shavkot would wrestle Leon. I think they would just scrap... Three minutes and 39 seconds on the clock here, round one. Koji with a right hand. Koji with a low kick there, Mura. Good job in stuffing it. Mura slips as he goes for the high kick. These two are just want winning shots. Shav gets killed by Leon. Koji on the entry with a few shots here doesn't land. Again, Mira used to these small gloves. Kuzi, not so much. Outside low kick by Kuzi. Tried to throw another one, but Mira got out of the way. Again, appreciate everybody joining us tonight, by the way. I, I'm, I haven't said it enough. All of you in the live chat right now, I fucking love you all. Thank you so much for joining. Oh, nice right hand by Mira. And Kuzi landed a straight left on him. They've each landed a good shot in that last 20 seconds. 
Go rock by one dimensional Neil. Yeah, I was just saying that the early part in that fight it was a good scrap. Oh, a nice right hand by Mira. Mira not even utilizing the the grappling yet to activate A, but he's beating Kuzi on the feet. Oh, and just when I say that, Kuzi lands a nice body kick. And Mira now some feints here. He might go for a takedown. Oh, Kuzi with a couple big shots. Kuzi with a left and a right. One minute, 55 seconds on the clock. If Leon is the underdog, I'm betting him. Made bank on the headshot, dad. And probably the second fight too, no? He was the underdog in that one. Straight left by Kuzi. He won. Leon got rocked by the corpse of Nate Diaz. What a dumb point. One minute, 36 seconds on the clock. It's not bad. One minute, 25 seconds. Left by Kotamira. Yeah, I'm on an island. I've, I've been a fan of Leon way before that headshot dead kick. Uh, I do think Shavkat will be his biggest test if he if he gets past Bilal for sure. Um, that'll be the next one after. Well, <laughs> after freaking Usman in Colorado, oh, counter left or in Utah. Kuzi with a beautiful counter left there. Kotamir definitely has to take this to the ground in the second round. 35 seconds on the clock. Ooh, a nice left body shot. And a left and a right by Mira. Chaos here in the final 32 seconds. Oh, Kuzi with the high kick and he knocks him down. Kuzi with the high kick and he knocks him down. Kotamir is hurt. Kotamir is hurt. Kuzi in side control. Kuzi in side control just laying down shots. Desperate trying to grab a single leg here. Kota Mira, he might escape the round. Final seconds of this round, and he's just eating shots by Kuzi. And that is it for the first round, and what a way to win back that round. Not that it matters, because these fights are judged as a whole, but damn, son. Damn. And I said Kota Mira would have the advantage because he could take this to the ground. He wanted to stand and strike against Cozy, and oh my goodness. Oh my God! He's getting beaten up. Had Leon three times in a row. Damn. Hank the Tank is back, baby. Leon could work in the clinch. Maybe hard to wall install like he did against Wonderboy. Because he rocked Kota. I'd recommend rolling a dice and or flipping a coin for the next Rising Card Easter. Oh, I'm still ahead, buddy. I'm still ahead. Again, I know you don't want me to like this league, Hank, but but it is one of my favorite leagues, buddy, and, and I'm never not going to like it. <laughs> There's the Rising, I know. <laughs> That's what I love about it. And again, I'm not. I'm usually not a big gambling guy. I thought, you know, tonight will be fun, and, and I'm having a great time. Hope to survive that round. Round two. Let's go! He got too comfortable striking. Yeah, because he landed some big shots early. But yes, roll a dice. That's how you make your predictions for Ryzen. Four minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. Desperately going for a takedown is Murr, and he's eating some knees by Kuzi. Oh, dude, he's going to end this. Kuzi's going to end this. Kuzi controlling the neck here. I think at the end, he didn't have to worry about the takedowns and let his hands free. Oh, Kuzi landing big shots here, covering up Izmira, side control. Big hammer fists. Wait, they allowed soccer kicks in this one?
I thought that they weren't allowed soccer kicks, but apparently they are. And Kuzi ends the fight soccer kicking him in the motherfucking face. Let's go. Let's go. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. I didn't even think that soccer kicks were going to be allowed in this one. I honestly thought that that in this custom rules bout, they weren't allowed soccer kicks, but apparently they are. Apparently they are. And winning his first MMA fight is Koji Kuzi Tanaka. I fucking love this league. I fucking love this league. Let's go. Let's go. Look how happy I am to 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 get a prediction wrong. <laughs> God, I love this league, man. This is what I wait for every single year, man. Uh, Cad, you join our join our exclusive membership, and we'll we'll hook you up with a link in the Discord. There's the Ryzen I know. Koji wins via soccer kicks. Random Ryzen strikes again. Let's go. The most dangerous because it's fighting. None of that pacifist garbage PFL shit. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Fuck the PFL, ladies and gentlemen. That that would have happened if Anpo had had takedown defense. Madar, once I see a car a soccer kick, the napitis clears and I'm wide awake again. They're not dirty if they're legal. I think I have Stockholm syndrome. I swear I heard the announcer say no soccer kicks. Honestly, man. I thought that was I thought that there were no soccer kicks allowed in this one either. But uh Koji said fuck it and this is Japan dude so they probably said fuck it too. That was wild. Well, at least the PFL makes more money and they have longer careers. Yes, thank you Saudi Arabia. Thank you Saudi Arabia. Without you the PFL would not be a thing. Fucking Saudis giving the PFL money. Japan is the best ring girls. Rise my first step into becoming. <laughs> Dirty legal moves. Ain't nothing wrong with that. So he cheated commentator said no soccer. Well, apparently the commentators got it wrong, Jail. The commentators and myself got it wrong. So it was a custom rules bout and all that we knew for sure was that it was two five-minute rounds. I thought that there was no grounded strikes, but maybe just no grounded knees and soccer kicks were allowed. Anyways, regardless, that was an unbelievable. That was beautiful. That was one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Nothing like a good soccer kick, man. God, I'm going to cry. It was so gorgeous. Fuck the PFL, bro. If it was cheating, he would have gotten DQ'd. A Saudi Arabia, where bad promotions uh, resurrect themselves in the pool of Ras al Ghul. Someone being DQ'd in MMA, that's cute. Shout out John Jones. Or shout out Matt Hamill. Shout out Matt Hamill. Those soccer kicks were beautiful, man. God, I love this league. I love it so much. Someday I'll make it to Saitama to watch a New Year's event. What's up? Why are you crying? Why you cry? Four four favorites and dogs. Oh, sh oh, crying because I'm crying because it's so beautiful. Right, right. Soccer kicks are legal in Ryzen, not allowed in one or North America circuit. Yeah, no, but average fight fan, why we're confused is this was a custom rules bout. And from what I heard yesterday, 
no soccer kicks, knees to grounded opponents, or head strikes on the ground were were part of it. But again, apparent I was wrong. Let's uncle live. <laughs> How weird would it be to be KO'd by a soccer kick then wake up and be told and be told you won because the opponent cheated? That would be fucking wild. Love me some soccer kicks. Dagestanis would dumpster the whole Ryzen roster. <laughs> yeah, the, the Azerbaijanis are doing really good in, in Ryzen. Jan got DQ'd. Hate the soccer kicks. Yeah, we're savages here. Yeah, it was only two rounds, too, um, instead of three. And I think... I think that's the only other custom rules and or kickboxing match left on the card. All right, let's listen into these uh, announcers here. No, it's true. The The card is not disappointed so far. <laughs> the DQ and MAF2 all must be on the brink of death like Aljo. Uh, we had to intermission. Oh, they were just saying his dad was the oldest soccer player ever. And then he got KO'd with a soccer kick, dude. <laughs> Japan, no wrestling, brother. Uh, they got a few wrestlers on this card. They got an Olympic uh, silver medalist. And I believe, yeah, Shinobu Ota. Um, and then the Azerbaijanis, they, they're, they're pretty good at employing their wrestling game in Ryzen as well. Soccer's were allowed in 1FC until August 2016, and they went merciful as the as a promotion. Uh, I think this is the, the the next break. He was given a yellow card. Does that mean he's fined? Bring back the Hulk tournament, right? Unmute. I'm not mute. Am I mute? Wearing suits at their house. <laughs> they gotta look professional. When are they gonna stop the Zoom commentary and get rid of Damian Brown? Dude, I'm try I applied two times. I applied two times. I rejected twice. Uh the jail actually that nothing to do with this because the refs warn you on multiple times. Oh, okay, got you. <laughs> Um, there's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. Oh, and Blob beat because um Aljo Aljo had a chance to continue as well. He just said he just said no. Mm -mm 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 -mm. They find him. Got you. By the way, big shout out to our newest exclusive member. Thank you so much for joining. I feel like Maro Nalo should be here. Yes, dude. Oh my god, brother, I fucking love Ryzen, brother. Those soccer kicks were beautiful. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Let's go, Diego. Whoever the favorite, I hope they lose. Jan, no speak good English. Uh, Blog got slept pretty bad by Luke, though. That doesn't that decision doesn't hit the same as a cold KO. Uh, there are multiple criteria for DQs, and one of them is the opponent has to not be able to continue. It's not that difficult to understand. Smith lied and said he was fine. Oh, oh, got you, got you, got you. I thought I thought you meant I was muted for a second. Uh, you said the guys talk, so I muted the paper. Sorry, my joke was like, no worries, no worries. Well, Luke could be uh, green below years ago. Ota's on my list. I know uh, Rusey is good, but in kickboxing. Um, but this is the man who has... The collegiate wrestling and MMA on his portfolio. It'll be easy and submit easy submission win. Wasn't he a silver medalist at the Olympics as well? Go. Cool. 
Go. Oh, man. I think Ota's going to win. Although I love Azizawa. The last time Azizawa beat the hometown um, Phenom, beat the hometown, I shouldn't say Phenom, but Fighter, at Landmark, Landmark 6, he freaking battle rapped and dissed the freaking audience. It was insane. Bilal jumped on the sauce after that Luke loss. The physique change is huge. Hangs in your favorite part of the night. The intermission is right around the corner. You should make these rising cards very exciting with your commentary. You should show more excitement with your whispering comment. You show more excitement with your whispering commentary than Damian Brown does. Yeah, and if I got hired by Ryzen, I would tell my roommates, hey, sorry, it's for work. So you got a small find in ODQ. I love it. <laughs> Rest of the fucking isn't a win, like I said. Hey, I praise anyone who can uh, who can get on the sauce and fight in MMA. Shout out to KSW. I don't make the rules. Intermission. Uh, I got Ota winning. They're all juicing. Oh, you motherfuckers on steroids. Awesome fights and finishes. I sleep. Again, this ain't the UFC, Hank the Tank. I don't know why everyone is saying that thinks that this is like the UFC billion dollar enterprise that it is. We love it for what it is, brother. <laughs> Cap lost. Hank the Tank, you old enough to have had the, the driving experience. Intermissions meant food. That's true. That's true. It was Ryzen 41 in Osaka. Oh, it was 41, not, not Landmark. Got you. <laughs> you know what? That sounds like a good idea. That sounds like a good idea. This took his career more serious than paying off. Dude, I love this, by the way. Uh, shout out to Vlokiev, becoming the new member of the channel. Appreciate you. Uh, and pick a MMA man, with the super sticker. Big shout out to him as well. JD knows that tune. I believe he's naturally said this. Yeah, I've never, I've never actually thought that Bilal was was on the sauce, because if Bilal was on the sauce, he would actually have some punching power. And he's not that tight with Kamaru. I don't even think Bilal's is Bilal's manager even Ali. I don't even think Bilal's manager is Ali. Actually, it might be. <laughs> he's my confident pink. Yes. But uh, some guys in the live chat don't think so. Uh, Vlokiv, by the way, Bilal is JL's favorite fighter. <laughs> Just for some context. But go see an eye doctor. I'm not even sliding Bilal. He was a clean athlete while in the UFC, which most UFC athletes are on roids with their whole MMA career. Eventually, you have to get on it. Oh, it's intermission right now. Intermission, brother. Massive welterweight. The drugs make you pillow fisted. His manager is Ali. Okay, okay. But he did KO Sean Brady, but I mean, he TKO'd him. He didn't KO him like, like remember when Johnny Hendricks was on the sauce, dude? Remember when Johnny Hendricks was on the sauce and he would send people flying? Remember when he beat, um, who was Koscheck's, Koscheck's boy? Fuck, what's his name? Uh, boring fighter. JL would love him. Uh, God, dude, why? I'm t getting tired. Uh, Fitch, John Fitch. Do you remember when? Do you remember when fucking? You remember when he sent John Fitch flying, man? Now that's some good old steroids. If he is, it's a compliment. Nobody gives a f about blow. Yeah, Pereira has stone hands, man. He's got hands of stone. Uh, Dodson is my main reason for staying up. It's past my bedtime already. Yeah, how many more fights till Dodson? One, two. Only two more fights till Dodson. 
Pull the TKOs by the same method. You saw it was his kryptonite. Yep. He's getting the next title shot. The, the winner of that gets Shavkot. When I was looking for a Ryzen link, I kept seeing John Fitch's podcast and MMA links. Who the fuck is paying for that? <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it was it was pretty much confirmed by everyone. Chael and Hawani, Bilal's coach, Leon's coach. UFC 299, I think. Yeah, Shavkot's at, Shavkot fights the winner of Bilal and... Uh, and Leon Edwards, or if Leon Edwards loses, they do Leon Shavkov for the top for for the top contender. I'm all right with either, to be perfectly honest. Um, all right, guys, we're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna take a quick break. Um, probably about a five to seven minute break here. On the other side, we will come back. We will highlight both of the fighters. I will give my picks. Which again, if, I'm I'm picking Ota, but I'll but I'll explain myself. And guys, if you haven't already, check out Azizawa. Check out Azizawa. His freaking battle rap in the last fight was was freaking incredible. Matt Art, he is, and and it he 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 loves Bilal. That's his favorite fighter. So I, I'm not gonna dock jail. We've we've gone through this a lot for uh for you know for for defending his favorite fighter, but he does love him. Arrow's gonna be hosting the olympics on one of the events i'm so proud of him and oh that's huge dude yeah shout out to him that's crazy that's awesome uh, cheers uh does the olympic sport taking place in a pro wrestling ring <laughs> is he doing basketball <laughs> because it's almost 3 a.m cody it's almost 3 a.m and my roommates are sleeping All right, guys, we're going to take our first break of the night. Three hours and 22 minutes in. It's gone. It's flown by, dude. It's fucking flown by. You know what? Let's take another one. We're doing the Japanese whiskey here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to Suntory. You know what? This one's for Bilal, JL. This one's for Bilal. He needs all the luck that he can get. Ah. Oh, heck yeah, let's go. Yeah, Cody, usually I would be hooting and hollering right now, but it's almost 3 a.m. Uh, I'm just saying Leon vs. Ball is going to be a boring fight in terms of it being a main event. It will leave a sour taste in people's mouth after the event compared to the rest of the fight. I think they won't make it the main event. I think they'll make it a co-main event. Eight fights down, nine to go. I do respect Pereira. Bilal doesn't drink. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Bilal. <laughs> but this one's for you. Satori's so good. I'm sipping on Fuyu, another Japanese whiskey. Nice. Yeah, the Nika, the, the Nika coffee and uh, and Suntory. I, I do like the, uh, the Hibiki more. Atlantic City, baby. Let's go, Joe. Good morning. I told you we'd still be streaming. I told you. It'll be better than the Colby fight. Yep, that's true. Bilal says that ain't halal. Hey, but I ate some halal chicken earlier. So does that bring me back up a little bit? <laughs> All right, guys, keep the conversation going. Yeah, his fans are crazy. His fans are crazy. Enjoy your break. Hey, we're going to take about a five-minute break. I'm going to grab a quick snack. I'm going to do a quick stretch, and then we'll be back here on the other side. No, no, two more fights till Dodson, buddy. Two more fights till Dodson. Nika coffee so nice and smoky. Also have Nika malt. I've never had the Nika malt, um, but I do like the Nika coffee. Hey, I'm glad you like a Japanese whiskey too. I have a little Canadian rye and some uh, Elijah Craig 94 proof bourbon upstairs as well that I can crack, crack uh, open on that soy sauce. Prayer fans need to accept the early finishes. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining Isaiah. Yeah, two more fights till Dodson. Um, anyways, guys, keep the conversation going. 
I will get back to whatever comments are are there when I'm back from the break. But uh, first break of the night, I'm taking about I'm taking about five five to eight minutes here, and I'll be back on the other side. Big shout out to all the exclusive members. Big shout out to the new exclusive member, our boy uh, Vlokiv. Thank you so much for joining. You fit in right into this community. And thank you so much. I know it was for a link, but still appreciate the contribution. And whether you renew your membership or not, you're always part of this family now, brother. So we appreciate you. All right. Back on the other side. Do not go anywhere. Rise in 45 New Year's show here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. Like I said, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Let's go.
Let's go. Let's go! Let's go! And we are back live here in the City Life Project YouTube channel for Ryzen 45, ladies and gentlemen, the New Year's show. And we have Rusei Ashizawa making his walkout, rapping. We knew he was going to spit some freaking verses on his way out, ladies and gentlemen, making his MMA debut. <laughs> what an absolute menace ladies and gentlemen what an absolute menace ashizawa Sp spitting some verses walking out jeez um he's gonna get his ass kicked in mixed martial arts he's going to be wrestle fucked and submitted in the first round but oh my goodness is he fun to watch as far as his antics go i can't believe he beat koozie in his last fight magic gloves you can become a member of the channel join our discord in the community tab link for members and we will hook you up brother You can't see that shit in the PFL. I thought I'm saw him, I thought I saw him wearing an earpiece. I can believe it. It's uh it's rising after all. 
I was wearing UFC Venom shirts. Yeah, there was a guy who was wearing a UFC uh, a UFC shirt earlier today as well. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Hello from Belarus. What's up, buddy? Crypto wins by rub a dub dub in the tough. <laughs> 58 in the rear mirror here, uh, but shovel snow and wood like I'm 20, so they tell me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, by the way, Kleber fights in one, two. Three, four, five, six more fights. By the way, guys, sorry I'm whispering. My roommates are asleep. Oh, fuck. I left my phone upstairs. God freaking damn it. I got to go run and grab it. Magic Gloves. Um, join as an exclusive member and then click this link and you'll see it. You have to join our membership even just for just for one month. But you'll always you have you have lifetime access to the Discord. One of the many perks you get, but but that's the that's the one here tonight. I bought the pay per view, by the way, guys. Um, I bought the pay per view. Yeah, guys, don't call me right now. Main event predictions: I have Horiguchi. I think he's just too good, and he's too big of a test for uh, Shinryu. Closest he'll ever come to being in the UFC. Oh, yeah. This is his MMA debut. He is not an MMA fighter. He is a kickboxer. Yeah, imagine a UFC fighter walking out with a PFL shirt. Dana would stop the fight before it even starts. Whispering sweet nothings. This guy's making his debut coming out. Debut in, uh, in MMA. He's fought in Ryzen in kickboxing before. Uh, Korea known for having open karaoke bars where they book rooms. Pretty popular in school kids and adults. <laughs> you will get humbled. <laughs> Those are Vittori shorts. Random facts. Disturbing singing. Dude, he was the one spitting straight battle raps in Osaka. Are you with Brown here? MMA is taxing sport. He already drained 3% of his gas tank right now. I know I forgot my phone. Victoria Warren backwards. That's a fat. And it's a shame in the Philippines. Or it's the same in the Philippines. Everyone thinks they're a rock star. Okay, guys, give me one sec. I'm sorry. I got to go grab my phone. Because if, if I have an alarm set or something, my roommates would be pissed. I am the goat capper. Do not go against my picks. You will get demolished. The goat is shit. You know this. You know what I'm talking to. Ish, I'm talking to you. God, it is shit. Don't go against me. Never again. We boys, though. We boys, though. <laughs> Okay, we're back. We're back. Man, Ota was so gutted after his loss in Azerbaijan. Split decision. Hey, Hank, it's great to see you too. Was Ota drunk? Why is he walking so weird? Uh-oh. Dude, if Ota loses, he's definitely going to cry. Silver medalist at the Olympics. Dude, he's going to take 
Azizawa down and submit him. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> you can blame Denial. McGregor wore those when he snapped his foot. Yeah, you wore them when you put Josh Emmett in a pretzel. Nice back touch you, but damn that scene. <laughs> Guys, again, appreciate every single one of you joining here. I do boxing. I'm thinking I'm going to do combat jujitsu. Nice, dude. I do jujitsu. It's fun. <laughs> Both these dudes seem unhinged. <laughs> Ocha needs to fight and not wrestle all the time. Yeah, but he's an, he's an Olympic wrestler, man. And his record's not that great. Like, Ryzen, if he's a five and three fighter, that's way more valuable. Because he's still pretty young. Oh. I usually drink Japanese whiskey with clear ice. I don't want any clear ice, but... Oh, this coming straight down the hatchet is raw. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it on. Again, Ota, silver medalist at the Olympics, very talented wrestler. Ryusei Ashizawa making his mixed martial arts debut. He has never fought in MMA. He's a kickboxer. He's going to Bilal him. Oh, and there's the big takedown by Ota right into side control. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> RJ's, you're the man, dude. RJ's, JL has a link. So if you want to become a member of the channel and join our Discord, he can also help you out. Or you don't have to become a member. I bought the pay-per-view. In the full guard of Ashizawa right now is Ota. Four minutes on the clock. Luke is in the corner. That super talented road to UFC Japanese undefeated guy who's in the final. Oh, shit. I didn't even notice. Yep, that's the Ota way. There you go. Ota goes for the ground control. No, dude, JL's actually going to probably be like, I like Ota. Three minutes and 21 seconds on the clock. Again, guys, sorry I'm whispering. It's almost 3 a.m. My roommates are sleeping. I don't want to wake them up, but we're, we're staying up all night. I promise. Ota, looking for the neck. Ota, dar stroke, dar stroke. Three minutes on the clock. Ota, Ota going for the dars. Knee. Dar stroke, dar stroke. It's deep, it's deep. Oh, he, he, oh, oh, to let it go because he was a slob. Ota put him to sleep, let it go. He came back to life. And then Ota landed two shots and put him out again. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Hell no, dude. He choked him out and then knocked him out. Ashizawa is pissed. He just ran out of the cage, dude. Or out of the ring. Well, Ashizawa is pissed, man. He's just running out of the ring. And then Ota with the... Oh. I love this league, dude. Uh, Revan, it is in... Five more fights.
Dude, that was nasty. Uh, yeah, Audrey's the, the pay-per-view is fairly cheap, but like I said, if you want to become a member of the channel, even just for one month, you have lifetime access to our Discord, and we have a full thread where people share places to watch all sorts of sporting events. Um, but yeah, I bought the pay-per-view. I love supporting Ryzen here, and I love being able to watch the pay-per-views uh, again, because I most Ryzen cards deliver. Humbled his ass. Kickboxer takedown and went wicked. Oh, the kickboxer. Uh, yeah, the kickboxer got take down, taken down and lost. <laughs> Sick celebration. Shouldn't have wasted your gas tank from singing dumbass. <laughs> I hope he gets beat next fight. He tried copying out of sound here with the dead taunt. Well, Rivera's kid. Cry baby Ota. <laughs> Humbled his ass. Silver uh silver medalist at the Olympics. I I went with Asakura, man. I went with Asakura, and especially with Juan's weight problems and, and sickness. I think Asakura is healthy and ready to go. No problem, Revan. Damn. Knocked him out, then choked him out. He actually hums out of him because Bilal never finishes. Oh, shit. Did you guys listen to Gilbert Burns? Or not Gilbert. <laughs> Gilbert Burns. I was getting mixed up with Melinda's. Um... That's who I was thinking of, Gilbert Melendez. I'm getting tired. 3 a.m. Uh, Burns. He was on Rampage's podcast, and he was talking about uh, his fight with Bilal. He was giving him praise. He said that he didn't like how everyone was giving him hate and that he's a deserving title uh, challenger. <laughs> but then he also said, but buddy couldn't beat me with one arm. Or couldn't, fin sorry, couldn't finish me. Correction, couldn't finish me with one arm. Uh, below this Leon just watch what's up Jelani Leon's gonna outpoint below to death zero hour 5 a.m blind dark stroke and nobody seem seems such a timeless flight <laughs> <laughs> Hank see this this is why I'm I'm glad you came back Hank I'm glad you came back my man All right. And guys, only one more intermission on this card. <laughs> this one, there's we get an extra intermission because there's 17 fucking fights. No, but what, what I do like about that intermission is it's mostly to announce the upcoming cards and fights. So I'm looking forward to seeing what's coming up next. All right, uh, Yuki Motoya against Vince Morales. The UFC killer is back, ladies and gentlemen. And I don't think Vince Morales is going to win this one. Would be another information, another intermission. Uh, let's go, Vince. Audrey's the man, the myth, the legend. And, and you know what? Like I said, Audrey's, even if it's for one month, you can always bullshit with us in our Discord. In fact, uh, Reginald Kenneth Dwight is Elton John's birth name. I did not know that. Oh my God. JM finishes his bum off. <laughs> I'm going for Yuki Motoya. There we go, guys. With the Ota win, by the way, here are my here are my predictions. Doing pretty good so far. All right, and we have Vince Morales making his walkout right now. Vendetta, Vince Morales. 
<laughs> Burns makes excuses. Dan Hooker knocked you out. I'm on Yuki next. <laughs> Champions got to start finishing their opponents, man. Even Leon Edwards. He won a belt by finishing his opponent. But uh, I like Burns. And he told the story about Sean Strickland, like, moving his kid out of the way. Uh, Elton John's a stage name. It's true. I did not know that. And Bernie Sanders cough. I mean, Topin wrote his lyrics. Oh, <laughs> terrible walkout song. Doctors writing Isha scribbles. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Check out my my handwriting. It's pretty fucked. This is how you should take notes in university. Okay, don't blame me. It's not pretty, but it's readable. No, Morales is good. Patty smoke. Oh, okay, so I I, uh, I don't know if Patty smokes Bilal. Bilal's too big. Mind you, Patty does blow up. But um, anyways, let, let's dive into this one, guys, because this one, this one, I really like this matchup. I really, really like this matchup. Okay, so we have Yuki Mota here. <laughs> he smokes. <laughs> Special writing. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> exactly that. Oh my god! Is is Yuki Motoya walking out to freaking lose yourself by Eminem? Way better walkout song. No, I got you. Walking out to Eminem in Japan. Let's fucking go. 18th time in Ryzen 2. Unbelievable. Let's go, Morales, says Ajay's. Mom's instant noodle ramen spaghetti. Fortnite guy, Eminem? <laughs> Uh, that loud sound doesn't play out loud for you. No, no, no. Is it too loud? Sorry, guys. I'll turn it down. Overrated song. It won a freaking... That song being in 8 Mile freaking won them an Oscar. I go for any UFC vet in the, in the UFC. You only get one shot. He's going he's gonna to get more than one shot to face. Walking on Eminem versus a guy who resembles Eminem. <laughs> Snoop Dogg said he would never do a show with Eminem because he didn't want a white boy steal on the show. I thought roommates might not like it. Yeah. I selective taste. Okay. Check, check out Yuki, guys. Four and one in his last five fights. 34 wins, 11 losses. He's only 34 years old, 8 KOTKO, 12 submission, 14 decisions, 10, 6, and 1 in Ryzen, 24 and 4 in deep. Oh my God! 24 and 4 in deep. Are you shitting me? And he's only lost to the best guys in Ryzen, man. 12 and 2 in a way. I mean, he's not necessarily one of the best guys, but they went on a run there and only lost to Kai Asakura. Dude, he fought Patchy Mix. Yeah, he lost, but like, look at the guys who he has fought, man. And and this is why he's the UFC killer. The UFC killer. He beat Justin Scoggins. He beat fucking Alan Nascimento, dude. Where is Alan Nascimento? It's somewhere down here. So many fucking fights, this guy. Um, where is it? Anyways, beat Alan Nascimento, uh, went to a no contest with Efrain, but it, it went the distance. I just think he's the better fighter overall. We got ATT versus JTT. 
Morales is not a bad underdog. He is a good former UFC fighter in his own right. But Motoya, three and one against USA fighters, three and two against ex and future UFC fighters. He's going to become four and two against UFC fighters in this one, locking it in. Morales with a nice right hand. Oh, da, da, da. Good job by Morales. Pressuring Motoya into the corner there, but Motoya gets out of it back to the center of the ring. 13 7 for Vince Morales. Seven knockouts, three submission, three decision. And he's got the range here, Motoya. Oh, nice kick to the body by Morales. Three and five in the UFC. Two and on Bellator. Contender Series guy. 11 and five in his last win. Lost to, oh, fuck. He lost to Miles Johns. Man, Miles Johns. He's not that great. Anyways, I got Matoya winning this one. Morales will win. Morales schooling him, calling it now. He should have won that Miles Jones fight. I'm pumped for this fight. Let's go, boys. Now he won that Jones fight. All right. My bad. My bad. He's looking good, though, in this one. He's looking good, though, in this one. Three minutes and 12 seconds on the clock, and Motoya can't even find an entry to take this to the ground. Morales doing a good job of cutting off his angles. Great combos there by Morales. Employing the tie clinch here is Motoya. Nice right elbow by Morales on the break. He got robbed. Feels like I'm playing pride mode in UFC Undisputed 3. Right hand by Motoya. Morales with a push kick. Morales doing a good job here, man. Utilizing his left jab, cutting off the angles of Motoya. Nice kicks to the body by Morales as well. Motoya trying to set up that big overhand right, and he's going to shoot on his next one. It's got that Mayhem Miller stripe. I love it. Ode to Mayhem. Hope he gets his life together. Morales gets the right hook in. Ooh, nice knee to the body there by Morales. Nice left elbow by Morales. Morales with a nice left hand. Morales with a nice left uppercut. He snuck in there as well. Yeah, dude, Morales does look bigger. He's taller, lankier. Ooh, Yuki Motoya with another outside low kick. Ooh, another knee to the body. Dude, oh, that one was low. That one was low. Dude, yeah. Morales looks good, man. This looks good. I hope some of you got him at plus money. Oh, yeah, that was low. That was low. Yeah, that was low. Knee to the nads. Looks like he's checked the kicks. Ooh, inside low kick by Morales. Oh, Morales caught him. Morales caught him with the left. Morales caught him with the left. Rocked him. Motoya on the ground. Morales in full mount. Dude, Morales is full mount, but he doesn't have room. Dude, he cracked him. Cut on the top of Motoya's nose. 49 seconds in the first round. Absolute domination by Morales so far. Shit. He's looking amazing, dude. <laughs> I love these, these guys on the side of the, the, the ropes pushing him back in the ring. No, his, his boxing's been chef's kiss. A 
again, and it's it's crazy that Motoya has trained an American top team. Vince Morales trained a Japan top team. Oh, back on his feet is Motoya, but Morales landing some beautiful boxing combos, beautiful kickboxing combos, I should say, with some kicks to the body as well. That is it for the first round. Oh, he's fucked. Guys, unbelievable first round by Vince Morales. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Those strikes to the body are going to are continue, are going to continue to wear out Yuki Motoya. All those knees, all those kicks, not to mention his combos as well. He dropped him with a straight left, cut the top of his nose as well. Sorry, I'm whispering, guys. I know it's fucked, but it's so late, and I don't want to be a dick to my roommates. Beautiful first round for Morales. Honestly, I did not expect him to be in this good of shape and like just this this crisp and clean in his Horizon debut. And it looks like the opposite there from Yuki Motoya. He doesn't look like he's as dialed for this New Year's show. Not a scratch. 10 8. Yeah, dude. Well, I mean, they don't judge. There's no 10 point must system in Ryzen, but but yes, domination. All right, round two. Let's get it all. Ooh, outside low kick by Matoya, and again Morales comes in swinging. Morales really wasn't that bad in the UFC. He's just not much of fin- not much of a finisher though. Yeah, good, good boxer though. Good boxer. And a good pressure fighter as well as he's really been pushing the pace. He's putting that American mustard on them. Oh. Big right hand by Morales. Oh, I kick by Mo- Mora- er, by Morales. Dude, Motoy is getting absolutely schooled here. Body shot by Morales. Counter left by Morales after Motoya threw that overhand right. This is some gorgeous striking by Morales. And Motoya is getting frustrated. Motoya's got to find an entry to the ground, man. Oh, but that pressure by Morales is not allowing him. Left to the body, left hook, right to the body, double underhooks, like, or double uppercuts, like, my goodness. Oh, dude, Morales is putting on an absolute clinic right here. This is beautiful. Motoya will land one left hook, and Morales will throw, like, four more strikes on him. Bang, 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 bang. 100% 100% Joe. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Beautiful display of boxing here by Vince Morales. <laughs> Just taking a little break here. Taking some deep breaths. And Motoya pushing Morales up against the corner of the ropes here. Motoya's getting schooled in the striking here. Motoya needs to take this to the ground or Vince Morales is going to absolutely school him for the potentially whole other round. Oh, here we go. Motoya with the takedown. Finally found his entry. Right into side control too. Oh, not quite, not quite. Vince Morales looking to try to get back up to his feet. And he does, but holding onto the shoulders here is Motoya. Let's see if Morales can break. And he does. Here we go. A right hand by Morales, followed by a left uppercut as well. Ain't no way, baby. Left, right, left uppercut. Didn't get through as cleanly as before. Outside low kick by, whoops, by Motoya. Took freaking Dawn's toque down. Ooh, nice right hand by Motoya. Oh, a nice right hand by Morales. Matoya with some good head movement there. And keeping that right hand up. Oh, and there goes that oh beautiful takedown. Blasting the double leg by Motoya. Takes Morales down 1 minute and 36 seconds on the clock. 
Why is he lifting his foot while throwing his right hand? No, I know. I've been noticing that as well. Maybe to just automatically check a potential leg kick coming in. Vince gets taken down. God, and see, this is where Motoya shines here. He's looking, he's threatening with the Kimura here. He's going to force Morales to turn. Oh, but Morales gets right back up. So good job, Morales, man. Right back up to his feet. Now, this is Bilal. At least he's attacking submissions, though. Good takedowns attacking submissions. 12 submissions in his career, right? Way better round by uh, Motoya. But again, keep in mind, Ryzen, the third round is the most important round. Oh, nice left hook by Motoya. Outside low kick by Motoya. Nice clinch by Morales and a knee to the body. Again, the third round is what matters the most in Ryzen. Whoever is winning the fight at the end of the third round, assuming they're, they're, they were in the first and second round and, you know, weren't absolutely dominated. So like first round, obviously it's going to, that's going to weigh a lot into this decision depending on how the third round goes, but very much based off the old pride rules of whoever's winning the schoolyard bout before it gets broken up. Right. So just keep that in mind, but uh, morale should win this one. If he puts on another striking clinic, he has slowed down. And I mean, his pace in the striking in the first round was nuts. Yeah, Montoya getting absolutely cooked on the feet. But on the ground, you can see he's tearing through him with ease. Pride rules are the best rules. The superior rule set. He was putting butter on him. So with that logic, Colby beat Leon. Uh, no five-round fights in Pride rules, unless they're custom Gracie rules. So, no. They don't judge the whole fight on the third round, but but yes, who is who's dominating the in the last round if the rest of the fight was pretty close usually usually wins. Uh Nayuki sucks of fighting at a crazy low level worst performance from him. Jogan's the best takes. Uh yeah, y Yuki hasn't Okay, wait, wait. So is this Yuki's worst performance or is this Morales' worst performance activated? Anyways, four minutes on the clock. Third round. Because it activated at Yuki winning by submission, right? Oh, a nice left hand by Vince Morales. Left jab. Oh, dude, Vince Morales is left jabs landing all day, every day. Yuki should have just grappled, right? That's that's where he's showing his dominance. That first round, he got like absolutely destroyed. If, if this was a ten point must system, it'd be a fucking ten eight. That's always been his strength, and it's shown. And by the way, the boys at the We Are Rising podcast are back. Go check out their channel. Go check out their podcast. He tired. Yuki's worst performance. Do you agree? We are rising podcast. Do you guys agree that this is one of Yuki's worst performances? Morales looks like he's in shape. Morales looks like, well, he's striking. He's been crisp and clean. Yuki with the takedown. Morales is bleeding. Is bleeding. Two minutes and 57 seconds. Let's see if Yuki has enough gas left in the tank. Let's see if Yuki can get a submission here because that's his only path to, the path to victory. Boom. No Morales, just better. 
He didn't do anything with the takedowns. Well, should just give it to Yuki. Dude, for my prediction's sake, I'd be down for that. Or Vince's best performance. He's a UFC vet and he's still in his prime. Oh, nice reversal by Morales. Hey, credit where credit is due, though, guys. Morales has gone back up to his feet. Morales dropping for a guillotine. What the fuck are you doing? Why is this the trend in all, like, of course a UFC guy would drop for a guillotine. You know what I mean? Like, why is that the trend? Why is everyone just dropping for guillotines these days? This ain't freaking Shooter Brazil, boy. Two minutes and 36 seconds left. This is what JDM will do. <laughs> Bless you, sir. JDM's long lost sibling. Yeah. Again, the odds were close on this one, and Yuki has faced really good competition. Again, he's got a win over freaking Alan Nascimento. Um, and he has a, well, he has a track record of beating Americans and beating UFC guys. So that that's what put it over the edge for me and at minus 155. But yeah, Morales, well-deserved win here, man. Very impressed. <laughs> nah, he didn't get it. Love seeing UFC vets succeed. Absolutely. 58 seconds on the clock. And Yuki Motoya looking for a Hail Mary, maybe Kimura here, back take. Okay, he gets the back, 35 seconds on the clock, too little, too late, buddy. Too little, too late. Oh, another nice reversal by Morales, man. What a good performance. Morales threatening with a Dars choke? Holy fuck. 23 seconds left. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Morales was just start, starting to set up a Dars choke there. Dude, <laughs> Vince Morales forgot that he could knee this guy in the face. Vince Morales totally forgot that he could knee this guy in the face. Ending up on top is Motoya here throwing some big shots, but it is all over. Vince, Mor uh, Vince Morales is going to win this fight, man, in his rising debut. And that's awesome to see. He went for the freaking necktie, dude. He could have kneed him in the face on the ground, but instead he went for the necktie. He ain't beating this one. Nope. Cheers, cheers. We'll go for the Wisconsin beer for this one. We we won't drink any Japanese whiskey for this one because the Japanese fighter lost. So we'll go with the uh, we'll go with the Wisconsin beer. I'm not surprised, motherfuckers. Brilliant performance. Absolute tank. Unlike Dagestanis who forget not to knee opponents, UFC vets forget to knee opponents. So happy for the guy. There can be one absolute tank. Misha Sirkunov trademarked that sub. What's in time? God damn it, I lost this one. Here's proof. Still in the win column, I'm pretty sure. Oh, five and five right now. And it was the right decision. Vince Morales, ladies and gentlemen. Yuki Montoya now three and two against Americans. Three and three against X and future UFC fighters. Let's go, Dodson. Let's go. Okay, guys. So the winner. Oh, this is such an important fight coming up. This is such a important fight coming up next, ladies and gentlemen. So the winner of the John Dodson fight next year gets a title shot. The winner of this fight, okay, 
God, like oh, I'm so fucking excited for this one, guys. Like I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely losing my mind right now. The winner of John Dodson and Ogi Kubo Mini Sakurabo will fight the winner of Yoji Horiguchi and Makoto Shinryu. Okay, this is a top contender fight. This is a top contender fight. And again, I think Horiguchi will win the main event. I just think he's he's too good of a veteran for the young Shinryu right now. But I do think Shinryu will be a tremendous Japanese star down the road. But he's only 23 years of age. John Dodson is fucking 39 years young. Oh, fuck. My roommates are... My roommates are awake. Hopefully I didn't wake them. Anyways, John Dodson, 39 years young, ladies and gentlemen. He's the champion in BKFC. And if he wins the belt in freaking Ryzen, he will... He will become the true BMF. He will become the true baddest motherfucker. Justin Gaethje's got nothing on the BKFC and Ryzen champ. Um, he is the favorite going into this one at minus 310. What's cool about this is we have the ultimate fighter runner-up in Oki Kubo against the ultimate fighter winner in John Dodson. Different seasons, but still. We have the Ryzen Grand Prix winner in Hirosoma Ogi, Hirosoma Ogi Kubo, who actually beat Kai Asakura as well uh, just under two years ago. Title shot is next. We know how good Mini Saku is in his prime. These three fight, these this three fight losing streak, it's done a number on him, ladies and gentlemen. But he's only fought the best of the best: Sochu Kim, Hori, uh, Kyoji Horiguchi, and Juan Archuleta. And that one's for the, that one was for the title. He's got miles on him as well, thirty six. He's got a lot of fights, man. He's got a lot of fights. On the other hand, John Dodson, the magician. Three fight win streak. One in XMMA. One in Ryzen. And another one in Ryzen. He's also won three in BKFC. He's the fucking champion in BKFC. And he had a hell of a UFC run. He's an absolute savage. Dodson's on a tear, man. He's on an absolute tear. Like I said, in my no I have it in my notes here. 39 years young. And though Ogikupo is well-rounded, John Dodson's more aggressive with his wrestling, um, both on the submission side of things and just doing straight damage. So I'm going with John Dodson, and I cannot wait to see him fight for the title next. <laughs> Let's get back to the comments. Uh, Morales won. Morales won. Yeah, I'm five and five. My predictions too. He's so shocked. Oh my god, the only fight I care about because he thought he'd be the hometown robbery. But he's glazing Dodson. How am I glazing Dodson, dude? Dodson's a legend. He walks out in his freaking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle suit. Yeah, Dodson's way more entertaining than Bilal, dude. This walkout by Dodson is more entertaining than Bilal. Dude. John Dodson, man. I fucking love John Dodson. When he beat TJ Dillashaw and became the ultimate fighter, dude, I was so pumped. Did you see on the last year's New Year's show they had him at 6 1? Jail, have you never seen Dodson fight before? Uh, before like Ryzen and uh, and BKFC. 
He had a hell of a run in the UFC, man. Honestly, I, I'm i sure Bilal sent jail a Christmas card. A tough crowd this morning. <laughs> Dawson has a, K, has a KO win over Nathaniel Wood, who is a top 20 featherweight. That is true. Dodson KO Dillashaw. TJ got humbled. <laughs> Joe, you can be a fan of Epstein for all I care. By the way, are any of our degenerate fin friends in the live chat betting on anything list related? Let's just say I have a couple degenerate friends who uh, who are betting on stuff. Well, that's right. Horikuchi was the two-time shooter champ as well. Yeah, there's parlays going for names on the list. I'm going for Dodson, mate. Yeah, guys, do you remember uh, uh, Hiromasa Okikubo on The Ultimate Fighter? So he was on the, the champion season. The season Brandon Moreno was on. The season Pantoja was on. He was a runner-up. I believe Pantoja beat him. Oh, dude! Save the card. The card has been awesome, man. We've seen some. We've seen some great finishes, good pacing outside the intermissions. But let's see. We've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've had seven, uh, seven finishes thus far, which is pretty good. Let's go, Dawson. I just realized I have a teenage, teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shirt on. Let's go, Dodson. He looks scared. This might be his last fight, dude. This might be his last fight. But the way this card works, Dodson will be hit with a flying elbow, then get finished for a whole minute like Bobby Green. Oh, he beat Pantoja? Man, the napitis is setting in. My apologies. Thank you, Matt, for correcting me. Um, who did he lose to again, then? Uh, where the fuck was it? Elliot! That's pretty fucking Tim Elliot, of course. Decision. Wow, beat Pantoja, dude. He lost to fucking Tim Elliot, and then lost to Horiguchi, yep. He lost to Horiguchi again brutally here. Exactly that. God, I love John Dodson. No, uh, uh, Oki Kubo is talking about retiring. No, no, John Dodson is going to. Is going to be the Ryzen champ and the BKFC champ. And then we are going to, we're going to go to Justin Gaethje, rip that fucking belt off of him. And we're going to give it to Dodson, the rightful owner of the, of the baddest motherfucking belt. If John Dodson wins the Ryzen belt and is holding the BKFC belt at the same time, he is the baddest motherfucker on the planet. All right, guys, round one. Let's get Outside low kick by Ogi Kubo. Oh, a nice right hand by Ogi Kubo. Left by Dodson. Inside leg kick by Dodson. Dude, Dodson is still so quick. For 39 years of age, he's still got that speed in the lighter division. Yep. Clinching here is Okikubo. Dodson was blitzing in. Oh, 
He was still, he beat Pedro Munoz, man. Manny Gamburian. Just couldn't beat DJ. Three minutes and 50 seconds on the clock. Ogi Kubo working in the clinch here. Pushing Dobson up against Cage. Mr. Showtime, what's up? I don't do fantasy football. Oh, nice takedown by Ogi Kubo. I don't do fantasy football, but my roommate's super into it. Good to see you, buddy. Dodson's just so fast. He moves like a fast ass little shrimp or something. Exactly that. <laughs> Good job there by Ogi Kubo, though, man. Good takedown. Dodson on his back. Ogi Kubo does have a cut on his nose, though, so he's bleeding. I bought the pay-per-view, buddy. I buy every Ryzen pay-per-view. Ogi Kubo not doing anything, just laying on Jod Dodson here. Oh, he passed a side control. Now this is belalling. Passed a side control. Two minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. Oh, nice right elbow by Ogi Kubo. Two minutes and 30 seconds. What a hairdo by Ogi Kubo. Ooh, right hand by Ogi Kubo. Two minutes and six seconds on the clock. A referee now is telling Ogi Kubo to, to be more active. I love the rise in referees, man. Because <laughs> they, they will stand you up. Dodson keeping his left arm extended to avoid those knees to his head. Brooks trying to have sex with Dawson right Oh, a couple big elbows by Ogi Kubo. Good. I mean, hey, I would like to see more damage from Ogi Kubo, but this is a good game plan thus far. Oh, dude, he's trying to get he's trying to get Dodson in that crucifix. One minute and thirteen seconds on the clock. <laughs> Lose Dodson. It only makes sense. No, we need Dodson to get that title shot next. <laughs> 51 seconds on the clock. Dodson trying to scramble here. Ogi Kubo doing a good job of just keeping him in place and doing just enough to make sure the ref doesn't stand him up. Ogi Kubo trying to line up that right knee. Dodson loses, I agree with JL Ryzen sucks. <laughs> Ogi Kubo full mount. Ogi Kubo full mount. 15 seconds left. Dude, Ogi Kubo, man. Solid wrestling here early. Full mount. Full mount. This is crazy, man. And Dodson took some. Big shots there at the end of the first round. Holy shit, what a round for Mini Sakuraba. Don't let me down. <laughs> Fucking hell, Dodson. And a credit where credit is due, man. Hiro, Hiromasa Ogi Kubo employed some unbelievable just strength there and being able to just muscle his way into full mount and then just fucking started wailing on him. Did Dodson did some head movement on the fucking ground? Look at his corner. What the fuck? Even he has the turtle costume.
Here lies Hank the Tank, Isha and Joe's hopes and dreams. <laughs> All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it off. It's funny. Despite Dodson being on the bottom, it's Augie Kubo who's wearing more of the damage. Dodson steps in, swing and a miss with his combo. Dodson with a good kick to the body. Dodson with the left and the right. <laughs> this is ridiculous with the turtles, bro. I wouldn't be able to not start laughing my ass off between rounds. A uh, low kick by Ogi Kubo there. Dodson says he's okay. Outside low kick by Dodson. He sends Ogi Kubo backwards. Dodson with the good Muay Thai stance there. Check the leg kick of Ogi Kubo. Yeah, bro, I have to say, I'd rather listen to the Japanese broadcast. I'm sorry, boys. He's going to land a super duper nooper. Yep. And going in now for the clinch is Ogi Kubo pushing Dodson up against the ropes. Dodson doing a good job of breaking. Not at all. Good job at Dodson. They're breaking quickly. And keeping this a standing affair. Three minutes and 18 seconds on the clock. <laughs> a menace. Three minutes and six seconds on the clock. Oh, Dodson got kicked in the balls again. Time up with the referee. Hey, it could be worse. They all could have gone to decision. <laughs> at least we got, at least we've gotten seven finishes thus far. Seven for ten on finishes. I'll take it. Inside low kick by. Dude, here Mosa, dude. John Dodson saying, "What the fuck?" He hit him low there as well. Uh, Bursh on a kick dots and balls of whatever you like. I wrote against it. It's in the rising stars. Two minutes and 28 seconds on the clock. Oh, nice right hand by Oki Kubo. Dotson's biggest challenge in rising yet, guys. Title eliminator. Oh, a nice left by Dodson on the entry there. Again, Dodson is, is, is landing the better shots on the feet, so that's where he has to keep this fight if he's going to win it because Ogi Kubo absolutely schooled him in the first round on the ground. Ooh, but they each land a shot in the pocket there. I don't know. He seems pretty, pretty, look like he's in pretty good shape to me. Both of them, actually. He looks like a little Michael Chandler bloated. Dodds him with the front kick. Oh, a nice body kick by Dodson. One minute, 13 seconds. Oh, you can see Ogi Kubo. He's huffing and puffing after that one. A little HGH got like channel. Yeah, let's go, baby. <laughs> oh, outside low kick by Dodson. Everyone's falling asleep. <laughs> Not us, baby. We got like three more hours of this shit. Let's go. Oh, Ogi Kubo trying to set up that overhand right. 
Aiden, what's up, Aiden? Tag me in. It's pretty close right now. Dodson's winning on the feet. Ogikubo's winning on the ground. You're in, Aiden. No, no, we're not slandering him. It was a com it was a simple comparison. Oh, Ogikubo catches the left leg of Dodson, trying to take him to the ground. But Dodson's done a good job evading. He's like, and Dodson gets the takedown. Dodson gets the takedown. Ogikubo attacking the leg, and that is it for the second round. Good display of respect by John Dodson helping him up. Again, the fight is judged as a whole, ladies and gentlemen. But if it ended right now. One round apiece. Third and final round. I'm invested in this specific main card, boss. Let's go. Fair comparison, both on roids. <laughs> Dodson needs to pick up the pace. Come on, crack him, Dodson. Oops, I show my cards. No, this this is a this is a big test for Dodson. No, Hank, no. USA, USA, USA. All right, third and final round. I know, dude. His hairline's turning into my hairline. I mean, he's almost 40 years of age. Let's go. Four minutes and 45 seconds on the clock. Center of the ring. Oh, Juan Dodson and Gucci Belt win. Vince Morales schools this version of Morales. <laughs> oh, I meant this version of Dodson. Ooh, body kick by Kubo. Dodson blistered. Oh, and he caught him. Dodson caught him with the right. Well, I mean, you look at Dodson, he's not wearing much damage. Ogi Kubo, man, he's cut, his nose is fucked. Dodson with a nice left. And honestly, Ogi Kubo looks like he's looked pretty good in this one. He looks better in this one than he did in the fight against Horiguchi. Finish him. Dodson doing a good job of evading the takedown. So that's three takedowns since the first round that John Dodson has been able to stuff. And he even reversed one and got a, got a takedown on uh, Ogikubo late in that second. Three minutes and 19 seconds. So I, I, I will say, though, John Dodson does need to make this round his. Outside Loki by Ogikubo. Oh, Ogikubo with a good left hand. John Dodson with a good left hand as well. I mean, honestly, man, whoever does better in the last two minutes and 50 seconds is going to win the fight. Ogikubo had a good first round. John Dodson had a good second round. But, yeah. Oh, you go looking for the takedown. John Dodson has been able to defend his takedowns, and let's see if he can get a reversal here. Oh, Gikubo pushing Don Dodson into the ropes. I should never brought the turtles. He's done that in every single one of his Ryzen fights so far. Oh, a nice knee to the body by Ogikubo. Nice right hand by Ogikubo and John Dodson. The knee to the body as well. Man, Ogikubo, he might be doing enough. Close fight. Two minutes on the clock, yeah. This one will be tough to judge, man. And it's in Japan, so I'm scared.
John Dodson just needs to end strong here. He, if John Dodson, like, yeah, if he ends strong here, quite, quite frankly, he, he can maybe win back this fight. But if not, I mean, fuck, man. Rest ends the shit up. Dodson gonna lose this with, without a big moment. Yep. Yep. So I mean, yay. One minute, 14 seconds. And Ogi Kubo, man, just <laughs> fighting for that takedown. Dodson not giving it to him. One minute on the clock. Yeah, come on, ref. Separate them here. Dude, they have literally the most inexperienced ref for this one. Marab. Okay, ref separates them. 45 seconds. All right, Dodson is going to blitz here. Dodson is going to blitz. Thirty seconds on the clock. Oh, and Dodson swung with that big left, swinging a miss, high kick by Oki Kubo. Oh man, fifteen seconds. Do something, boys. Do something. Oki Kubo with another high kick. High kick by Oki Kubo. Hey, man, Ogi Kubo was the one who threw there at the end, and that is it for the third. Honestly, Ogi Kubo did enough to win, man. Boring first round by Ogi Kubo, and he's wearing more damage. But John Dodson had a good second round. Ogi Kubo, he did more in that third. Close, close fight. But I think Ogi Kubo did more, man. Let's go, Dodson. Yeah, it's a 343 for me. I love this sport so much. Rob him. Yes, yes. Rob him. Rob him. Rob him. Jail saying terrible fight. I'm not a fan of that one. Yeah. Not the most exciting fight. Damn, dude. Yeah, I think he won too. All right, we're listening in for the decision. Oh, yeah, he's going to take it, man. And he gets the win. <laughs> Augie Kubo, man, snaps his three-fight losing streak and beats John Dodson in the title eliminator. Yeah, all three judges scored it for him, and it was the right decision. Good display of respect by both of them. It wasn't the most exciting fight. He grinded it out, but at the end of the day, he did more, man. He did more. And it didn't look like John Dodson had lost a step as far as his speed. He just wasn't able to land on him and underestimated his wrestling in the first round. The walk of shame of Dodson as he leaves the ring. Dodson really lost to Obi-Wan Kenobi. Hope this punk gets slept in his next fight. Jonah's always been so inconsistent. Yeah, but he's been on a good streak as of late, right? He's been on a three-fight MMA streak, so he's, he's won six fights in a row. 6 a.m. here in Canada. Quite boring considering all the hype for Dodson. What was that? Ryzen sucks. Dude, Ryzen doesn't suck. <laughs> Little twerps can slip and fall. Jail show. We saw a guy whose dad was a soccer player get soccer kick KO'd. Yes, exactly. <laughs> wow, dude. I got that one. I got it wrong. I got it wrong. 
All right. Heavyweights coming up next, ladies and gentlemen. Damn, sucks to see John Dodson lose, but honestly, man, congratulations to uh, Hiramosa. Oki Kubo snaps the three-fight losing streak, and he will be fighting likely Horiguchi for the title. But man, with all of these upsets here today, God, I actually hope Shinryu wins. Yeah, that's Oki was fucking sick. Uh, card has been great as a whole besides one fight. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. I think it's been a good card. I love the soccer kicks. The soccer kicks are some of the most beautiful MMA techniques out of them all. I would say the soccer kick is the most beautiful MMA technique. Yeah, the only two heavyweights in Ryzen. Uh, to a boring former UFC guy, too. On a three-fight losing streak, only in Ryzen. The Hank the Tank is like hates Ryzen as much as JL. I hope that Sodario will win this one. Yes, I need Sodario to win this one. Uh, this dude uh, got fucked up by Justin Taffa last year. Yeah, well, because Japan's like pretty much a day ahead of us, right, JL? So, like, this is their New Year's show. So for us, it's always the day, um, day ahead. Yes, yes, there are. One, there's one sumo guy. That's Sudario. So this is a former sumo guy, and he's fighting next. And he's actually pretty good. Eight and two. Man, I should have bet the other guy. I would have never bet Dodson at minus 300-ish. Man, I, I honestly just thought that Minisaku was falling off. He he looked, in fairness to everyone who bet Dodson, Minisaku did not look good in his last two fights. Part sumo, part punching machine. I got work. Sorry I wasn't able to watch the whole thing. It's all good, JL. It's all good, man. Hope you have a great day at work tomorrow, and Happy New Year, brother. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Hey, thank you so much for all the support you've shown us in 2023, my man. Have a great day at work tomorrow. Have a happy, happy New Year. Fry the shit out of them chickens. I love fried chicken. <laughs> I'm tired. Have a great night, JL. Happy New Year, Jay. Hey guys, I have to drain the main vein. I will be back in literally two minutes. I gotta pee. City light, city light, hey, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sipping on some syrup, I feel Canadian. City light, city light, hey, hey, I might be surprised. up next ladies and gentlemen shout out to everyone who stuck with us throughout this night shout out to all the new subscribers the new viewers 
It's freaking almost 4 a.m. here, and we're still watching Ryzen. Uh, Dylan likes Ueda here. Yeah, Ueda had a hard time beating a guy who was almost a senior citizen. He did win his last kickboxing match. But, uh, yeah. And he lost to freaking Kosaka, man. Kosaka, I mean, a good resume, but bro, he old. He old. Uh, Sudario, he, he's rightfully the favorite. A four and one in his last five. Seven knockouts. Hasn't beaten the best guys, but these are heavyweights, man. These are heavyweights. Beat a 7 0 guy. Yeah, he lost to Junior Tough in the first round. That was. Beat a 12 5 guy. Holy motherfuck. He fought Minoa, man. He fought fucking Minoa, man, a heavyweight. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Minoa Man's a legend, by the way, guys. That's crazy. That's fucking crazy, man. Minoa fought in Pride, Dream, K1, and Run. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. Dude, Minoa Man fought Vanderlei Silva in the Pride Grand Prix. Wow. Don't miss the fatty fight. <laughs> I hate the Hank the Tank as much as it hates Ryzen so much. What was the walkout song? The Mean Streets of Jonathan Martinez, Oregon. I'm just guessing to pick for fun. No research done. Oh, got you. 341 Calf Kick Street on Pereira Lane. Right off. Dog Vendor Bull. Oh, God. Dog Vendor Boulevard. <laughs> All right. Again, Ryzen doesn't have much depth in their heavyweight division at all. They got a couple young guys here, and then they just sign old men for them to knock on wood, try to beat. However, the younger to, uh, Tsuyoshi Sadario, 26 years of age, former sumo wrestler. Um, he's actually fought some decent guys. He's lost to some good guys. Tafa, like we just highlighted, but he's also beaten some good guys as well. So, I mean, honestly, if he gets a if he gets a clean knockout here, I think he might find work elsewhere. Let's just say, different promotion. That is going to stink it up. <laughs> Welcome, welcome to my house. <laughs> this fight is a two percent chance of being entertaining. Round one. Let's get it all. All right, four minutes and forty-four seconds on the clock. Ueda, by the way, he is a kickboxer. Ueda is a kickboxer, um, so he does have good leg kicks, and we're seeing those leg kicks right off the bat. Been on his feet so far as Ueda. Ooh, outside low kick by Ueda. Dude, Ueda's actually moving pretty damn good. Good body kick there by Ueda. Trying to play that left jab is Sudario, but can't find his distance. Oh, right hand by Sudario. Wait with the high kick, man. So far, so far, so good, Joe Hogan. So far, so good. Oh, big right hand by Sidorio. Body kick by Weda. Weda's looking good, man. Weda's looking good. Dude, these Japanese big boys are actually like in good shape for heavyweights. Oh, big right hand by Sudario and another body kick by Ueda. Ueda's utilizing those kicks very, very nicely. Uh, 
Ooh, oblique kick by Ueda. Oh man, Ueda's look at the look at the knee already of Sudario. Ueda's destroying that lead left leg. That was a slow right hand. Push kick by Ueda. Sumo are the only elite MMA heavyweight. Ooh, high kick by Ueda. This guy murks Aspinall. <laughs> Oh, inside leg kick again by Wade, and here we go, Sudario, looking for the clinch. Two minutes and fourteen seconds. Quick stands in the east. Oh, nice takedown by Sudario. Just dragged away to the ground with the body lock. He's in side control right now. Ooh. Left knee by Sodaro. Didn't quite hit the head. Good job by Ueda getting back up to his feet. Yo, Zach, what's going on? One of our exclusive members just watching some Ryzen, brother. How are you? Reported two V1s, these bums. One minute and 19 seconds on the clock. Oh, they're starting to gas. Oh, couple right hands from Sudario and a knee from Ueda on the break. Uh, good man, about to tune in. This new chick left. Oh. She a whole ass freak. Parker's <laughs> goaded. Well, happy New Year, Zach. Forty-four seconds on the clock. High kick attempt by Weta. <laughs> Oh, Sidorio with a nice knee. Spinning heel kick attempt by your way to 15 seconds left. Final 10 seconds. Inside low kick. Man, look at that left lead leg of a way to it is bruised to shit around the knee. Nice checking of the leg kick by Ueda. Dude, good round by Ueda, man. Way better round by Ueda than I thought than I thought we'd see. Hell yeah, man. Hope you have an awesome New Year's tomorrow. Your Peter Porter. Is it is it actually? I don't believe you. Hank, how excited are you for the next intermission? <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I'm just checking the fight card and seeing where we're at. On um, Okay, yeah, so we have... Uh, Izawa against Yamamoto next, and then we have our last intermission. All right, round two. Let's get it! I hope so. <laughs> I'm fucking thrilled. Uh, don't forget about uh, Miku's eye. Yeah, it looks like his left eye. Something's wrong with it there. Yeah, the intermission is a bit much. I don't know why there's three intermissions on this one. 
I do know they have to announce some fights. They should have just did on the last one. Really missed the fast pace of the USC cards. Oh, yes. PFL, too. Who went out with the high kick knocks? Holy fucking ball. Who had to knock him out? Who had to knock him out? Well, TKO. There's that 2%. Let's go, Dylan. I cannot believe I lost that one. But again, honestly, I'm thrilled. All the, except for the Dodson fight, except for the Dodson fight. Yeah, there it is. Man, I'm getting cooked on my fucking Ryzen picks. We better make up for it with fucking, like, if, if Izawa wins, I'm done. Oh, if, sorry, if Izawa loses, I'm done. Oh, a knee right to the face. Yep, 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 yep. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. Fucking beautiful. <sighs> Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my God! Damn, son. The lower the prediction rate, the higher quality the promotion. Obi Wan beat up a Ninja Turtle. Yeah. Great win from Ueda Man. Right off the right, right from the start. He looked dialed, man. That was a great win. Oh, dude. Let's go, baby. <laughs> He's adjusting the audience now. Hey, the kickboxer gets it done with the kick, man. All right, Sika is Zawa coming up next year, and she's going to win. <laughs> she she's going to win. Okay, minus two thousand favorite, she's gonna win. Yeah, Ryzen ain't for prediction fights. Holy, this guy looked horrible against an old man. Now he beats a decent heavyweight. Now Sadar's loss is my second FUBAR in sports next to George's loss in SEC championship. And here's my second pick. Jared Vendera would steamroll this guy. Can't wait to see her lose. Yes. The Canadian coming up next year. Metallica fan. Look at the odds, brother. It'll be quick. It'll be quick. Unfortunately, a fellow Canadian, she's going to lose. She's going to lose. This is her last swan song. Um, all right, let, let's highlight both these fighters here. Again, we're, we're nearing... We're nearing the end, dude. We're nearing the end. We have four more fights after this next one, okay? Four more fights after this next one. We have the Deep Jewels champion, Seika Izawa, coming up next. And then we have our last intermission, but we will have some fight announcements in the intermission. She's getting soccer kicked. If this fight doesn't go to a decision, I'll be disappointed. It's, it's, it's almost there. It's almost there. I got cooked on my picks worst of the year at the end of the year. Man, Yamamoto, yeah, she's been wrestling forever.
Oh, uh, uh, yep, I'll be up till 8.30 then. <laughs> yeah, this is her last fight. Last fight. And she would have fought uh, two years ago, but she had knee surgery, I think. But dude, yeah, her opponent is... Her opponent is a hell of a fighter here in Izawa. 11 and 0. She's undefeated. The Deep Jewels champ. Is she not the Ryzen champ as well right now? Uh, 6 known Ryzen, 4 no in Deep Jewels. Bead Claire Lopez. 8 and 4 gal, 5 and 3, 9 and 4, 7 and 0. She, she is the best atom weight in the world right now. Now, there's not a lot of atom weights, but. She could she could come to North America and fight a few of the atom weights here and win or lose, put on put on a good fight. She actually does have some uh, some power in her mitts. Her opponent though, she's probably gonna lose, man. Six and seven. 49 years of age. All of her wins have come via decision. Six and seven in Ryzen. So she's a Ryzen darling, but yeah. Yeah. Lost to an eight and three gal split decision. Eleven and three. At least she's fighting legit competition though. And twenty and three. Like no, no disrespect for losing to those fighters. Beat a four and two gal. Yeah, I mean, look at the chicks that she's lost to, man. So no disrespect there. Um, but doesn't have any good doesn't have any doesn't have many good wins on a resume either. So yeah, obviously I'm going with the favorite. <laughs> Finest forty nine year old I've seen. Can Grandma and MMA get it done? Let's find out. Blog could probably wet blanket prayer for the light heavyweight belt. Ah, oh. and you know what sucks is JL is not here to hear that comment. Sleeps as I will ruin my, my picks, please. <laughs> Lamb to the slaughter. Yep. Absolutely. What's up, Tommy? Good to see you, buddy. The dog is going to win at this rate. Oh, no, Metallica, we need... I, I love the. I love all the cold opens for every fight. That's, uh, that's one of the reasons why I pay for it every time. I love seeing the intro and the whole the whole storyline bit uh, in front of all of, in front of all of them. Basically. And you know what? I think his house probably gonna knock her out. Never mind. She's only got one TK. She's probably gonna submit her. All right, the fighting queen B, out fighting out of Toronto. I don't know if she's still fighting out of Toronto. Now nah, it's going decision. No, no, no. We're getting a submission, Joe. We're getting a submission. I feel it. I feel it. Yeah, but Japan. Will logic prevail? See, in in any other promotion, Joe, I would agree with you. But in Ryzen in Japan on the New Year's show, absolutely, absolutely not. And I think in the last three Ryzen shows, all three women's fights have, were uh, were finishes. But yeah, 49 years of age. She looks tremendous. Yeah. True, in Japan, the old women always get KO'd. Yep.
All right, guys, how are we doing? How are we doing? It's getting pretty late. Those on, those out east, 5, 11 a.m. You guys are the real MVPs, man. 4, 11 a.m. I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to fade a little bit. Maybe it's just time for another, uh, maybe it's just another time. Maybe it's just, it's time for just another little bit of the Suntory, baby. That's right. We're drinking the Japanese whiskey here this morning. It's crazy because Hank the Tank, this isn't, this isn't even a bad card, man. The Azerbaijan card was way worse. Cheers, guys. Mm. It's five here, and I'm on Morello's and root beer. Oh, Modelo's and root beer. Let's go, baby. The real UFC fans drink Modelo's. Didn't they feed a 50-year-old to Gabby Garcia in Rising? Dude, I think she was like 56. I think she was like 56. Yeah, let me find that. Yeah, dude, Rising doesn't give a fuck. This I, I love this league so much. It was like a 56-year-old pro wrestler. Um, who was it again? Oh my god, here it is. Yeah, Yumiko Hota. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> yeah, I don't watch a lot of pro wrestling. Except for Japanese pro wrestling, they're savage, dude. Stay thirsty, my friend. I just threw a bet on Saito. We chasing the dogs. <laughs> Felt he might win, so fuck it. Yeah, at this point, fuck it. All right, we have the inflatable tube man and walking out in a kimono is Seika. What did Matt Brown say about women's MMA? I don't know, but I'm sure it was an epic quote. Matt Brown was going off today saying that people who drink beers are pussies and people who drink milk are men. I do love Matt Brown, though. She looks gorgeous in that kimono. And she's throwing out shirts to the audience. <laughs> Got milk? Oh, so she was the Ryzen Super Atomweight Grand Prix champion. She's the Deep Jewels champion. She's undefeated. <clears throat> oh, Matt Brown. The Elbow Savage. I do remember that now. Sega going to get sparked out. No, no, no. We need to get back in the wind column, boys. We need to get back in the wind column. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go Sean Strickland. Senior Citizens Day, baby. Again, guys. Happy New Year. I know we're one we're one day behind them in Japan right now, but yo, how did the last find? Oh, shh. dude, Ueda head kicked Sadario and knocked him out in the second round. Shin to the dome. My lock is on Seika Izawa. 
Izawa, sorry, no, Izawa, Izawa. My pronouns are Sean Strickland. Exactly that. Oh, here, I'll find it. One sec. I'll find it for you, buddy. Our fighters are just being announced in the ring right now. Let's see if I can find this replay. I think they are tears. This is our final fight. All right, I put it in the live chat, dude. Our fighters are being announced in the ring right now. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Final instructions, both fighters. And last fight for Yamamoto in her career. All right, round one. Let's get it all. Kick to the body there by Iza. Wow. Four minutes and 41 seconds. Ooh, a nice right hand by Izawa. Oh, takedown by Yamamoto. And looking for a guillotine is Izawa. And she still got the position for the guillotine right now, but she's, it's not tight. It's not tight. Three minutes and 51 seconds on the clock. Wait till she has to fight Bilal. <laughs> she's continuing to hang on to it now. Yamamoto, moving into full mount was Yamamoto here. Yamamoto, some good ground to pound, dude. Back to the full guard. Dude, could you imagine? Could you imagine if Yamamoto somehow wins this? Time for Grandma to finish the job. She's older than Ian Gary's wife. Still in the full guard of Izawa. Now Izawa's trying to cinch in the guillotine. Oh, and now this is tight. Oh, uh, no. She popped out. Man. Izawa's arms are so skinny. <laughs> two minutes and 32 seconds on the clock. Oh, triangle. Setting up a triangle from the bottom here. Very high guard for Izawa right now. Feet planted here by Yamamoto. And Yamamoto back down to her knees, still in the full guard of Izawa. All right, and now Izawa's trying to lock in the guillotine, getting back up to her feet is Izawa. Izawa pushing Yamamoto up against the cage. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, Mr. Showtime, 
Hiromoto. Uh, next, right after this one. And Yamamoto pushing Izawa up against the corner of the ring. Just not, a lot, just not a lot of damage here by Yamamoto, even though she has been in control as far as the grappling goes. She's 49, dude. Crazy. And Izawa using the corner of the ring to kind of wall walk and get some hooks in. Is Gucci fighting? A uh, horror Gucci, yes, he's fighting in the, the main event. If this promotion self destructs, I'm going down with it. 20, I, th I hope it takes me with it. 15 seconds on the clock, and Yamoto yeah, going for the takedown. She gets it. thousand times better than the PFL. Yes. Th if you guys want to take a bathroom break, if you want to take a smoke break, this is the fight to do it. End of the first round. No, I, I just literally can't say the words or YouTube will, will shut down this entire stream. But you know exactly what, what I mean. But if I say the words, YouTube will shut down the stream. I remember Gucci fight with Sergio Pettis. Amazing ending. Masterclass by the senior citizen. Straight up wrestling, dude. Hey, I'll take some pride. Fighting out of Toronto. She's got the Canadian maple leaf on her, um, on her fight kit. Against the number six Adam Weight worldwide. Let's go, baby. Uh, round two. That's so crazy, man. Round two. This is why USADA needed to go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Some low kicks to start, and Izawa with the right hand. It's not crazy. It's Ryan. Yeah, fuck the PFL, dude. Fuck the PFL. PFL's a disgrace to mixed martial arts. Yamoto going for the takedown. She gets it, but Izawa right back up to her feet. Izawa going for the Rinnaki choke. And that is it. That is it. Izawa with the choke. Izawa with the choke. <laughs> And Sawa so quickly locks in the choke, and it is all over, ladies and gentlemen. I told you there'd be a finish. I told you, motherfuckers, there'd be a finish. Let's go. Let's go. Let's fucking let's, let's fucking go. Let's go. We're back into the wind column. I was freaking out there after that first round. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Let's go. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Honestly, someone like Carla Sparza would smash this prospect girl. She seems not great against grapplers. I'm free. Six and seven win for Sika Izawa. Um, the win streak. I found the needle in the haystack. <laughs> Display of respect here. Uh, the prospect against the veteran. Pretty sure ESPN is leveraging PFL to compete and eventually take over. It, it will overtake UFC. Dude, the PFL is a fucking joke, dude. It's an absolute disgrace to mix martial arts. 
they're purposely handicapping fighting. It's like it's like telling NBA players you can only score points with three pointers. You 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 are not allowed to throw to to shoot at the two point line or just a, a two point shot inside the distance. It's crazy, man. It's fair to say most Ryzen fighters are bums. Incorrect. Incorrect. Hank the Tank, he he just he just wants to troll me at this point. I love Hank the Tank, and I'm glad he's here. Obviously, um, I even asked him to come back, but uh, no, far from bums, far from bums, um, <laughs> far from UFC talent. Oh yeah, oh yeah, but far from bums. I know, which sucks, dude. Which sucks because it's a terrible product. I won't be too hype. She was minus two thousand. I'm gonna miss Mew. <laughs> Telling the truth, wholeheartedly disagree. Wholeheartedly disagree. Wholeheartedly disagree. We've seen a decent. We've actually seen quite a few finishes on this card. So let's freaking go. The Earth is flat, the aliens invading, and the government uh, inserted brain chips into us. It's a different style where they don't care uh, as much about losses. Actually, JL is not a fan of MMA Joey, to be perfectly honest. All about the show. Absolutely. I I love the Japanese MMA scene, man. It's It's my favorite. It is my favorite, and it always has been since the Pride of Sea days. Is our Mackenzie Dern, Mackenzie Dern, baby? Jail soul redeeming quality. <laughs> He's not a fan because he is him. Islam or Sean Strickland for fight of the year? Um, Sean Strickland, I think. Fought more and defied the odds. As good as as good as Islam has been, like the the, the Sean Strickland story has been incredible. Let's go, let's go, dude. Oh man, I'm glad we got a finish. Because if this did go the distance before intermission, that would have been crazy. All right, so we have some fights being announced here next before this final intermission. Yeah, Strickland defied the odds, and Islam just to prove the odds right. Agree, Islam hasn't even faced a guy in his weight class. One fight was on a week's notice. Mr. Fights every eight months. Instead of whispering, I just say, wake up your roommates and get them to watch with you. I wish, brother, I wish. I know it's annoying, guys, and my, my sincere apologies. If I'm going to stay up watching this event, I'm going to stream it. <laughs> but if you can't stand it, then uh, my, my boy my boy Jay at Rush Hour, he's streaming this. My friend Pickham is streaming this. And uh, they, they're putting on better shows than I am. So by all means, ditch this stream and go hang out with them. Because um, I understand it's not uh, it's not super enjoyable. Oh yeah, a little retirement uh, ceremony for uh, Yamamoto right now. <laughs> no problem, Hank the Tank. Have a great night. Happy New Year, buddy. Thank you for all the support. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Sing the whisper song by the Ying Yang Twins. <laughs> Ian should marry this lady. Okay, next two fight picks go. All right, I have um, 
Yeah, man winning this one, dude. I got yeah, man winning this one. Yes, I know it's an MMA fight, but Ren Hiramoto sucks on the ground. He is not a grappler. He is not a ground fighter at all. So I am going with Yaman in this one. Both of them are excellent kickboxers. Yaman is a motherfucker in K1, ladies and gentlemen. We got Rise versus K1. Kickboxer versus kickboxer. And I know this is an MMA fight. I know it is the debut for Yaman, but I'm telling you, Ren Hiramoto, he's not going to pull the same shit that his younger brother did. He's not going to pull the same shit as his younger brother did. Holy fuck, we have the US, we have the US junior game starting in an hour, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness. Um yeah, I cannot see Ren Hiramoto grappling in this one. I fucking love watching Yaman in kickboxing. Hiramoto has a record of 11 and 4 with 6 KOs in kickboxing. Yaman 14 and 4 with 7 KOs. <laughs> Let's go Yaman locking it in. UFC would never you'd never get a retirement email. <laughs> Or you'd get a retirement email. I don't even think they'd get a retirement email. Well, she's been with Ryzen since, uh, well, since she made the jump to MMA from wrestling, right? So she's been one of their quote unquote female stars, fan favorites. So the crowd loves her. And she's thanking them right now. Tony Ferguson needs a retirement email. Amen. Exactly that. Amen. Oh, man, this is awesome, Metallica fan. This is awesome, man. I love, I love, uh, I love uh, all, everything that Ryzen puts on in their show. I love the, the mid ceremonies. I love that they're actually like sending her off as she was one of their first again female stars. Record obviously doesn't uh doesn't show that, but but she was she had every single one of her fights in Ryzen as far as MMA. And then uh so Kikabara Sun is gonna be announcing some new fights. Uh the entire landmark, what is it, seven or eight, I believe. What about the herbs and uh, uh, Sato fight? Uh, I have Kleber Koike Herbs. He is the favorite now. I know. I know he's got no striking, but he has been training at ATT for this one for this camp. Uh, I think Saito's going to get subbed. I think Saito is going to get subbed. Saito is more well-rounded. He's the former champ. This is former champ versus former champ. Oh, man. W with how the underdogs have been winning tonight, I mean, this is not the worst underdog bet for Saito, but I got Kleber winning this one. I think Saito will start strong, but Kleber will eventually get this to the ground or roll to grab his ankle and pick him there. This is Sarah McMahon in the future. She looked horrible in her last fight. See, Team Sato, you should join me. Ah, I can't go against my original picks. Oh, she's got Morales in her corner. <laughs> Kidding. Oh, her dad's coming in here as well. It's cool to see. Hey, a nice send off. <laughs> she, those are actually pretty good odds. Those are actually pretty good odds. All right, Saki Kibarasa, now Metallica fan. 
now we can have some fights announced. Man, I need to get back in the win column. I need, I need all of my last fights to hit. Yeah, if, if my last, if all of the last fights, if my prediction hits in all the last fights, then I, then I'll end up ten and seven. Which hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. And even the ring card girls are like crying at Yamamoto's retirement here. It, it's truly like beautiful to see like how, uh, you know, again, a woman with an, a woman with a record like her, I mean, nothing special on paper has captivated the Japanese fans as much as she has. A six and eight fighter. And literally, the fans are crying as she's leaving the arena right now. Arsaki Kabara san making his announcements, man. Here we go. We got some new, we got some fights coming up here. All right, we're just listening in. A little slow on the translation, but that's okay. Okay, so he's saying thank you, everybody, and for all the support. Saki Kibarsan, by the way, looking fly as fuck as he usually does. I'm just uh, saying what's up to my boy Jay at Rush Hour Fight Club right now. Um, no one championship got the best fighter in her weight. Um, I think she. I think you're right. Oh, here we go. Ryzen Landmark in Saga. Nice. So they're announcing the next Landmark show here, guys. Just had to drop my buddy uh, Jay a like on his channel, guys. Uh, you know, I'm going to do the same for Pick'em. So right now they're announcing the next full card for the Landmark event. The next Landmark event. So far, it looks good. And so for those who don't know, uh, the... Oh, here we go. Ryzen Landmark 8 and Ryzen 46 back to back. Nice. And they got a ton of the fighters who are going to be on that card in the ring right now. So again, right now, guys, um, intermission is coming up here, and they are just announcing. Um, and they're just announcing some of the, the upcoming fights on Ryzen 46 and Landmark 8. Uh, are we going to get news from Juan? His hour bef before the fight should be nearly over. Oh, yo, what's up, man? Uh, 
Oh, what's up, Zlam? I just gave you some more info in the live chat, buddy. Let's go, man. Let's go. Yeah, no, the this looks like a. This looks like it will shape out to be a good card, and, and so they've done this before, where they'll do like two weeks in a row. They'll do like one week. They'll do the the numbered card, and then the next week the landmark card. And it looks like, and sometimes there might be like two weeks. Sorry, sometimes there might be like two weeks between. Um, yeah, it looks like they're doing it as like a package deal again, which is sweet. So again, before we go to the final intermission, um, they're just announcing some new fights. And uh, a lot of the fighters that are going to be involved in Ryzen 46, as well as the Landmark 8. And I can't believe already eight Landmark events, man. And for those who don't know the Landmark events, that's their cage. That's when they use the Ryzen cage. No problem, buddy. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. starting to fade ladies and gentlemen 5 a.m honestly the pacing of this card has been pretty good this is kind of the only lull going from heavyweight fight to women's mma to now fight announcements and an intermission but the last four fights on this card they should be absolute bangers man and i mean we still haven't got word of one or is going to be fighting yet so we'll see let's check twitter All right, I'm just checking Kaposa right now. So I haven't heard anything yet from Kaposa. Hmm. Again, guys, we're just looking to make sure that the Juan Archuleta fight's still happening. I'm still looking, guys. I'm still looking. Yeah, I haven't heard anything, guys. I'm looking on Twitter right now to see if Juan Archuleta is out, but we haven't got an announcement yet. I'm drinking an energy drink this morning. We're starting to get feel sleepy. Yeah, I'm going to get some coffee in me here. I got to stop drinking alcohol. It's 5 a.m. Not a coffee guy like you. Fair enough. I wish I had a Red Bull right now. I wish I had a Red Bull right now. You know what, though? Pretty good crowd here, Activate A. Pretty good crowd here for most of this stream. Um, a lot of folks that with Rush Hour and Jay right now and, and pick them, and hey, I don't blame them. I'm whispering here like a crazy person. Which of the Wrens do you got? <laughs> I got Yaman. I got Yaman for this one. I know Hiromoto has more MMA experience, but he sucks on the ground. And I don't think he's going to take this fight to the ground. I think I think this is going to be a stand-up affair, and I think Yaman gets it done. Oh, Jace, what's up, buddy? Uh, I got the pay-per-view for 14 bucks. Dario lost so far 
the underdogs have really did their thing. Japan's been amazing as usual. Yeah, do check out my picks. I need, I need every single fighter that I pick to win to go ten and seven. Yo, pick them. Oh, I had to get some coffee too. Yeah, dude, I've just been I've been sipping on the Japanese whiskey all night, freaking rush hour MMA style. And 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 the first World Junior Hockey game is about to start here in about ten minutes. It's it's been a crazy one. Yeah, we ride them, my man Sato and Kai. Let's go. Let's go. Pick'em, by the way, is also streaming. Uh, go stop by his stream. Say what's up. Go drop. Go drop by Jay's stream at rush hour and say what's up to him as well. All right, so there we go. Landmark 8, Ryzen 46. Card's already ready. Let's see if Tapology's up and already added this to their database. Oh, they have. They have. Good job. Shout out to Ryzen. Oh, man, Tapology is on it, bro. Not adding the full card, but. Luis Gustavo going up against Yoshiniro Hori. That's going to be an awesome one. Fugor Karimov against uh, Majima. That one's going to be good. They don't have 46 up yet. Oh, and here we go. Look at the champion Suzuki looking fly as fuck in that suit, ladies and gentlemen. Finally gets to address the Japanese crowd upon winning his belt in Azerbaijan. Hey, I'm glad you're here watching Ryzen with us too, brother. Fuck the Ryzen belt, so sick. Let's go, man. Yeah, Suzuki winning the belt, defying the odds, knocking out his opponent, Vugar, from the back, dude. And he won that in Azerbaijan, so that's cool that he's able to address the crowd here on New Year's Eve. Fucking rights, man. Oh, and he's calling out Kanahara? Mr. Showtime, not for a little while, buddy. This is the final intermission of the show, so probably another 20 or so minutes. Take a smoke break, refill your drink, refill your coffee. So, Jiro Suzuki, he won the featherweight championship in Azerbaijan. Japanese kid, Japanese kickboxing phenom, now MMA champion. So they wanted to they wanted to allow him to address the audience a little bit as well. All right, final intermission, guys. Final intermission. Thank freaking god. Um, about twenty or so minutes, I imagine, until the final two fights start. Guys, what is up, Junin? What is up, Junin? What's going on, brother? Joe Ferraro, by the way, from from uh, from Canada. Uh, free? I don't know, brother. Uh, if you join our here, I'll, I'll type it in live chat. I bought the pay-per-view. Yeah. 
Can we call them the last two bouts? Yes, sir. I will send you the link and you can jump on up for the last two for sure. Absolutely, Reaper Jones. Probably about 20 minutes. I mean, I hope not, but they might go to an intermission here. Because, yeah, they added one additional intermission on this card because there's so many fights. But four more fights left on the card. I hope they just go into it right away, but there might be a little bit of a break here. Okay, we're still just awaiting to see if they're going to go right to the fights or if there's going to be a little bit of an intermission. Yeah, dude, he got knocked out. He got knocked out. Here, I'll show you the link, or I'll show you the, the highlight. That's the knockout. Okay, so again, still still just waiting to see if the next fights are going to start here, if there's going to be a little bit of an intermission. Six hours in, and we got four more fights left to go, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, 10 minutes. 10 minutes and we're coming back. 10 minutes and we're coming back, guys. So we're going to take a quick break. I'm going to drain the main vein. I'm going to grab a quick snack. And then we will be back for the final four fights of the cars. Um, here, Gravedigger, I'll hook you up with the link here in the uh, before the break. And of course, they're showing Sidario uh, highlights. Yeah, and obviously not a fan of all these intermissions here, but 17 fight card, it, it makes sense. It makes sense. Oh, denials in the live chat as well, or in the Discord as well. And guys, Grave Digger Jones, Reaper Jones in the live chat. He's going to join for the last two fights and ride shotgun. Everyone, take a piss and get some food. They said break. Emil, I bought I buy the pay-per-view every single time. Yo, what's up, Hernan? Yo, wish I wish I could watch these fights with you, but I'm at work for the next three hours. Damn, bro. All right, 10 minutes. 10 minutes and the fights will begin. We're going to take a quick break. Don't worry. We're not going to take a full 10-minute break. We'll be back in about, about five to eight minutes. 
Um, again, guys, smash that like button if you haven't already. We will be right back after this break for the final four fights of the card. We will run down the fighters. I will give my opinion, and then I want to hear yours. Smash that like button, vote the poll question, and I'll see you folks on the other side. Ryzen 45. It ain't over. It ain't over. Back on the other side. Let's go.
ladies and gentlemen, back here early, early, early morning, 5.09 a.m. It's been a long one, ladies and gentlemen, six hours in, and we have four more fights on the card. That is right. We got the battle of the kickboxers. We have the battle of the Rens next. Hiramoto against Yaman. Broadcast is back. I should have plugged in my iPad. That was dumb. I'll do that here in a sec, guys. But um, yeah, Ren Yamamoto, or Hiramoto, my apologies. Not the best MMA fighter. Doesn't really have a ground game at all. His brother, we found out earlier on this card, has a ground game. But uh, he's a talented kickboxer. 11 and 4, 6 KOs. Primarily fought in Rise. Yaman fighting in K1. Seven KOs in his 14 and 11. I'm sorry, 14 and 4 kickboxing career. So Battle of the Kickboxers. No special rules in this one. This one is straight MMA. So being the underdog, I like Yaman here. This is my last underdog. Oh, no, my second to last underdog pick on this card. Assuming... Juan Gillette is actually fighting. I don't think Rene Hiramoto is going to utilize his ground game because there is no ground game. So uh, I got Yaw Man winning this one. I think he'll. I think he'll knock him out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. All right, cold open for this one is starting. Um, go with Yaman. man. And again, Reaper Jones, he'll be joining us live here for the last two fights, guys. Oh, give me one second. I'm going to plug in my iPad. There we go. No harm, no foul. Yeah. Arise and K1 kickboxer. Going at it here. Yaman, the showman. Against Ren Hiramoto. The bad boy yet. Crowd favorite, man. Uh, feels good getting through my shift with you. Love you, man. Love you too, Hernan. Thank you for so. Thank you for all the support you show this channel. Thank you for all the support that you show me, brother. Man. This has been a long one, but it's been fun, and I'm glad that you're here. Uh, you were here at the start of the card, and you're here at the end of the card. Again, Ren Hiramoto, guys. Like I said, just hasn't been able to uh to make the crossover to mixed martial arts with ease two and three as a pro um did lose a split decision to sato which honestly not a not a bad decision but but that's the thing i look at sato and i'm like really you you only beat you only beat ren hiramoto via split decision Lost to Chiro Suzuki. I mean, shout to Chiro Suzuki. He's the champion right now. And then lost to a three and three guy. Um, he did beat a thirteen and six and a two and two and one guy respectively. But let's be honest, not that great in MMA. So he's an interesting case because he he's got the hands, he's got the striking, but. Just seems like a lost puppy on the ground. Whereas Yaman is an absolute savage. Making his debut in mixed martial arts, but an absolute savage. Was he in a custom rules bout in his last Ryzen event? Okay, yeah. So he had a custom rules against Kotamura, right? And he beat him in the first round. Kickboxing, a 
So you know Stranger to Ryzen, this is his second time in Ryzen, or third time in Ryzen, kickboxing in a special rules boat in the last one. Yeah, I think Yao Man's just going to be too much of a savage in this one, dude. Oh my goodness, what the heck is this walkout? No complaints. And this is where Hank the Tank misses out. The Flamenco Girls. And here he is, Yaw Man, ladies and gentlemen. And Yaw Man with the crazy entrance with all the flamenco girls. Best entrance thus far for Yaw Man. Best entrance on the card thus far. With the freaking dubstep remix of Final. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yaman hasn't even walked out yet. All right, here he comes. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. What an absolute gangster. Well, that got my blood pumping. Freaking Hank is missing out on this one. Yep. What a freaking crazy walkout, dude. This is his MMA debut. All these girls are just like touching him and everything, too. He's like preparing for a fight here, walking down. <laughs> it's all about the show, man. Dude, he wins a walkout of the night, hands down, hands down. Yaman's yeah, walkout girls over the ring card girls in Ryzen. Am I right? So he's a kickboxer again, 14 and 4 in K well not in K1, but competing in K1 primarily. 14 and 4. Seven knockouts. And it says he's 1 and 0, oh, but he had a custom rules MMA fight. Wow, what a freaking walkout. Does the PFL have these kind of walkouts? No. They're going to get an angry letter by buzz killers. <laughs> what a walkout. What a freaking walkout. Yeah, I, I don't count that one and oh man with that custom rules boat. That walkout cost a ton of money. Bro, that walkout was freaking badass. You should get quieter as the time goes. <laughs> that is true. This is why I love this guy. He knows what I like. Zach, thanks so much for joining, brother. Appreciate you. <laughs> Yeah, man, dude. What a beauty. All right, Hiromoto now making his walkout. Also, I'm getting tired, more tired and more tired as the time goes to. Oh, damn. 
What the heck is Ren wearing here? Full on New West attire. Oh shit, that horn got me. You had it on a higher volume. Did I? It's just so much louder than me whispering. <laughs> now we're awake. Yeah, I'm starting to feel I can't wait to hit the hay. Hopefully we see some good finishes in those last ones. Oh, no, I had you on higher because you were whispering. Oh, got you, got you. Yeah, sorry about that. I turned down the Jamaican horns. All right, we got balls of fire, and we got Ren Hiramoto walking out with limited vision here. So hopefully he doesn't trip and fall. Ren Hiramoto doing his best Kanye West impression here, guys. And it was cool to see him supporting his brother earlier in the earlier in the card. Oh, he has he has a Shinotsuka in his corner as well, who won earlier tonight. Is he cosplaying Kanye West? Yeah. This, these are walkouts for a guy who's 1-0 and with a custom rules match and a 2-3 and guy, bro. I love this league. I absolutely love this league. Dude, is, is the one Archuleta fight canceled? I still haven't heard if he made the wait. No, I mean, the, the, the broadcast is swooning over Ren Hiramoto and look like he's a good kickboxer, bro, but he hasn't done shit in MMA right now to convince me that this is the path he's going to succeed in next. Especially with Yaman looking dialed. All right, Ren Hiromoto being looked at by the cup man, and then he will enter the ring. I missed the confession series on, well, I didn't miss it. It obviously was posted, but I didn't watch the confession series of his, but I should check it out. All right, here we go, guys. Ren Hiramoto is entering the ring. Okay, I got Yaman winning this one. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. Again, guys, sorry for whispering. It's freaking 5.23 a.m. right now. It is what it is. I don't want to wake up my household. They deserve an extra, they just, they deserve at least two more hours of sleep. And by the way, big shout out to the real hockey fans who are watching the Americans play right now, World Junior Hockey Championship. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Ren Hiramoto, 25 years old. Yaman, 27. MMA, two kickboxing guys collide. Funny how it's early morning for you guys. It's 9.24 p.m. here. Yeah, it's it's bright and early. This walkout got me feeling like I'm watching a main event headliner. I know it's a guy who's 1-0 and and a guy who's freaking 2-3. and three. I love it. All right, they're about to, they're about to be announced in the ring. And then we will get to it. These are these were long, longer than typical walkouts too. <laughs> these 
for these two. First official yawn. Big yawn. Isha, this is a normal UFC card for us Euro guys. You'll get used to it if it was regular to be fair. Oh, yeah. I feel like I, I I would handle it better than most North Americans, but yeah, that's crazy. You guys are you guys are hardcores, man. That's why for anyone who rips like the UK fans, like you guys are unreal for staying up so late or so early all the time. So that's why I don't complain. That's why I don't complain. I'm just blessed to be able to watch this sport. Absolutely. All right, let's go, baby. Round one is upon us. Three five-minute rounds, but someone's getting finished, man. Someone's getting finished. Let's get it all. Let's get it all. Oh, and yeah, man comes out swinging. Ren Hiramoto, he's got the, well, he's got small legs, but he got a big ass torso. They clinch here. Ren Hiramoto looking for the takedown. And Yaman getting tangled up in the ropes here, but Ren, yeah, Ren Hiramoto looking for the takedown. Yaman right back up to his feet. Yaman already bleeding under his right eye. Hiramoto with the right hand in the clinch here. Pushing Yaman up against the cage. Damn it. Up against the corner of the ropes. Clinching here. Yaman. A lot smaller than Ren Hiramoto. Bow one. What's up, brother? Yeah, already cut under his right eye. High kick attempt by Hiramoto. They're separated on their feet. Three minutes and 45 seconds. Good to see you, Falwon. How are you this morning? You watching any hockey? I know the, the American game just started. Three minutes and 25 seconds on the clock. Oh, good knee by Hiramoto in the clinch. Left by Yaman. Knee by Hiramoto. Hiramoto utilizing those knees in the clinch. Nice right elbow by Yaman. Both of them exchanging knees in the clinch. Oh, and Hiramoto, good reversal there, but Yaman breaks it. What's up, dude? Thank you so much for becoming a member. Oh, and some big shots by Ren Hiramoto. Ren with the left, Ren with the right, and Yaman clinches up. Yaman pushing Hiramoto. Into the corner of the ring. Knee to the body by Yaman. Yo, to our newest member, welcome. Click this to join our Discord. Ooh, outside low kick by Yaman. They separate here. One minute and 54 seconds on the clock. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Oh, and yeah, man throws a right and a left, and Randy Hermoto lands a right as well. Thank you for the membership, buddy. Nice kick to the body by Randy Hermoto. Each of them throws some feints, a swing and a miss by Yaman yeah, with the left. Oh, 
one minute and 14 seconds on the clock. Inside the light kick by Yaman and Ren Hiromoto lands a right in the counter. Each of them land a right. Each of them land a left. Each of them land a right. And Ren Hiromoto lands a big shot on Yaman. High kick by Ren Hiromoto. They clinch. Yaman pushing Hiromoto into the corner of the ring. After this one, buddy. Separates. 50 seconds left on the clock here. Inside low kick by Hiromoto. Ooh, nice left by Hiromoto. Yaman with the inside low kick. Again, thank you, Pickham. Thank you, Vlokiv. And thank you, Mr. Moldovanov. Moldovanov. Big knees in the clinch here. By Hiromoto. And that is it for round one. Honestly, man, no problem, buddy. No problem. What a good first round, man. What a good first round. Damn, dude. In a little cut under the eye of Yaman. Hiromoto's landed the better shots, though. Yaman's just swinging like a crazy person. Whereas... Ren Hiromoto is actually landing his shots clean. Yaman did land some good shots in this one, but yeah, for the most part, Hiromoto is landing on his mark. And Yaman just looking for that big knockout strike. Good first round by Hiromoto. He's doing a good job in the clinch, too. And taking Yaman down, and Yaman just a little cut under his right eye. All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Center of the ring. Yaman pushes forward. Oh, Hiromoto with a straight left. Hiromoto with the takedown. Hiromoto takes the back of Yaman. Yaman right back up to his feet. Four minutes and 36 seconds on the clock. Sorry I'm whispering, guys. It's just so early where I'm at. It's 5.30 a.m. and I don't want to wake up my roommates. But we will continue to stay up throughout the rest of this event, I promise you. Four minutes and 20 seconds on the clock in the second round. Yaman with a knee to the body. Yaman pushing Hiromoto up against the corner of the ring and a right hand by Yaman. They separate. Oh, and a nice one-two by Hiromoto, and he engages in the clinch again. Yaman with the break of the right elbow. Hiromoto on the back foot. Yaman with the right to the body. Inside low kick by Yaman. Oh, big left hand by... Hiromoto. Oh, another big left by Hiromoto. Yaman, keep your hands up, brother. Yaman engages in the clinch here, and Hiromoto with that big takedown. Hiromoto with a good trip takedown, three minutes on the clock. Now Yaman is making some precise striking. Yeah, but he got taken down right after. Near Hiromoto can move to mount, but he took too long, man. He took too long. And this is not where Yaman is going to thrive, man. Hiromoto on side control. Oh, sorry, uh, half guard. Right hand by Hiromoto. 
Yaman desperately trying to get back up to his feet, but Hiramoto controlling him now. And Yaman, caught it for a second. Hiramoto drags him back to the ground. Yaman back to his feet. Hiramoto has the body lock. Yaman trying to break the grip. Two minutes on the clock. Reversal by Yaman now pushing Ren up against the corner. One minute, 58 seconds on the clock. And the ref separates them. I like this ref. Inside light kick by Yaman. Yaman with the right. He eats a right of Hiramoto. He eats another straight right of Hiramoto. One minute, 20 seconds on the clock. Oh, Yaman with the left. Hiramoto with the right. Yaman with the right. Hiramoto with the left. Hiramoto with the double hooks. Oh, knee to the body by Ren Hiramoto. They clinch. Yaman pushing Hiramoto into the corner of the ring. Knee to the body by Yaman. Another knee to the body by Yaman. 45 seconds on the clock. And they separate. Oh, knee to the body by Ren Hiramoto. And Ren Hiramoto just, just bodies his way to the ground. Just bullies his way to the ground here. Landing in modified half guard side control. Twenty seconds on the clock here. Let's see if Ren Hiramoto can do any damage. There's a nice right hand as he postures up. Still in half guard. And that is it for the second. Man, another good round for Ren Hiramoto. Big, you know, he's got a big hill to climb. Does Yaman. Damn, man. Ren Hiramoto looks good. It looks good using that body lock trip takedown. And Yaman, he's landing one shot, but then he's taking like three others. So I, I like Ren Hiramoto. All right, here. Third and final round. Let's get it all! And yeah, man, he needs a knockout, man. Let's go. Round number three. Ooh, a nice left by Hiromoto. Oh, they're just swinging in the pocket. Excited to see Reaper's appearance. Yes, sir. His team telling him not to attempt a takedown is stupid. Four minutes and 35 seconds. Oh, a nice left by Yaman. Yaman with the right hand. He hurt Hiromoto. And Hiromoto's taking him right back down to the ground. Yaman desperately trying to get back up to his feet here. Kind of in an awkward position. Yaman tagged Hiramoto some big shots there, and Hiramoto dragging him back down to the ground. Hiramoto with a knee on Yaman. Yaman back up to his feet. Hiramoto with the body lock. Yeah, man, looking to break that grip and spin out of it. Yeah, man, 
And yeah, man, that Condry's right eye is really opened up again. Jockeying for position here in the corner of the ring. Ren Hiramoto just will not let go, let go of that body lock, but this ref has been quick to separate them, and he's going too quick here. And there it is. The ref, I love this ref. And the ref's calling a timeout so that Yam, the doctor can look at Yaman's eye. Oh, it's also swelling up on that right side. The doctor's just taking a look at it here. They're both going to get... Yeah, it looks nasty. Oh, he's got, he's got a cut right above his eyebrow as well. So he's going under and above. That right eye is fucked. All right, they're good to go. Here we go. Let's get it all! Three minutes on the clock. Ooh, nice high kick by Ren Hiramoto. Knee by Ren. And I will say Ren doing a good job of mixing in the mi mixing in the wrestling, man, mixing in the grappling, the takedowns. And Yaman trying to land big shots, breaking off the clinch. Yaman throw throws a big right elbow, swing and a miss. Oh, big right hand by Ren Hiramoto. Yaman yeah, stalking him down. Yaman yeah, with a right. Oh, nice one two by Ren Hiramoto. Left by yet Ren Hiramoto. Dude, Yaman's yeah, gassed, man. Yaman's yeah, gassed. Ren Hiramoto with the left. Yaman's yeah, not able to land his march here. Two minutes on the clock. And Yaman yeah, needs to break. He needs to break. He can't waste any more energy here in the clinch. Yaman yeah, breaks Ren Hiramoto with the right uppercut and the left. Swing and a miss by Yaman yeah, with that left hook. And again, good job by Ren Hiramoto here, guys. Oh, right elbow by Yaman. Yeah, One minute and 33 seconds on the clock. Yaman yeah, swinging a miss with that left hook. Oh, Ren here, Moto with a nice left. Ren with a knee in on the clinch. Oh, right uppercut by Yaman. Yeah, Good head movement by Ren. Duck and roll, man. Duck and roll. There it is again. 55 seconds on the clock. Oh, right hand by Yaman. Knee to the body by Ren Hiramoto. Right hand by Yaman. Knee to the body by Ren Hiramoto. 42 seconds on the clock. Thirty seconds. Oh, left and a right by Hiramoto. Left by Yaman. Yaman landed a big left there. Oh, Yaman missed the big right hand 20 seconds on the clock what a good third round oh yeah man there's a left and a right and these are some of the best shots that yeah man has thrown and landed this entire fight but too little too late and that is it ladies and gentlemen good fight man good fight Ren Hiramoto, he just he just did uh he did he did more. He did more. He did enough to win. Awesome fight. Absolutely. Absolutely. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. I'm I'm I know I know it's not against an MMA guy, but uh Ren Hiramoto, I'm impressed that he was using some of his wrestling and employing it nicely in this one. That was a freaking brawl. Oh. 
starting to fade a little bit. All right. Former champ versus former champ next. But let's await the official decision. Yeah, and respect to y'all, man. It's still wobbling. Yeah, Ren Hiromoto. <laughs> Being cooked on my predictions, dude. Good display of respect between these guys. And oh, yeah, man, he's, he's not happy with himself. Oh, I'm getting cooked, man. I'm getting cooked on my predictions. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, man is absolutely bawling in his corner right now. He couldn't get it done. He couldn't get it done. Oh, man, you had a good brawl, but you had a good brawl. And a clean sweep for the Hiromoto brothers, guys. A clean sweep for the Hiromoto brothers. We got another crier. No, I mean, honestly, man, yeah, man, first, first mixed martial arts fight, he, he did it. He did it. Okay, we're about to find out if Juan Archuleta made the weight. How crazy is that? Juan Archuleta made 150 pounds an hour before the fight. Gotta love these fake ass non-existent Japanese athletic commissions. Oh, man, yeah, man, it's just pissed. They gonna announce it. Everybody second round sub, yeah, I, I think he's gonna get the sub. Yo, what's up, buddy? Still going, still going. I mean, freaking Kaya Sakura is waiting ringside for the freaking announcement, too. Yeah, dude, he is bawling. Anyways, Ren Hiromoto is addressing the audience right now. Volcan, it's good to see you back in the chat, buddy. Great to see you back in the chat. And Metallica fan, thank you so much for staying up with us, man. Oh, Ren Hiromoto drops the mic. Man, Saitama Super Arena looks massive. So he gave a shout out to Asakura and he's thanking everyone for, for coming out. Thanks, we're good to see you all back too. That was a good win, man. That was a good win. I'm getting cooked on predictions, but hey, that's rising, baby. I wish you could buy Ryzen Merchant with Maker. I know, dude. I want them green gloves so bad. Yeah, that was a brawl, man. Not the most technical fight, but that was a freaking brawl. Okay, I need Horiguchi, Asakura, and Clever to win here. To say, to just get me to 500. Okay, we're listening in for the announcement. Is Juan Archuleta going to fight? Did he make weight?
That's a good question. We're about to find out. Oh, come on. Tell us, Ryzen. Tell us. They're making up rules on the fly. So we'll see. He made the weight. He made the weight. <laughs> He's getting his hand wrapped. Okay, so to answer the question, Archuleta cannot, he was still stripped. So Archuleta was, was stripped, only Asakura can win the title. Say to decision incoming. Do you think Horiguchi would beat Shinryu? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. XXY, thank you so much for joining. Yeah, I think Horiguchi is just too big of a test for the young prospect. And I do think that Horiguchi will beat him. I'd say Juan is getting finished. That That's my prediction, man. I, that's what I predicted yesterday before even the weight issues. All right, well, there we go. We had our we had our questions answered. Now time for the next fight here. We have the former champ. The former champ in Yutaka Sato, 21 wins, 7 losses, 2 draws. Or no contest. Anyways, he's two and three in his last five. Won his last fight again, a split decision against Ren Hiramoto, before then lost three and a row. Five KOTKOs, two submissions, 14 decisions, four and three in Ryzen, 17, three and two in freaking Shuto, man. Also 21 and 8, 15 and 3, and 19 and 8. Before then, he did beat Vuga Karamov. That's a very good win, split decision. Beat Asakura's brother and beat a 14 and 1. Uh, Kazumasa Majima, who was 14 and 1, like I said at the time, he beat him via freaking soccer kicks, man. Uh, Takishi Inoue beat as well. Again, former champ against former champ, baby. Clever Kuipe Erps, 31 wins, 7 losses. He's the huge favorite in this one. Two KOT goes, 27 submissions, 2 decisions, 1 disqualification. He's 6 1 1 Horizon, 5 and 2 in KSW, 0 1 in Bellator. No contest against Jiro Suzuki, but he did beat him. He got stripped of the title for uh, missing weight in the. Um, and then loss to Bansanori uh, Kenehara. And Kenehara is actually going to be fighting Suzuki next for the title. But again, lost to Patricio Pitbull. No contest, but won that one. And then lost to Kenehara. Unanimous decision. Before then was on a crazy, crazy run. But again, didn't really beat the best competition. Uh, fought in one's Japanese series. Before coming over to Ryzen. And I mean, he had a very good run in KSW, but he lost to Matthews Gamrod, who dethroned him. Anyways, or sorry, he tried to dethrone Gamrod, but, but couldn't do it. Anyways, I'm going against our, the grain in the chat here for this one. I am going to go with Kleber Kweke Erps, ladies and gentlemen. Saito's making his walk to the cage, or sorry, to the ring right now. Man, I've had a lot of slip ups. Probably because it's freaking 6 a.m. Saito, I think, is going to get subbed. Probably end of the first round, maybe second round. 
Um, I just think a split decision against like Ren Hiromoto when you're the former champion of all that experience. I mean, that's not good. That's not a good look. Uh, this isn't necessarily a layup for Clever Quique Erps, but his, this, this is going to set up his path back to the title. Um, again, former champion from against former champion Basato. He's far removed from his championship form, in my opinion. I think Sato will start strong, but fade early, and Clever will take advantage of him and submit him. Now, I know Clever has been training at ATT. He has been working on his striking for this one. I don't think he's going to stand and bang with him. Um, I got Clever winning this one. That's my pick. Juan does not look well. He has been through three promotions, Bellator, KSW, and Ryzen. He's great in two promotions. He lost in Bellator. He'll make a comeback against Sato. Yeah, and the Bellator was the Bellator versus Ryzen card. And Sato, the two-time Shuto featherweight champion, as well as Ryzen champ as well. And not a lot of theatrics for Sato in this one. He's quick walk to the ring as we get ready for action here. Kleber walking out next. All right, I know. Oh, excuse me. I know Activate A, he's got Sato decision incoming. You pick Sato to win, eh? And you have a little money riding on him. Let's go. All right, Clever making his walk out now, guys. And yes, Adriano Morales in his corner here. He flew out to Japan to support his boy. Or maybe not in his corner, but he flew out to Japan to support him. Had a bonsai jujitsu. He's got Susa in his corner walking out with him. Yeah, Susa, another Japanese Brazilian. Okay, no more is in his corner. I was I was teasing uh, Twitter. I was saying I was hoping Adriano would. Uh, would announce his departure from one and him signing and rising on this card. It's uh, Kleber's making his walkout right now. Look, Sousa looks big. All right, here we go. Making his walk to the ring right now. In his gi is clever. Quick gay herbs. Twenty seven submissions, man. Thirty or twenty seven submission. That's crazy. He made weight. Let's go. Yeah, I actually did this camp at American Top Team. Uh, no problem, Revan. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't think he's going to get into a striking brawl with this guy, but definitely, definitely got a game plan together there at ATT. And if he wins this one, I mean, he's one fight away from the title after that. All right, here we go. Removing his belt, removing his gi. And yeah, I, 
I don't think this goes into the third. I think Herbs gets him out of it in, in either the first or the second. Oh, shoot. One sec. Sorry, guys. My freaking morning alarm went off. My 6 a.m. morning alarm went off. Because it's freaking 6 a.m. We've been streaming for seven hours straight, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. That shit beautiful than a motherfucking. All right, we got two more fights after this one, ladies and gentlemen. Featured fight is upon us. Then we got our co-main event in the main. Let's go, baby. Herbs entering the ring now. Again, appreciate every single one of every single one of you joining us for Ryzen 45 this New Year's Eve. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload. And subscribe to the channel. We are whispering because it's freaking 6 a.m. We've been up all night. My roommates be sleeping. Just trying to be respectful to them, which is why I'm talking like a crazy person. But I am pumped. We are awake. Let's fucking go, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Clapper's had quite a bit more fights. Seven more fights than Quique. Or sorry, uh, ten more fights than, uh, than Sato. But again, former champ versus former champ. Sato a little bit more well rounded. However, we know we know clever what he does best. I think he subs him. Let's go, Sato. All right, fighters are being announced in the center of the ring. And then we'll get right into this one. Damn it. I can't stop the yawns. All right, Sato was just announced. All right. In the red corner. Still, there are 27 submissions, man. Unbelievable. Made weight. Looks like he's in shape. Did his training camp at ATT. All right, let's go. Japan versus Brazil and Japan. <laughs> Referee giving them their instructions, and let's get to round freaking one, ladies and gentlemen. Quick touch of gloves, height and reach advantage for Clever, but Sato, he's more, he's more of a thick boy as far as the muscle. And here we go. Let's get it all. No glove touch to start from Sato. Center of the ring, four minutes and 45 seconds on the clock. Outside low kick by Kleber. Four minutes and 29 seconds. Both of them light on their feet. Oh, low kick by Kleber. Oof, that was a 
big shot of the cup of Sato. Ouch. Oh, Sato just got kicked in the balls there, man. He's taking it like a champ, but. Oh, yeah. Square in the cup. Yeah, Sage is gonna take some time here, as he should. That was that was a that was a big shot. Good morning, good morning. How's the game so far? I've been missing it. That is one sound I don't want to hear below the belt. Sato's got a good poker face, man. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're back at it. Sato's good to go. Not even a minute into this. Clever actually looks loose on his feet right now. Low kick again, checked by Sato. Three minutes and 55 seconds. Clever with the high kick. Clever with the low kick again. Sato pressuring. Oh, Sato, the right hand caught the left, or caught the right leg of Clever for a moment. Uh, Kai is my pick. Get Darce choked. Another low kick by Clever. Inside leg kicks there. Clever shakes his head at this one. Man, two minutes in, we already two kicks to the balls. Oh, ouch. Uh, get Darce Choke. Good to see you, buddy. And again, guys, big, loud shots. And again, guys, sorry, sorry, uh, sorry if I sound like a crazy fuck. We are whispering because it's 6.08 a.m. and I don't want to wake up my roommates. <laughs> 2 1 for the States and McGrady scored. Let's go. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. I mean, I knew this would be a fun game. getting a stern stern warning all right and they're back at it three minutes and ten seconds on the clock good to see you too I'm picking Juan with his weight issues and him being sick and having to weigh in and make the weight an hour before the show, dude. I don't know. But he could wrestle fuck his way to another decision. Two minutes and 41 seconds. Look for the left body shot as Sato didn't land. Inside low kick again by Clever. Ooh, outside low kick by Sato. Clever super light on his feet right now. Sato the one pressuring him. Sato the one throwing him, but not landing much. Body kick by Clever.
Man, Clemmer hasn't even looked for an entry once, mind you. There's been a bunch of nut shots, and the flow of this fight hasn't really started yet. And Sato just throwing an air so far, man. Kai's been TKO'd three out of his four losses. That scares me too much to pick him. Yeah, but Juan Archuleta has won his last four fights via decision or split decision. I don't think Juan's going to scrap with him, even if he didn't make weight. Oh, good little exchange there. And Kleber fell to his back here. Kleber looking for an ankle. Up kicks by a clever. At least he's looking for it. But fair enough, buddy. Sato kicking the legs here, but doesn't want doesn't want to mess with Clever's ground game. Back up to his feet. Fifty five seconds on the clock. Oh, what a nice right hand by Clever. Do Clever's throwing here? He had like fever. Um, and he missed weight by 5.6 pounds and then rise and changed the rules and said they'll allow him to fight if he makes weight an hour before the fight. And he just made weight. Clever with the left hand. Clever saying, Why are you dancing around? Let's fight. No, they're fighting. They're fighting. I'm calling the fight. Oh, nice work, Anna Maceto. Outside low kick by Sato. And that's it for the first round. Weird first round. It felt like it lasted so long because of the freaking kicks to the balls. Now, each of them landed some good shots there, but I did not expect expect a clever to be the one engaging in the striking can't hear anything new here too loud fair enough buddy fair enough let's go let's go hey thank you buddy appreciate you <laughs> absolute beauty again usually i talk in like a normal fucking human voice oh like 30 hours a week 20, 20 to 30 hours a week. Every weekend, buddy. Every weekend. All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it. And I swear I don't fucking whisper for every single one, but again, my roommates are sleeping and we've been at 6 13 a.m. on a freaking Sunday. <laughs> Saito, let's go. What's up, MMA Logsmith? Clever was looking for an entry there. Clever back. Oh! Sato checked the leg kick and fell backwards. Four minutes and 34 seconds on the clock. Dude, Clever's striking is look too bad here. Outside leg kick again. Clever swinging with ill intention here. Clever finds his entry looking for the takedown and he gets it. Clever gets the takedown here. Four minutes and 16 seconds on the clock. Everything, Zach. Everything. BKFC, bare knuckle, boxing, submission grappling, Muay Thai, kickboxing, and MMA, man. Anything that might... I'm a fucking junkie, man. I'm going to fucking put combat sports in my veins all day, every day. I'm a junkie when it comes to combat sports. I stream and watch everything. everything. If Lethway was legal right now, I'd watch it too. But uh, yeah, we do as much as we can, Zach. As much as we can, buddy. Three minutes and 36 seconds on the clock. Clever. Top position here. Good butterfly guard attempt by Sato. Sato looking to push Clever off. Clever. Feet planted here, trying to re-enter the guard. Right back up to his feet is Sato and Clever with the body lock. Or sorry, with the underhooks here. He's got the lock. He's looking for that trip takedown. 
Nice takedown by Clever, but he lands on his back. Good reversal by Sato, but now he's in the guard of Clever here. Two minutes and 51 seconds. Uh, I do, but I, I do, but our live chat is way more active than I am. I, I'm, I'm more of just a fan of the sport than I am a sports gambler, but our live chat goes ham. Our, our community here, they're hardcores when it comes to uh, betting on MMA. But I did give my picks and predictions for this one. Two minutes and 19 seconds on the clock. Still working in the guard of Erbst is Sato. Sato landing some decent ground and bound. Two minutes and five seconds in the second round. Not, not able to get anything going here is Quique Erbst. He's looking for a freaking... They're striking each other from... The, the ground here. I mean, Sato with the hammer fist and Quique Herbs is throwing punches from the back here as his guard is so tight. Not sure if this is the best game plan here, striking from the ground. And Herbs, especially since Sato is posturing up in his guard. Oh, big shots from Sato in the guard here. Sato with some big hammer fists. Clippers going to have to readjust, man. Oh, Clever going for the armbar? Clever going for the armbar? Oh, shots on the bottom? Clever trying to pull the wrist back and throw shots. I said he's willing to stay on his back. Rumors Connor fights Dustin for the fourth time. Great. Honestly, I'd, I would rather see Connor and Chandler. Clever. 45 seconds on the clock. Opened up his guard here. Trying to raise it out of into a triangle or sneak in that arm bar, but he's taking some big shots by Sato in the top position. Oh, no, that'd be a shit fight. <laughs> oh, he's got the arm. Clever's got the arm. Straight arm bar attempt doesn't get a good job getting out by Sato. Oh, good job by Clever. Beautiful transition by Clever there, right into side control. Clever in the top position. 10 seconds on the clock. No submission attempts in these final 10 seconds, but a great reversal by Clever. And that is it for the second round. Good fight, man. Good close fight. Good back and forth fight. Dude, Hiromoto won. Hiromoto won. It was an absolute brawl. Hiromoto won decision. Both the Hiromoto brothers win on this card. Ren. Uh, yeah, Ren and whoever beat Yushi Sakura. Close fight activate. A close fight. Clever's not out of it yet, but if uh, Sato has a strong... Third round, he could pull this one out. KO or submission. Oh, the beautiful butterfly sweep. Just too little too late in that round. Sato's wearing more damage despite uh, Erp's uh, fighting from the bottom. Third and final round. Oh, and a left hand by Sato. Erb's looking for the takedown. He's got the body lock. Drags Sato to the ground. Trapping the leg. Looking to reverse Sato back up to his feet, but again, Erb's takes him to the ground, but Sato gets right back up to his feet. 
herbs with knees to the body, herbs with that body lock still. And Sato separates. Oh, and Sato goes for the takedown, but Herbs grabs the neck. Reverse guillotine. Rolling, and Herbs gets the top position here right into modified half guard side control. Great reversal by Herbs with the guillotine and rolled right into the top position. Dar stroke, dar stroke. Herbs is yelling right now. Quique still trying to cinch up this Dars here. Holy fuck, Saito's out. Oh my god, he was out for a while, dude. Quique wins. Third round submission. Dude, that was scary, man. That was scary. He was out for a while. He was out for a while. Quick Arabs is dragging him back up. He's like half freaking asleep still. Good fight, man. Good fight. Good back and forth. Good pace to it. No, man. Saito was close to winning a decision and. Herbs is just that dangerous. Nice star stroke. And he put him to freaking sleep, man. And there it is. His path back to the title is, is starting to get repaved. Close, man. 32 wins in his MMA career and his 28th submission, ladies and gentlemen. So he pulls the guillotine for the reversal, which was super smart. It's crazy that in the first round, Glover actually wanted to work his striking and, and Sato was getting the better of him. He lost because he went for a takedown minus 100 IQ. He went for the takedown. He got caught. Clipper reversed. I was able to find that dar stroke. Because uh, he was he was fighting it like a near perfect game plan against Kuike in the first and second round and kind of just well blew it in the third. Saito didn't look bad, though. Saito didn't look bad. Gets the submission again, man. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We have our guest here. He's been in the chat all night, and now he's joining us live here. Reaper Jones, what is up, buddy? Hello, Reaper. My name is Rick. And hello, everybody, uh, the C Live Project. My name is Richard Jones, and I'm coming here live in Montgomery, Alabama, for the co-main event. That is Juan Archulela versus Kai Asukara. How excited are you for this? Uh, for these last two fights, with with you know all the weight issues aside, how excited are you for these last two fights? Oh, I'm ready for it. This is going to be. Even though Archulella is now is now stripped from his title, there's going to be a chance if Asakawa would would attain the RFF Bantamweight Championship. Mostly my odds, mostly my odds for on this prediction is Archuleta by TKO slash TKO on round two. He's been doing. Yeah, I think I think Asakura is going to take it. I think As I was confident that he was going to take it. I thought he was. I think he was gonna maybe take out Archuleta TKO as well. But with the health issues, with the weight issues, I'm leaning towards Asakura in this one. 
Yeah, I was really heartbroken when he asked where he where he got stripped, and you probably and he definitely ain't gotta get back get back now, but soon. But now he going, but even so, he gotta prove himself that he still get another chance if he's going to get it back again sometime in the future. Yeah, I mean, this was such an important like defense for him because that would have like solidified him going against like the champion in the PFL, right? Because in the PFL they're doing like Bellator champs, and well, now in this case. Ryzen and Bellator champ, well, was anyways, up against their champion. So if he would have solidified another title defense, he would have been able to stamp his ticket in a money fight against, you know, a champion oh, definitely. in the PFL. Yeah, but get Darsto. Juan Archuleta doesn't have many knockout victories. That's what I'm saying. Matchup wise, that's why I'm picking him, dude. Like, oh, I can see that. KO he mostly games. ended up with with more split. Split in unanimous decisions more than TKOs recently in his career. Yeah. So that's why I get Darstroke. Like if if you look at just the fights here, between twenty it was yeah. His last KO was in twenty eighteen. Oh or sorry, sorry. Yeah. He did get one here in twenty nineteen, the overhand right against uh Dantes, but like he's just been wrestle fucking his way to decisions, which is again why I thought, again, he would probably be just aggressive with the pressure. And as Sakura's path to victory was a counter shot there. But again, I'm, I'm not disputing that uh, Asakura doesn't necessarily have the best chin. What I'm saying is I didn't think Archuleta was going to turn this into a boxing fight at all. Um, all right. In the main event of the evening, we got the young Shinryu, former Cage Fury FC title holder. He relinquished that belt to be able to fight for this one. He also is the deep champion. Uh, what do you like about the young Shinryu up against the veteran Horiguchi? I heard of a lot of things about about Makoto Shinryu and his and his run and his run in Bellator MMA versus Ryzen Two. Mostly, it was. I mean, I like I like his submission submission on the right tr in the arm triangle choke, and and his submission win at uh, Cage Fury FC. If I remember, if I remember correctly, it was yep. Smith versus St. Louis. And he, he dominated in that fight, and that's the thing for me. Like I I think Shinryu is a great Japanese prospect. He he has to start developing his striking a little bit better because in any of the fights that he's looked good with his striking, like his opponents have been trash. <laughs> but winning a belt in North America in Cage Fury is huge. Becoming the deep champion is huge. We see a lot of guys who uh, are the deep champions and a lot of women who are the deep champions come over to Ryzen and do well. I just think Horiguchi is A, his biggest test like by far. And Horiguchi still has a lot of gas left in the tank. Mm. Yeah, and mostly from from his late from his last match from Bellator MMA versus Ryzen Two, also known as Super Ryzen Two, he his his match and mostly of all our most anticipated match was Kyoji Hiraguchi, and mostly that ended with a no contest via by accidental eye poke in round one. Yeah, and talk about a buzzkill, right? To end off that first part of the Super Ryzen card in the Bellator vs. Ryzen. And so we are getting the quote unquote rematch, but it's a rematch where, like, it's less of a rematch than Bilal and Edwards, where, like, Leon Edwards was actually beating up Bilal Muhammad in the UFC, whereas in this one, there was barely a fight. Like, they, they neither of them really even threw a strike on each other. Oh, here he is. So, what is Manny going to say now? Manny Pacquiao is entering the... Are they finally announcing a Manny Pacquiao fight in Ryzen? And the question is, which number, Ryzen? Is it going to be 46 or 47? Yeah, because the whole 46 card hasn't been announced yet, but uh, it was last year they announced Pacquiao was going to be fighting in Ryzen. 
Yeah, that was in Ryzen 40. Next year. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather? Again? Really? What? What? Wait a minute. I mean, it it was it was ten years too late the first time. Now now we're doing it ten years later again. <laughs> hey, at least it's wait, better than tension. Wait. At least it's better than tension. Oh, it's Floyd Mayweather. Oh, sweet mother of mercy. <laughs> oh, leave it to Ryzen, buddy. Leave it to Ryzen. Oh boy. One looks healthy. I mean. We ha I haven't really seen him yet, but he made the weight, dude. So, Juan Archuleta is going to go for the wrestling again. God, I wish they brought Floyd here as well. <laughs> All right, so no Nate Diaz. No Nate Diaz, but we have Pacquiao versus Mayweather 2 in Ryzen. Oh, boy, this is going. This is either going to be a hood or a snooze fest. I hope they make it kickboxing. <laughs> but I do know. But but getting back to Juan Archuleta, mostly you try to do like a, a quick uh, weight cut there. So my question is, is he actually going to going to last through the whole bout yeah and and i mean lucky for him ryzen doesn't have five round <laughs> title fights right so oh, it'll, thank goodness it'll, it's only going it, to be three by five minute rounds yeah it's only gonna be three rounds um and it's, it's just with, with this storyline it's just gonna be interesting because we, we'll Juan Archuleta do what he usually does and just constant pressure, constant pressure, utilize his great cardio to be able to wear down opponents. In this case, like he's already worn out, man. He's already put his body through hell in a weight cut where he was sick and was fighting an illness and had to cut the rest of the weight. Man. He had to cut the rest of the weight to make to 150. But uh, he looks like he's in good spirits. He's bouncing around yeah. and they're ready to make their walkouts now. It looks like he's ready to go. He looks like he's ready to go. And now we're going to and now we're going to be kind well, mostly they mostly the Japanese commentary is going to have is going to have some comments about about one's one's condition and mostly and most he still looks he looks prime. He looks primed. No, he looks good. He looks good. Is Manny really fighting Floyd? I don't believe that. Yeah, dude, they just announced that. They just announced that. that yeah, they fighting. announced it. Man, Pac-Man versus Floyd Mayweather, the seek the sequel under the banner of Rising Fine Federation. I'm surprised Scott Croker didn't get in there to take uh, credit for a crazy fight. <laughs> Tell me about apparently, it. Apparently, he's there. He, uh, the camera hasn't showed. Showed him, but apparently he was invited there as a uh, as a ringside guest. Um, man, now they stalling here. One more commercial break for Ryzen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, shout out to the G. The G's been hanging out with us all night as well. Appreciate you, buddy. And again, guys, we got the Reaper Jones. We got the former Gravedigger Jones. You guys see his comments. He's a big supporter of the channel, and he is alive here with us. So thank you for joining us. Hey, thank you for having me, man. Always, man. You know, like you are as big or a bigger Ryzen fan than me, and it's an absolute pleasure to to be able to bring in the new year here with you. Hey, mostly I, hey, mostly I came here looking. Hey, mostly we first met somewhere around like one chance. At one championship, I was looking for some some people to check this to watch to watch the event with with somebody, and mostly I found your channel. Mostly I found your channel, and most of all, 
mostly after that every everything else is history yeah man you found the channel and i mean you've joined us on every single stream since so it's been awesome and a lot of people found us uh watching one championship which is cool same with like mr grant gregory and and uh and a lot of the cast here so Wow, one. it's awesome that that uh we we found a lot in common in music and in, in beer and in Ryzen. yeah uh, mostly i mostly drink like two glasses of the common bond brew brew that yeah. is the orbital cloud cloud and this one is like 6.6 abv i've I've had one beer tonight, but I've been sipping on that Japanese whiskey for most of the most of the night. I, I switched over to water now because it's 6.30 a.m. It's 6.30 a.m. <laughs> oh, believe me. <laughs> Mostly when you go and do like heavy beer or either whiskey, you got to drink. You got to drink like a fish so you can have a nice peaceful sleep because when you wake up, woo <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and Team USA is playing in the World Juniors right now. We're we're missing hockey watching Ryzen. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. How crazy is that, man? Overlap. I never thought Ryzen would overlap hockey. But yeah, Pac-Man versus Mayweather should be MMA rules. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Hernan? I finished work in an hour. I'm so happy I got to hang out with you. Hell yeah, Hernan. Thank you so much for joining. What's up, Herman? Ray? I'm going against the grain. I'm going with Kai and Sakura, baby. Let's go. Me, I, me, I'm going with the well, former champion Juan Archuleta. Yeah, it's it's sad to see him get stripped, but uh, at least he's able to fight. And uh, here's a uh, here's our boy Reaper Jones. This is his Twitter. Go give him a follow on Twitter. And uh, tell I'm also going to be back on Twist on Tuesday to continue on with Roller Drone. For tomorrow, I'm going to be going back to Final Fantasy XIV, finishing up, trying to get through M. Walker, and after that, and after that, going back to Cyberpunk 2077 to well, mostly mess around and mess around in Night City. So oh, yeah. check. So go. So go to twitch.tv slash reaperj202 and see and see and check out some of my streams. There you go. I was just gonna you you did it naturally. I was gonna say plug your uh, plug your Twitch stream because I know you've been you've been gaming throughout this uh this holiday break and yeah, getting back to some regular streams. So that's awesome, buddy. Um so yeah, go support Gravedigger Jones now, Reaper Jones here. On the city life project um again we're we're getting near the end man it's it's bittersweet because like we're tired the sun is about to rise it's snowing in minnesota for the first time this winter since i've been back in canada dude no joke like we got like three or four inches outside so i'm gonna be i'm gonna be shoveling the driveway after this dude in very you Canadian guys know fashion. we got ice down in alabama right now is probably Right now is probably right. Is come on, oh yeah, twenty nine degrees Fahrenheit. So it is brisk for a southern man. That's crazy. That's so cold for down south because yeah, it, it hit about twenty five, and it started snowing here. Twenty nine is on. Damn, dude. Yeah, it's it's freaking as cold in in Alabama as it is in Minnesota right now. It's crazy. Hey, Just don't underestimate southern hockey. weather. It could be <laughs> cold the next. It could co it'll be cold today, or it'll be it'll be blistering hot the next. <laughs> All right. Um, look at that. Get Dars choked. Thank you so much for following our boy, uh, Grave Digger Jones. You you'll always be Grave Digger Jones to me because I was the original <laughs> username you had. <laughs> yeah, but I gotta keep on gotta promote myself. Yes, sir. And yes, here, sir. And here it is, the cold main event. Oh, what an announcement for the co main event here. Um, 53 here in San Diego. A little crisp, but uh, I, I'd, li I'd like it in the 50s. I like it in the 50s. Yeah, 50 oh. is really comfortable. <laughs> All right. 
Kaya Sakura making Whoa. his walk out now. The big entrance here. As he's got the big screens open up as he makes his walk down the stairs. But nothing else too crazy. No hey, go-go Shuri. dancers. No flamenco dancers. No models. Oh man, just... I really miss flamenco dancers. I was gonna say, yeah, yeah, man didn't win his fight, but he had the best walkout of the event. <laughs> oh, he always going to show up in every New Year's Eve bout. But Kaya Sakura, calm, cool, collected. Twenty wins, four losses, uh, four and one in his last five. Won his last bout. 12 KOTKOs, three submissions, five decisions, 12 and three in Ryzen, five and oh in rings, two and one in Road FC. Hmm. Pissing. Uh, beat a 33. Has a nice 59 reads. That's nice. Yeah, he's 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 pretty big for the division. Um, lost to who, you know, Mini Sakuraba, Okikubo, who just beat John Dodson tonight. He Lost him unanimous decision before then was on a three fight win streak. Lost to Horiguchi, no shame in that. Lost to Manel Cap, no shame in that. So he literally in Ryzen lost to the three best guys in his division. And also lost to Manel Cape. Manel Cape, because he's most, and that guy is a beast. And that guy is a beast. And right now he's fighting in. In the UFC, mostly he ended up with four wins and two losses. Future champ in the UFC, future champ, baby. Um, that's the main event, bet. That's the main event, buddy. Hell yeah, MMA locksmith. Yeah, so exclusive members on the channel, um, they get multiple perks. They get our lifetime access to our Discord. They get member streams every week, and. They also get the opportunity to jump on stream whenever the hell that they want for whatever event they want. So Gravedigger Jones, my man Reaper Jones now, um, been a long time member. And so I tell him every single time he wants to jump on for Rise and the keys to the castle are his. Correct. <laughs> Juan beat Patchy Mix. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. One of the only guys Juan. to beat Patchy Mix. Holy cow. Yep. I think he can actually going to win this one he looks like he's good and ready to go and here he is Whoa! making his walk out now yeah, and he beat patchy mix in 2020 guys almost so he ran over the cameraman <laughs> and archela just run oh my goodness he did run over the cameraman just bolting to the ring One of the only guys to beat Patchy Mix, dude. And again, th this one is my biggest reach on the card. This this is, despite uh, despite me not doing good with underdogs tonight, this one was the one I said in my prediction video. This one that I was telling my friends. This is the one that I don't feel confident on. But at plus 100 yesterday, I took Kaya Sakura. And then, again, with the health issues, with the weight cut. And talk about... I got I to stick Talk about me. odds... Mostly it's near even from both. Mostly negative one, one ten on one and negative, and negative one twenty on Kai. Yeah, this six is going to be a closest, This is going to be a closest. This is going to be a closest Ben odds in this bout. This one is close. Oh, nice, dude. Well, then maybe we can do it off air sometime. Like do like um some sort of a uh, collaboration thing. Because I don't want to. I don't want to. You know. For 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 not for other members and and non members, right? I don't want to bend the rules. You know what I mean? But totally down. Do a do a cross collab sometime. Uh, interesting. If Patchy moves over to UFC and skips, oh, he better skip the PFL. Man, the PFL's a joke. Yeah, I literally almost got a heart attack. When I heard, when I heard the fake news that MVP is going to PFL, thank goodness he made the right choice for UFC. Amen, brother. Amen. 
You are one at plus 160. Nice. Okay, that's a good see that those some good odds, dude. Those some good odds. Yeah, let's do it, brother. Yeah, let's 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 work something out. Let's work something out. Done and done. Mm-hmm. MVP loses the hold, though. Yeah, but that's okay. He'll put on an exciting fight. Yep. All right, Kai Asakura being announced in the ring. Okay, sorry. I, I'm Hanu He made he made 140. Uh, they said 150 earlier on the broadcast. They were wrong. It's 140. 140. So my apologies for that. Yeah, mostly I was reading, reading in um in the metric system. Apache uh, got a long contract. He can't leave, unfortunately, for him. All right, they touch gloves. Let's get it on, guys. So it's either going to be a knockout or a submission if one's going to win this thing. Yeah, no. Co- even if he wins a, if he wins a decision, no contest. Yep. Yeah, that's brutal, but no one in the PFL is beating Patchy. No. no Five one. to six fights? That sucks. There's hey, the red, Tim. The red card right off the bat. <laughs> Man, that is brutal. I mean, to his bonus, he's probably winning a million next year. <laughs> that is true. Okay, round one underway. Let's go, baby. Let's get it off. They meet at the center. Low kick by Asakura and a nice right hand by Archuleta. Another left. Another left. Another left by Juan. One with the high kick. Get the, the, the path to victory for Asakura is the counter shots here. Four minutes and 22 seconds on the clock. Here we Ooh. go. Oh! Yep. I'm going to One tried to go for a soccer kick, and now there's... He's going for the guillotine choke. Juan going to the Juan Archula is going for the for Big a guillotine shot, choke. Oh man, it was oh man, it's all the way in. Kai Atsukura struggling to try to get out. So yeah. Juan Archuleta, he tagged Asakura with the right hand that wobbled him a bit, and then Asakura went in for the takedown, and Juan Archuleta dropped for the guillotine. Kai Asakura in side control right now. Juan Archuleta still controlling his neck. But Kai Asakura, he has to take advantage of falling into side control here. Three minutes on the clock. So again, Archuleta is just kind of holding on to his neck right here, throwing muffin shots at the body. I imagine if nothing happens, the ref will stand them up. But now Asakura, he's moving. He's moving. <laughs> the good Walking old North South. Striking elbows on his head. Like I said. Yeah, good knees from Archuleta. Going for the body, trying to break. Yeah, man, Kai, Kai trying to break, break three. He's he, yeah, he's got to do more, man. He's being way too complacent here. Ooh, 
Massacre is on top, but it's... I broke free. Whoa, 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 right by Kai Atsukura and a return by John... By Juan Archuleta. Yeah, Archuleta scrambled to get out of that. Kai Asakura stays on top, back on their feet, like Gravedigger Jones said, and a nice right hand by Asakura. Archuleta returns the favor as well. Archuleta might be a little wobbly here. Oh, a nice left by Archuleta. Yep. And Archuleta looking for the takedown. There's Asakura sprawling, but Archuleta. Yep. Dragging him. And she's still just holding him up against the ring. One of his coaches trying to. Trying to navigate, navigate around the house, trying to take him down. Yes, yeah, occurred. Either Good tried job to, with the sprawl. Either tried to sweep his legs, but mostly the referee is breaking them up. One minute left. Yeah. Good job by the ref. Mm, nice. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Big right Man, hand by knee by Kai Atsukara. Not the cleanest, but it worked. Just brawling in the pocket. And yeah, Asakura lands a knee there and lands some big shots. With that knee on the step in. 20 seconds left. And that's, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, he got a red card. He doesn't want to be disqualified because once the bell rung, you had to stop. Yeah, Archila kept throwing there after the bell. Three shots there after the bell, and that's it for the first. Um, all right, let's get back to the live chat. Who won the first round? Uh, I would say Archuleta. Uh, he landed some big shots. He dropped Asakura. And he was able to employ the wrestling. But Asakura had a good second half to that round. He got back up to his feet. And Asakura landed some big shots on Archuleta as well. But again, Archuleta dropped him. Archuleta was able to employ the wrestling. And he just did a little bit more in that round. Yeah, but just a little reminder, his points got deducted by the red card, so he needs... So even though that is a good performance, he still needs to find a way to get that submission and and or knockout to win this one. Yeah, so Archuleta, like, and, and you said it there, to, to not get a ton of his purse uh, taken away from him as well, he needs to win this fight via, like you said, submission or a knockout. He can't win no, the title at all, but if he wants to get paid, <laughs> he got some. Gr he made some great efforts with that guillotine, but now, oh, that right hand by Juan Archuleta. He's really trying to use his strongest arm, strongest fist to try to take him out. Let's get it. And yeah, Archuleta's just looking for that shot, man. Four minutes and 30 seconds on the clock here, guys. Both of them on their feet. Center of the ring. Oh, another. Well, he was given a red card before the fight even started activating. That was for the weight, the weight issues. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Four minutes and 20 seconds. Nice jab by, by Juan. Oh, yeah, that's straight left on the entry. By Juan Archuleta. And then yellow card for the shots after the bell. High kick by Asakura. Ooh, Juan with the straight left. Uh -huh. Yeah, both of them on their feet. Ooh. Center of the cage. 
Why not you let us keep keeping his controls or mostly mm -hmm. give out bring out combos combos and connect and connecting each strike. Yeah, Juan's throwing everything into those ones. Kai Kai on the other hand is mostly keeping his distance. So so basically get there's and again I'm I don't know the all the details on it. I'm just kind of going by what the broadcast said. They said he is deducted 50% of his purse if he doesn't get a finish and he won't get awarded a win if he doesn't get a finish either. If he wins this via decision, it's just going to be a no contest. Is that is that correct, guys? Is that correct? I, yeah, I know I was... the one champ I know the one championship rules with their yellow and red cards, but I, I don't really know how they apply to, to rise and you're going nice left and a right by Archuleta. Yeah, I was a little bit in and out in that kind of explanation on the rule set too, because this is a rarity for me. I mostly seen that like once or twice from one, but never in but never in Ryzen. No, and we've seen like Herbs missed weight and then like just like a pound and he stripped but he fought and he got a finish but it was a no contest this one was different because they like made they, they like made rules up on the fly for one and we're like oh no if you can make the weight an hour before the fight then you're good which again is, it doesn't typically happen oh god it's like oh god it's like the sakura Ooh, nice oh, left man, it's one. like the gracie fight oh 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 my god Oh my goodness. Holy shit. Ladies Dude, and gentlemen, that... Kai Asakura. That's it. Kai Asakura <laughs> has knocked out one arch leather, the Spaniard. And in his four win streak. And, and wait, did he win the title too? He wins the title, dude, on the entry. He wants on the, the title. Entry. Kaya Sakura knees one Archuleta in the face, drops him, lands a few more shots, and it is all over. Knee to the body. He done it again. Sorry, knee to we the body. We have our new Bamway Championship. <gasps> Kai Asakura has made the impossible and beat Juan Archuleta for Japan. Let's go, baby. Let's go. I got him at plus 100. I didn't lose a lot of money, or I didn't make a lot of money, but I needed Kai to hit there. My predictions list on tap, oh, geez, right now, a fucking dumpster fire, but <laughs> God, that was amazing. But God, I would be a liar if that was a bet. Great fight. Man, Archuleta, he threw caution to the wind there. Was going for a brawl. Landed some big shots on Asakura, but Asakura caught him with that knee. I want to see the replay, man, because that happened so fast. And Gravedigger, I think you're a little bit ahead of me. So as soon as you said, like, oh, my God, I was waiting for it. And I did not expect it to be a knee finish. Obviously, TKO is yeah. a few shots. He knee after, to the body. Knee to the body. And covering it and pelting him with a log with a ground and pound. All right, here's the replay. Here's the replay. Oh, knee right to the body. Juan goes down. And one, two, three, four shots by Asakura. Yep. Right by the solar plexus. Oh. Yeah, he got him, dude. Wow. And new. The winner. And the new Ryzen Federation. Fine Federation Bantamweight Champion. Kai Asakura. Man. It. <laughs> It wasn't, it was a pretty way to end the fight. It was a little bit of a sloppy affair, but let's go, man. I'll take it. A few, a few battle wounds, a few bruises. And uh, hey, at least our, 
at least one Archuleta. At least he was able to show up. At least he was able to still put on a show in the cold main event. Yep. That's that's all that matters. Thank goodness. All right. So I'm For a moment eight. there, I thought it was going to be a fizzle bout. Yeah. But once again, Juan Archuleta delivered. But he didn't make but he didn't go on all the way. All and right, though, I really would like to see another tournament. Yeah. And and you know, I I think I think we might see this matchup again. But Kaya Sakura has been vocal about wanting to come over to the UFC. So oh, we'll see really? what happens. Yeah, he said if he wins in in a spectacular fashion, which I mean a, a TKO. He said he uh, he wants to go over to the UFC. He's done that a few times. That step in knee to the sternum. Hmm. Manel capture go there and whoop Asakura again. Well, how about Asakura go over to the UFC and then Cap can whoop him over there. <laughs> If he's going back to the bantamweight division, he's going to be facing some tough challengers. Oh yeah, and and honestly, like he he's got a murderer's row in the UFC of bantamweight. So I, I don't know how successful he'd be over there, but he he did say he wanted to uh, test himself there if if he wins this one. Joy B, by the way, thank you so much for joining. It's good to see you. Let's see. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Reaper Jones, game two of the World Juniors is about to start in half an hour. We're Sweden versus Finland, <laughs> and we're still watching Ryzen. <laughs> yes. If it was any other day, I would have waken up two hours ago to watch World Junior Hockey, but we're still watching Ryzen eight hours in, baby. Let's go. Eight hours in, man. Oh, mama. Uh, they are friends. Uh, no doubt they're going to fight. Uh, he films YouTube with them. He's super popular on YouTube. The guy gets nearly a million every video. Damn. Wow. I did not expect that. And Asakura's brother's with him. Yeah, I don't know. I Based on that performance, like, I don't... I. It was it was a sloppy affair. He got the win credit to him. It was a sloppy affair. I, d I don't know if it was polished enough to, to get that UFC nod, but Archuleta's uh, talking to the audience right now. Let's listen in. So Archula is saying, uh, early this week I was really sick, but I couldn't find it in me to to pull out and not not compete in front of you guys. Uh, he's saying you guys helped re reboot my career and you gave me hope to be a great champion for you guys. So he said, I, I didn't want to let down, you know, the, the blue collar folks who spent a lot of money to be here. He didn't want to let them down. Word. Dude, you lost 501? Oh, man. I'm Ooh. sorry about that. Ouch. I mean, they were close. You did get them at a good price. I'll say that, but. Hopefully you win it back next week, buddy. I have to rewind that a bit because he mostly called out somebody. Chichiro? Not Chihiro. Chihiro. Not Chihiro. He didn't he didn't call out the uh the champion, but anyways. Uh Saki Kibara son said he has another fight in Ryzen if he wants it, so 
Fuck the PFL. He's coming back to Ryzen. Thanks, mate. I have 500 on Drickers. Let's go. You'll win it back, buddy. You'll win it back. Yeah. Um, Makoto, you got the dog. Yeah, he's coming up next. I think it's a business move. It benefits the UFC to have a popular guy like Kai on the roster if he goes uh, to a Japan card or any Asian card. I didn't realize he had that much. Uh, he was that popular on social media. That's huge, and the UFC would love that. You're totally right. That is. Well, let's yeah, see. that'll let's... be a big, huge. Yeah, that'll be a big, huge inf influence boom. So influence yeah, boom see, uh... if they. If he joins up with the USC. And hopefully they don't just throw him. If he does go over to UFC, hopefully they don't just throw him into the fire. Like build him up for a for a rematch against Cop. Like don't just throw him in there right away because I mean he's gonna have to get used to the rule set. And let's get his confidence up before they put him up there against a the top guy. Because <laughs> I maybe honestly, start, quite frankly, I just don't maybe think start him off at uh fight night. Oh, no, no, for sure. But I'm just mean like someone outside the top 15. Like, I don't care if he's the rising champ or not. This guy ain't no Yuri Prohaska, you know? <laughs> I mean, yeah, that is true. You could be a champion at SMM, be a champion at SMMA. You got, but if you're trying to go after the champion or uh, one of the, well, big, one of the big three, you're going to get your ass knocked out in the first round in by 30 seconds. Man, the main event is here, buddy. We have made it. Eight hours and six minutes. You've been in the live chat the whole time. Now you're live hanging out with us. I mean, so far it looks like, you know, Horiguchi in a normal t-shirt, right. in his normal ball cap, you know, calm, cool, collected. And we have the young Shinryu here. That's right. This is the moment. In, in in a costume in his in his almost like cowboy style lace white suit take it away buddy how excited are you for this one oh this is a moment that i've been waiting for you know i always wanted to see another koji hiroguchi hiroguchi match and it's and especially when it's going to be when he's going to be facing against Against Makoto Shinryu, and this yes. is going. And this is going for the flyweight championship belt. Now we already know about Koji's Koji's history. He he won by unanimous decision at Bellator two weeks ago when show when show when they were under the license of Showtime, and he won against anyone at. One via arm triangle choke at back at Ryzen, and the only thing that was a huge disappointment was the accidental eye poke, which given was was mostly deliver a no contest. Right, right now he, right now he's one hundred and twenty four pounds and has a reach of six, this point, six. I mean six. 65.0. So, but if I wanted to be a band man, I had to go with, I got to go with the young gun. That is Makoto Shinryu. He is right now on a, even though he's on a rain streak, but he also dips his toe, toes in the USA mar market like a year ago at Cage Fury FC. Cage Fury FC and and just and just and wait wait I think fourth I yeah no fourth round submission in Cage Fury FC yeah in 2022 he beat Diego Paiva and then he came back to rise and beat Daichi and then that was when he, um, he earned his title shot which was actually under the Bellator brand so him and Horiguchi were actually going to fight for the Bellator flyweight title. Um, now, obviously, with Bellator, not really a thing, but under the PFL banner, they're fighting for the undisputed Ryzen flyweight title here. And it's going to be amazing. But you said it there. Him coming over to North America, winning in Cage Fury, becoming the deep 
Impact 107, where he fought a deep, deep Impact 107 and became the deep champion via ninja choke in the third round against a really good eight and three opponent. He is in the next wave of young Japanese talent going up against arguably the best Japanese fighter in the world right now in mixed martial arts in Horiguchi. Dude, so again, Shinryu this is going for, to be an insane rematch. Absolutely. And and Shinryu, for being a young guy, he's the he was the, the deep champion and the former Cage Fury FC champion. Listen to Horiguchi's accolades. He is the two-time Shuto tournament winner. He's the two-time Shuto champion. He's the two-time bantamweight Ryzen champion. He won the Ryzen Grand Prix and he won the Bellator bantamweight champion. So Bellator champion, two-time Ryzen champion, Ryzen Grand Prix winner, and two-time Shuto winner is Horiguchi. He went 7-1 and one in the UFC and his only loss was to Demetrius Johnson. He's an absolute stud. And he trains out of American freaking top team, man. Unbelievable. Sorry, 11-1 and one Horizon, 7-1 and one in the UFC. Gucci's an absolute beast, man. The man is, the man is literally legit. Legit in every way. This is going to be a huge struggle for Shin... For... For Makoto, for Makoto, this is a guy. This is a kind of fire that you really do not want to mess with. No, and and if Shinryu wins, he he's the real deal, man. Because like I truly think that this is a necessary test for Shinryu. He needs to fight better competition, and and who else is there but arguably the top Japanese fighter. Um, and and if if Horiguchi was still in the UFC, he would still be in the top ranks in his division, respectfully. Respectfully, at respectfully being rank, ranked number twenty one in the in the current best fly flyweight fighter in the worldwide rankings well, in and, topology. Well, and you know who one of his regular training partners is? The UFC champion Pantosha. Like that that's one of his regular training partners in at ATT. So like he has some uh, awesome guys. Uh Pantoja. 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 That's his that's his training partner, his main training partner at ATT. Oh. So, so this yeah. is gonna be a so well gonna be so how is so how is this gonna be going? The ve- Will the future going to be for the ver for the veterans or going to make way for the youth? Yeah, this one's gonna be fun, man. I again very good grappling from Shinryu, and Shinryu is big for for a hundred and uh hundred and twenty-five pounder, he's huge compared to oh. Horiguchi. Now Horiguchi was always now, a smaller this is guy, a song but... that I never thought they were going to use. This is the theme of Ultra Seven, and it's also it's also the same theme that have been used for Takamura in fight in Ebo the Fine. Oh, okay. Sorry, that was a little bit lingo. Like no, I, I said, like I was mostly an anime fan. No, I'm a fan, and uh, and that's, and that's why you art. fit in, and that's why you fit in here and give us that extra color because I would not have known that. And Shinryu, being a you know a younger guy too, he's he's very much into that. So, yeah, I that's awesome that you recognize this song. Uh, how he's yeah. gonna come out? Yeah, so we saw he was wearing some like. Like almost like a white cowboy southern lace top. Let's see. Uh, let's see what his getup is as he makes the walk down. By the way, big shout out to everybody who's been joining us since 11 p.m. Central Time, midnight Eastern. Thank you to everyone. It's 8:14 a.m. for our boy Reaper Jones here. It's 7:14 a.m. for me right now. We've been streaming for eight hours, and we are finally at the main event. Oh my yeah, goodness! Walk, no. Walking out with a freaking—I don't know yeah. whose character it is, but uh, 
Actually, it looks like mask. your original Luchador mask. Yeah, um, like Luchador I never, mask. I haven't, I haven't caught up in pro wrestling. But no, seriously, you mostly you guys are a huge help for each uh, in the C Live project. In the C Live project, so thank, so thank you for staying. For staying up for like over eight hours of of most of mostly heartbreak, farewells, great great banger knockouts and submissions, all the way to the to the main event, which is the rematch of the century. Well, for the year. <laughs> No, we've been looking forward to it for a while, man. And yeah, I, 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 I'm guessing this is a some sort of character, but yes, a, um, a very flashy luchador mask, and definitely taking in that New Year's Eve festivities and show. Here is Shinryu walking out with a, a pretty extravagant uh, entrance, nothing too crazy. I mean, this is a title fight, and you can tell that he's dialed and he knows the task at hand, but has to put on a little bit of a show here for uh, the Japanese audience. And this is the reason why I always prefer Ryzen over the PFL. <laughs> they have so much grandiose and, and pantry that'll make fires look like kings and warriors. The PFL is mostly, is mostly like it's like wasting money and my time. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, it's 10 15 p.m. in Japan, nearly New Year's. Thought they might have timed it for New Year's at the end of the countdown celebration. I think they usually try to time it to be out of there around an hour before New Year's. So if people want to go like downtown and celebrate, they can. But because of some of these fights going a little bit longer, um, Despite the finishes, I think I think it will. I think they it will probably stop stop around what? Yeah, close to eleven their time. So I kind of figured it would it would it would end an hour earlier. But I mean, at that point, you might as well just bring in the new year in the in the arena. But maybe they have some things going on in the arena after where you can celebrate. Maybe they're keeping the bar open. <laughs> yeah, never. Oh, come on, every. Almost every every arena around the world probably have an open bar, <laughs> except it's uh, for the Middle East, especially in Qatar. Ooh. <laughs> mostly, mostly Qatar. Mostly for any person who ever attended the Qatar World Cup, I I salute you for not having one single drop of beer. <laughs> Or Gucci, he's making his walkout now. Simple walkout. He's dialed. He wants the title. He's stern. He's stern, focused, and ready to go. Yeah. He wants. He wants that title, and he wants it now. Yeah, it didn't really take any time there to like soak in the moment or anything. He's like, been here, done that. I want this belt. Looks like he has a little bit of a shiner underneath his. What is his right or left eye? Uh, Matt, uh, yeah, Matt Brown. Hmm. Probably a his little bit of an incident him. during train before, mostly train before the big, big main event. So yeah, under his big right main eye, event a little bit in of a shine. Card. Because yeah, it yeah. probably like, because it probably looked like it's like a week ago. Yep. All right, getting looked at. By the cut man, and you know what? As much as I love the big, you know, show show walkouts, I'm kind of glad for this main event. Eight hours in that that they that they did this really quick. Adriana from One FC has been his training partner, or for prep, and he's traveled with him. Yeah, I saw he traveled with him. Mm -hmm. I was I was tweeting at uh, Adriana, and I was like, please announce announce you uh, you signing in Ryzen and you leaving one. <laughs> <laughs> No, I do love one championship too, guys. Back oh yeah, just in Most... time, just in time, Jelani. This is the main event of the evening. 
Horiguchi, 10 years older than the young Shinryu. Like I said, the best Japanese fighter in MMA in Horiguchi going up against one of the best prospects coming up in MMA outside of the UFC. Koji. Koji has a reason advantage of Koji has a reason advantage of, of 65. Well, he has two inches oh, on him. Yeah. Sorry. Shinryu had 67 inches. Uh, Horiguchi 65 inch of reach, but uh, and it says here on Tapology that Horiguchi's taller than him. That's that's a goddamn lie. <laughs> mm. All right, so the final announcement in the ring and the flower presentation is going on right now. Hmm. Those old pride events were freaking. They brought in Tito Ortiz to give the flowers. <laughs> He's like handed a bouquet of flowers to Vanderlei. Yeah. All right. Uh, and now the Japanese, Japanese national, national anthem, anthem is is now being performed. I forgot that they they sing the national anthem before the main event. Yep. That's cool. Dude, yeah. Look how much bigger Shinryu at one twenty five. He's a big boy. Yeah. Because the last time we saw him, he was a lot more slimmer. Yeah, he's definitely put on some muscle since uh, since we've seen him. What was it like six, seven months ago? Yeah, definitely. All right, guys, main event of the evening. Let me know your predictions in the live chat if you haven't already. This is it. If I win this one, Grave Digger Jones, I am up just one over 500. I will go nine and eight in predictions if I win this one. If not, that I'm going eight and nine, dude. I'm eight and eight right now. <laughs> oh man, what was my oh man? What was my record? Shoot. It was a hard one to predict tonight, man. Even Activate A was saying that it was a hard one. Man, I mean, I've been reviewing some of the previous fights, previous fights last from previous cards, and I oh, ended man. up and my car is now gone to the freaking toilet. Dude, I know. Like Sakura was supposed to win, freaking Anpo was supposed to win, Mira was supposed to win, <laughs> freaking who else did I have? Joe Arai. That one, that one hurt me the most, man. Oh, Saguru Ni, Saguru Ni got the big overhand, and that that's uh. Suuda that was was, nice. was my favorite heavyweight championship. He got his big ass out, knocked out. <laughs> Dude, I ain't sleeping, man. I ain't sleeping. We got hockey after this. We got junior hockey. And then the Minnesota Wild play at 1 p.m. They play the Winnipeg Jets again. I'll be sleeping well later tonight for sure. <laughs> and after Hopefully this main even... event, oh. I'm going to be sleeping like a bug. Hopefully I'll be able to make it to, to midnight tomorrow like or today. <laughs> uh, Jelani, thank you so much. You're our newest mod. We finally got it figured out. Thank you so much for joining, brother. All right, main event of the evening. Let's go, guys. Three five-minute rounds. The new prospect in Japan, Makoto Shinryu, up against Kyoji Horiguchi, the legend, 10 years older than him, but still very much in his prime. The Varian versus the Young Gun. Coming back again for New Year's on New Year's Eve. Mostly... Uh, yeah, most mostly going to win the big, mostly win the shine, mostly going to win the new belt around their waist. <laughs> See, this is why I'm starting to get, I'm, I'm starting to, I'm starting We're to drop all my here. words. We're getting loopy here, brother. We've stayed up all night for this. The sun is rising where you're at right now. Yep, the sun is rising. Sun is, the sun is already set in, in Japan and is rising over here at the rest. <laughs> We're going. All oh, this, you got to try my best to stay up as long as possible. I've been training all day, doing Muay Thai. It's hard when you have one AM, when, when you have one arm. Oh, dude, you're killing it. You're killing it, Jelani. Good luck and, to you, man. 
And you came back at the perfect time, brother. You came back at the perfect time. All right, no eye pokes. Knocking on wood, crossing our fingers, no eye pokes. <laughs> All right. Let's and go here through. we go. Let's get it on. All right. And of course, Horiguchi in the red corner, they just touched gloves. Makoto Shinryu is in the right trunk, is in the white trunks, and while Kyoji is in the black. And a few feints by both of them. Each of them throw some kicks here to start this off. Four minutes and 46 seconds on the clock. Both of them light on their feet. Man, they're fighting a similar style, too. I mean, look at their stance, man. A wide stance. Kyoji trying Inside to go. Low kick. Kyoji trying to go for the Makoto. Makoto Shinryu is trying to go for, go for the takedown, but most but Kyoji is cat already got got the catch. Yeah, it's stuffing him with ease there, and that was a pretty uh telegraph takedown attempt as he went for that left single leg, but he he had a lot of ground to cover, but let's see if he can if Shinryu can drag Horiguchi to the ground here. Whoa. He's got a body lock Whoa. on him. Yeah. Looks like. And Horigu Horiguchi. Ooh, good defense like here. It. Trying to get out of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, holding the neck here. Yeah, ain't got holding the neck here, but, but I, it doesn't look like he's going for the guillotine. It looks like he's just holding. Shinryu in place there. Kyoji trying go. to go for another gear team, but mostly lets it go. Yeah, just controlling his shoulders here as Shinryu does complete the takedown. Now, like like uh, Reaper Jones said, now pulling on the guillotine a bit more. But mostly just to get Shinryu's left leg locked there so he can't do much. But a nice right hand by Shinryu. As he pushes Horiguchi up against the corner of the Ring. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I, I don't think I'll be streaming a little Another bit. Another guillotine. Love it. It's like it's oh. connected. Oh, this yeah, one's tighter. This one's way tighter. Side. It looks tight. Oh. This is tight, man. And this, he actually has room to extend it. Two minutes and 15 seconds on the clock. Oh, looks like he got it. Two minutes, in, two minutes on the clock. Good morning, Leli. Thank you so much for joining. Good yeah. morning, Leli. It, it doesn't seem like Horiguchi's like I mean, wearing out his arms seconds, here. Eleven on the clock. It doesn't look like Horiguchi's wearing out his arms with this squeeze. He's mostly just holding Shinryu in place and looking to. Oh, yes, he even let it go. Yeah, Koji's laying on some. Koji's laying on some elbows on Makoto. Yeah, great job by Horiguchi for getting back up to his feet. And some yeah, and some elbows from the from the back there is Shinryu is trying to drag Horiguchi to the ground. And Horiguchi is just landing some elbows from his back. Good defense by Horiguchi here, not letting, not allowing Shinryu to drag him to the ground with ease. A minute left for round one. Ooh, and some ooh, nice takedown by Shinryu. Uh. More elbow strikes by Kyoji from the back. Yeah, Horiguchi gets back up to his feet. Hor uh, Shinryu is still holding on to the body lock there. And Horiguchi Try landing some left elbows. Ooh. Makoto tried to attempt a, try a rear naked choke, but failed, but trying to use a different approach. Ooh. Yeah, look to get on his back there. 
and this is Shinryu's game, man. He he's just gonna wear you out. He's gonna constantly pressure. He's gonna constantly attack with the body lock and drag you down, and just continue to wear on you and smother you until you have no room to work. And again, Horiguchi, good defense to start this fight, but he's not really been on the offense other than throwing those elbows. Oh, and a nice takedown by Horiguchi, but an even better reversal by Shinryu. That's amazing. Man, I told you, Shinryu's strong, man. For a 125er, he's huge. And that is no it for kidding. the first freaking round. Dude, that round was, again, Shinryu didn't do a lot of damage. But it is a good so, round. But it is a great grab. But it was great technique and grappling or Greco wrestling. Yep, I would say again, it's not the ten point must system, so this is going to be judged as a whole if it goes to the distance. But Horiguchi did have three submission attempts, right? He had three times he attacked the guillotine. He landed some elbows. He was able to get back up to his feet, and, and Shinryu was able to control him and change position and drag him down a few times. So. Um, Horiguchi had the better round overall, but uh, man, Shinryu is going to continue to maul him here. But look at Horiguchi; he looks like he looks like he's not drained at all. Yeah, he looks like he still have a full tank. And here comes oh oh, let's get it. Yoshi just knocked him down. You're a couple seconds ahead of me. Yeah, I know. Sorry. No, it's all good. It's all good. And there it is. Yep. Left hook could knocked him down. Oh, and a big left and right by Shinryu. Oh, Horiguchi lands another right. Shinryu tried to take him down with the body lock. Ooh. 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 Whoa, rough takedown. Wow, rough takedown. Impressive. Yeah, Horiguchi just throwing him to the ground there. It looks like a gay roll from and Shinryu from rolls into from Howard High. Shinryu rolled into full mount. He was attacking the Dars, but Horiguchi rolls with him. Shinryu in the full guard of Horiguchi. All right, another guillotine attempt by Kyoji. By Kyoji, his fourth guillotine attempt this fight so far. He's actually pulling on this one, but again, it doesn't seem like he's really going he's for it. You know what I mean? It doesn't look yeah. like he's cranking it. Yeah, mostly I thought he mostly once he can execute it well, but I think there's something that mostly prevented him to get like a full like a full clinch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then yeah, and then extend it back for sure. Three minutes and 15 seconds on the clock here. Ass to the mat, back to the ropes for Horiguchi and Shinryu. Again, continuing to mull him oh. with that pressure. Ooh, some oh, big shots. A left hook. A left hook by Kyoji. Oh. And that's that veteran. That's that veteran savviness by Kyoji. On the break there, lands a big left on Shinryu. Oh, and a left Ooh. and a right by Horiguchi. Do Horiguchi's piece in the back of the feet. Yep. He got the back. Swing now what is Horiguchi going to do? Beautiful takedown by Shinryu, man. Or by uh, Horiguchi. Shinryu trying to roll out of it, but Horiguchi is doing what Shinryu has done to him throughout this entire fight, employing the body lock here, looking to drag him to the ground. This feels like a split decision. Hmm. Is, oh, I thought the ref was going to separate them. Hmm. Oh, it was a, a, like a sponsor sticker on the canvas came out. Yo, JC, what's up, JC? A couple Remember more say strikes. Tank pulled out due to an injury. The leg of placing. Makoto Shinryu by Kyoji. Try, trying to put him down. Trying to... Oh, man, that sh 
man, that right and left shot two times by Kiyoshi. He is he is so pounding Makoto to the ground. So Horiguchi was in the top position there. He, he dragged Shinryu to the ground and some big ground and pound Wait. from Koji Horiguchi. It looks like a deep. Yep, that looks deep. That looks like a. Yes, he got the rear naked choke. He got the rear naked choke. He's top out. He's top out. Holy crap. Kyoji Horiguchi won. He is the new. Rising flyway championship. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I was really hoping for the young gun to win. Damn. Kyoji Horiguchi is the new Rising flyway champion, ladies and gentlemen. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Unbelievable. He out grappled the young grappling phenom out of Japan. He did it. He did it. Yeah, there you go. You got there, there's the you final got one. Edit that. Edit that ranking system. He's going to be going. He should be ranked a little bit higher on the fly in the world flyweight ranking set. Rankings, oh, holy he'll, he'll cow! Wow, fight! Wow, great display of respect by Horiguchi. He goes over to the young man here and he's talking to him. Great display of sportsmanship, right there, man. Again, this kid has a bright future. He's he's got to he's got to tighten up his striking a bit but you're going against the best current Japanese MMA fighter in the world in in Kyoji Horiguchi this was a huge step up in competition for Shinryu man like we said Shinryu has won titles in Cage Fury uh Shinryu has won titles in Deep but one tournament in Shudo but Horiguchi has won tournaments in Shudo. He's the two-time bantamweight champion in Ryzen. He won the Ryzen Grand Prix. He won the title in Bellator, and now he's the flyweight champion. And, and he's being awarded the belt right now. Uh, yes, JC, we'll get to your comment here. So it's not a rumor. It's official. Rot Tang pulled out. He has a left-hand injury. Um, so Superlek will be fighting Takeru in Japan. And uh, yes, and, and Superlex uh, opponent on the one fight night had to pull out. So they rearranged it. Rod Tang out, Superlex in to save the Japanese card to fight uh, Takeru in kickboxing. That's right. Um, which it's a shame, man, because we, we were going to see Rod Tang on, and Superlex back to back on different cards. You know, now we're not going to see Rod Tang for a while. Yeah, that was. That was pretty disappointing. What? What is what it is? You can't set high that kind of shit. Thinking it was gonna think it's gonna be nothing. He was trying to hide it. You see like all those pictures of him hiding his left hand? <laughs> yeah, that was pretty fucking embarrassing. Oh man, Shinryu just looks defeated right now. But again, he put on a good performance, man. He put on a good performance. Is his grappling it was a hell of a his, it was his grappling's a there. Fight. His yes. grappling is there, right? His grappling's already on that high level. He just needs, again, a little bit more experience, and he just needs to tighten up his striking, man. Yeah. Horiguchi, there's no shame in losing to Horiguchi. Horiguchi is the best current Japanese fighter in the world, man. That's, and that's, and that's a lesson here. It's not about getting hit. It's about how you get hit and get back up from it and try again. Absolutely. And it, it's it's crazy I that the submission I... artist got submitted by Horiguchi. Um, JC saying Superlex back must be sore from carrying one championship. <laughs> <laughs> uh, JC, I'm a Raw Tag fan, but uh, since last year, dude's been pulling out of fights. Hey, me too. I am a huge Raw Tang fan, but mostly he always keep on dugging. Uh, Curtis Clark, what's up, Curtis? He's like, is Horiguchi 
uh, one of the top flyweights of all time. I think he's one of the top flyweights of all time, dude. He's, he's mostly old, a goat. He's, he, he's he mostly old. he's the goat in Japan in Japan right now, mostly in the MMA division. Yeah, so top five Boston, flyweight of all time. I, I would say yes. I would say yes, uh, Reaper Jones, because he's seven and one in the UFC. He only lost to Demetrius Johnson. And in Bellator, he only lost to the best of the best that Bellator offered. And and honestly, he and he mostly fought them at Bantamweight. Um, oh, wait. Sergio Pettis. Hello. Oh, is he going to propose to his wife? Or he must it? be. We got a proposal, ladies and gentlemen. He's proposing to his wife. Or his fiance, sorry. Well, you know, he won the championship and... And the girl, two Aww. fireworks show, two fireworks in one night. Well, mostly morning, but still. And she said yes. And she said yes. <laughs> oh, she's I mean, I already man. know it beforehand. You don't need a, you don't need a translation to know to know that she said yes. Oh. Hey, shout out to Horiguchi. He wins the flyweight title and he wins the girl. <laughs> but Curtis Clark, yes, he is in the top five flyweights of all time. Dude, listen to his accolades one more time. Two-time Shuto tournament winner and title champion. Two-time bantamweight Ryzen champion. Ryzen flyweight Grand Prix winner. Bellator bantamweight champion and now the flyweight rising champion dude it's unbelievable this guy only wins best new year the guy yep isha 2020 is he gonna propose to his wife jesus <laughs> uh rod tang might have gotten soft due to his money and i think super like should be the new cash cow of one and must be promoted like crazy. I agree, JC. Absolutely. Agree. Uh, dude grappled the champ and grappled his fiance, and he's about to grapple with his fiance yet next, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah, she's gonna be in a tight triangle choke, baby. <laughs> from one mat to another, from a mat to the mattress, baby. Let's go. I wish I had some Marvin Gaye on this uh, iPad here. <laughs> um, uh. Uh, so Curtis saying probably num number one, DJ, two, Pantoja, three, Figgy, four, Horiguchi, five, Moreno. Hey, I like that. I like that. Or maybe Moreno, then Horiguchi. Yeah, UFC titles. Man, Man. what an, what an this, awesome event. This was a huge night. That was an amazing night. And a we great did it. closure for fights. the year for this year of MMA. We saw a lot of cards from UFC upsets, returns, returns, and heartbreaks. This is a definitive year for MMA for Miss Martial Arts. Yes, it was, dude. And again, a big thanks to you, sir, for all the support you show the channel. You're a city lifer, man. You're here every single stream. You're an exclusive member, and it's always an absolute pleasure and an honor to bring you on these streams as well, man. Get some sleep, sir. Have a tremendous New Year's. I know we'll be talking about fights and hockey tomorrow, but uh, get some sleep, man, and thank you so much for joining us live. Yeah, here, brother. I got to get some early sleep because, you know, football season is still around, mostly in the NFL. I got to go watch some of the on the some of the games, and, oh boy, it's gonna be a lot more crazy. Even though I'm going to get a little bit of break on the Mr. Martial Arts, but but the NFL season, lordy, the playoffs is gonna kill me. All right, man. Well, you have a great morning. I was going to say night, but you have a great morning, and you know the drill, man. Anytime you want to jump on and talk fights with me, uh, 
you're more than welcome. Uh, one last time, tell everybody where they can find you on Twitch. Um, head down. Oh, yes. Head down to Twitch. Uh, www.twitch.tv Reaper slash Reaper J202. On Tuesday, I'm going to be I'm going to be on Tuesday, I'm going to be doing roller. I'm going to be returning. I'm going to be returning in roller drone. Um, Wednesday, I'm going to be playing Final Fantasy 14 and Walker. And after that, I'm going to be. And after that, on Thursday and Friday, I'm going to be continuing on doing some shit, doing some silly shit in in uh, Cyberpunk 2077. There you go, man. Thank you so much as always, man. Go get some sleep, and uh, and I'll see you on the next one. Yep. Peace out. Peace out, mate. Oh man. Thank you to our friend Reaper Jones, formerly Gravedigger Jones. Um, Ryzen is back in February, February 24th for the Landmark 8 event um, in Saga. And just, man, almost nine hours in a row here. Almost nine hours in a row. Big shout out to Gravedigger Jones, Reaper Jones. Thank you so much for hopping on here for the final stretch of this stream. Uh, Japan fans not walking out and waiting for the winner speech could never be Brazil fans. I still remember that Glover retirement fight. Absolute disrespect to Glover, man. Absolute disrespect to Glover. Japanese fans over Brazilian fans all day, every day. Uh, if Rod Tang going to pull out one more time, I'm going to convert to super like it. Come over to the good side. Um, so I don't think it's for the championship. I, I think it's just going to be just a just a kickboxing fight but i will i will look into that uh, now who's going to be the main event for the amazon fight of super like not going to be in japan um i don't know if they've booked one yet mr grant gregory my man honestly dude I am pooped after that eight hour and 46 minute freaking stream. Um, I'll get back to you on Twitter. I had a bug on Twitter and I got, I didn't get any messages in my inbox, like new messages until yesterday. And then I got like 20 of them. So I'm like, or like even more, all the ones I missed for the last since Thursday. So I'm, I'm going through them all. I saw your message. Um, I'll give you some feedback, but it's all good feedback, man, because you blew my freaking mind with your musical talents. Um, it's in the Discord. Uh, Mr. Grant Gregory, JL, actually, in, in our Discord, under uh, under stream links, JL has a spot. Um, I'm going, well, right now, World Junior Hockey is on, so I'm going to be watching some World Junior Hockey. I don't think there's any more fight events here today, so... Maybe I'll jump on stream and say what's up to you guys, but I'll be streaming hockey on my second channel uh, later today. Yeah, no problem, Mr. Grant. Uh, we made a couple sales here today. I got We got some people to become members to find the stream. I got to give Jail a little, uh, a little uh, sales cut. <laughs> Once 2024 starting bad unless Japanese... Fans are still hyped for the Super League first. Fans are still hyped for Super League to care. I think they will be. I think they will be. Mr. Grant Gregory, before we sign off, if I don't see you before New Year's, thank you a thousand times. Thank you for everything you've done for us in this channel, buddy. We'll do more collaborations in 2024. I promise. So happy that you hit 100,000 subs. And again, I cannot thank you enough from the bottom of my heart for all the support that you've showed this channel. Um, and hey, I, I'm, I'm proud and glad to call you my friend now, sir. So thank you very much. Same with JC, same with Lili, same with all you amazing folks in the live chat. We had over a hundred people in the live chat for Ryzen tonight. Thank you guys. Thank you. You're the man, dude. Appreciate you. Big shout out to our new members here. Thank you guys for joining. And, uh, that's it. Pick a MMA with a super sticker earlier. Thank you so much. That's it, guys. 
eight hours and 49 minutes, 17 fights in the books, and new Kaya Sakura, Kyoji Horiguchi. That is it for me, ladies and gentlemen. Like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. No more the ASMR all-night Japanese card shit for a few more weeks. Back to regular Isha voice. Next weekend, Cage Fury FC, LFA, one championship, and so much more. So don't forget to join us every single weekend for Fight Companions. Check us out daily for content. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Time to get some sleep, ladies and gentlemen. Time to get some sleep. Good night, buddy. Oh, and Activate A had one even before jail. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Hey, Activate A, thank you for all the support you show the channel to, man. If I don't see you guys tomorrow, happy freaking New Year. I am going to try to sneak in a membership stream tomorrow. And if not, we'll double up Monday or Tuesday. But uh, anyways, guys, have a great night, day, morning, whatever the fuck time it is where you're at right now enjoy new year's man enjoy new year's stay safe i love you all smash that like button and subscribe and i will see you on the next one yeah. Yeah.